Yeah, hello. Yeah, yeah. hello, everyone. No, fine. fuck no, you, no, Jackson. No, no, no. Hello. All right, fine. No. Welcome to my intro to this episode of the, the podcast that I'm on, but also these three men are on episode number. I have no idea. Let's just keep things traditional. Let's keep let's keep things simple. Let's keep things how we normally do. Jackson, start us off with the topic. Yeah. So how about that cowboy bebop shit? What's going on with that? What's Netflix up to these days? <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, that's that good shit. They they knew we wanted quality content, so they uh they did that. Give us a lead in. Give us a backstory. That was a lead in. You were the first one of us to watch it, Jackson. So you kind oh, of. Oh, I didn't watch it. No, I didn't watch it. Did any of us watch it? What? Yeah, I watched it. Why did you watch it? <laughs> I wasn't going to until I, I wasn't going to until I saw how bad it was. I thought it would be so bad it's good. No, and sometimes it's, it's sometimes it is. I, I just assumed it would be boring since like I think the clips were the funniest parts. Or, it's not, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say it's boring, but there's like some like literal Seinfeld moments in it, like Seinfeld shit that they try and shoehorn in it's it's weird it's not very good at all but mm -hmm. there were times where it was just entertainingly bad now was it anything was it anything like the original anime didn't watch the anime couldn't tell you oh so this is your first exposure to it oh damn yeah. oh, what about you jackson did you watch all of it or what did you do no i i said no i, I didn't watch i watched oh. the clips that were posted Oh, okay, I see. So this is a and remake of an anime on Netflix, right? That's the whole gist of it, and it's... Yeah. Who made it? Was it a Korean remake or something, or did Americans make it? Uh, I don't remember, but apparently the team behind this remake is... All, uh, uh, behind this live action is also making the live action One Piece show, so that, that bodes well for One Piece fans. One Piece? Oh, God! Yeah. Okay, you know what, let's, um, Jackson, did you want me to play any of these clips? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. you can play the clips, I love them. Which one should we start with? The blackmail? Okay, in this video, uh, maybe I can send Danny the videos of these two so he can put them on screen because the visual aspect of it adds a lot. In this mm -hmm. screen, a lady is talking to a black dude. And I don't know which character that is, but this is what that sounds He's like, like in the show. He's like a main character. Me, you, Balakiani. Two bottles if we're feeling dangerous. Sounds to me like blackmail. You're damn right it is, because, Jet, you are black and you are male. Mm, mm. So fucking weird. <laughs> it makes me so uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. That's basically the dialogue across the entire that's, show. That's indicative of the, like, just the quality of the dialogue in general. Yeah. yeah. That, like, that passed through a room of writers, I assume, and a room of, like, the people shooting the scene. The actors had to say it, and then it made it into the final edit as well. What the fuck? What is wrong with these people? It's just so uncomfortable. So is that in the... I assume that's not in the original anime, right? No, it's not. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, it's not. I, I, I actually, not. Uh, I rewatched the entire anime like a month ago, so I'm pretty <laughs> familiar with it. There is nothing remotely like that. And uh, I guess probably because Jet's not black in the original anime, so it wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny then. Yeah. <laughs> you are a um, black male. <laughs> okay, the second... Uh, oh, so by the way, is this a dub or is this originally recorded in English then? This must be... It's... Uh, no, it's all original in English. It's like... The, the okay, best way I, I see. see this is like the uh, adaptation of Death Note that Netflix did a few years back. Yeah, it's exactly like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, so the second clip really needs the video aspect, Danny, so please I'll send you that. But if you're a podcast listener, imagine a guy lying on the floor, he's passed out for some reason he's just uh, regaining consciousness and there's a young girl contorting her body in these goofy ass anime postures these are real people by the way and just listen to the fucking sounds she makes this is really cringe spy yeah <laughs> spy Spiegel! no spike Spiegel. not anymore yes you are you spy cowboy Bounty hunter for hire! Wake up! I have a dog for you! Bounty! Oh, that's Ed, right? Yeah. Nope, oh, that's, that's accurate. Big reward! We have 
Yeah, well, it's uh, very not easy to watch in the show. Yeah, she's also 12. In the Netflix adaptation, Ed is no longer uh, a girl, I believe. Ed is now, I think, a non-binary character. I'm not positive. <laughs> That's also sure. part of, of the original. Is. That's yeah, part, that, so that was in the original, basically. Ed's gender was always, like, never confirmed. Never confirmed by the show or by the, well, the character no, I, herself? Is, no, isn't that wrong? Because in Cowboy Bebop, because I looked it up because I was curious, people made a big hoobla about Ed being not binary in the live action, but mm. apparently in the show she was confirmed to be a girl. You so guys are missing the points here. This is really, like really soft. cringe. Regardless it's of her, well, we, Ed's, we, we Ed's a child. That's the whole point. The cringe mm. is intentional. Is it? Yeah, but it doesn't translate well to the life. Have oh, you seen the clip, no, Andrew? I think that translates well because you got to remember in the original anime, Ed is literally going spiky, wiky, bouncy, wouncy, loopy, loopy. No, I know. I'm That's just saying, I'm saying from a conceptual standpoint, it doesn't translate well to live action in terms of actually watching it. It's just uncomfortable to watch. Sure, they could have executed it mm. well, the idea well, but it's still uncomfortable to watch. It's just weird. I, I don't know. Especially I, I mean, I haven't watched. <laughs> I haven't watched the live action, but I don't know. In the original, Ed is pretty cringe, and it's completely intentional. She's supposed to be really awkward and off-putting and, like, childish. Well, it's so. working because in live action, it's even worse. Yeah, mm. it's pretty fucking bad. Hmm. But yeah, there, there was also whole episodes where they made fun of that and talked about Ed, where I believe that it's Ed is a girl, but is very often confused for a boy. And even Ed is like, well, maybe I am a boy. And it, there's like actual episodes that talk about that. I mean, there's entire subplots in Cowboy Bebop about gender identity. There's a two part episode about a musician who everyone thinks is a man, but is a woman. And, like, it's something the show touches on in the original. It's nothing new that they're shoehorning in. Yeah, but nobody's yeah, saying that. They're just they're it saying it's reason. really, really cringe. It just, I don't know how you sit down and watch this. Unless you watch it like I watch Riverdale and the cringe is the point. Is it self-aware, Charlie? No. Or does it, it take itself it seriously? Itself. Oh, no. So there's a lot of, like, comedic writing in it. But overall, I'd say the show takes itself pretty seriously. Comedic oh, as in actually funny? No, like they try and make <laughs> oh, jokes. Oh, that's even worse. The <laughs> one that always sticks out to me is one I talked about yesterday. There's a scene pretty early on in the show. Uh, they they get. I don't want to spoil anything in case we have you any Bebop fans. I'm not going to. But just uh, he gets in contact with a bad guy and takes a hand off. And then when they get back to the ship, he has the guy's hand and he puts it on the table and then Spike sees it and goes, good, I needed a hand. And that's about it. It's that quality of writing with that kind of low-hanging fruit across the entire show. Mm. There, there was another clip. There was another clip that I saw because I've exclusively watched the show in clip format um, where <laughs> they were just at a restaurant table talking about yeah. bidets and it went for like three minutes just talking about bidets. And that's, it was what I, that's exactly what I was talking about with the Seinfeld thing. I saw the uh, Seinfeld edit of that mm. with the laugh track and soundtrack. It, it is it is a lot like that. It sounds like they're trying to make their characters like normal and relatable and charming where the original show does that by relating the mundane to the existential. Whereas this just sounds like it's trying to do the modern comedy shtick of like, hey, you ever think about like fast food? You know, it's it's just like a thing, you know, like that kind of shit. From everything I've read, it seems like this just was perhaps conceptually a bad idea taking Cowboy mm -hmm. Bebop and turning it into a live action thing. I think some th some properties just don't translate well. And this could Any be one of anime. them. Any anime property is Any not going to translate you, well. You like that? Uh, well, if it is, yeah, if it is self aware, it, so it does. Stupid, yeah. If it's self aware, it does, I think. You can. Um, like what? I don't know. I, 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 I will still defend the Korean life action shows that are basically anime about life action, and they're kind of goofy and fun, but they don't take themselves seriously. They're not adaptations. And if this does it. Yeah, they're not direct adaptations, though, are they? No, but you know what I mean. It has the anime format i guess everything is goofy like if you watch what was it called fuck there was a show about a bunch of people locked up in an apartment complex and everybody turns into a zombie like that show is fun on netflix 
I forget it's so, Sweet so Home. Yes, thank you, chat. Sweet Home is fun, and it's clearly like fucking anime. It's based on an online series or manga or something, but it's good and it's goofy. But if this is uh, taking itself seriously and making black male jokes, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it just sounds like modern American writing shoehorning into a classic anime, and that's literally never going to turn out good. It yeah. sounds like that Powerpuff Girls remake. Exactly. Well, there are so many oh, of those yeah. these days. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. Again, I have not watched the live action one, but I literally just recently rewatched the original and the original still really holds up and is excellent. So I don't know how many of what the points you guys are making were and weren't in the original, but the humor of the remake sounds fucking atrocious. That's not what it was like in the original for sure. Yeah, you're not going to be having any giggles, I can assure you yeah, about. definitely not. <laughs> so the original was actually genuinely funny? Oh, it's the original's an incredible show. It is an actual I've, masterpiece. I've heard, I've heard it's a classic because it's, people yeah. you know, love it. But it's not, I, I not have really, no clue what it's about or why it's so good. It's not really funny, like funny, funny. Like it's not because it's not trying to be. It's more just charming and the characters are really likable and they do like fun enjoyable things and occasionally have a decent one-liner or two but it's really never trying to be very comedic it's more just kind of exciting and goofy and fun things happen but it's also a very serious show that talks about a lot of like existential concepts and identity problems and like who you are and what you do defining you and past relationships and shit like that it goes Does into it deep, deep topics does it end definitively? Uh, pretty much. Yeah. The, I, I mean, I don't know if you want me to spoil it. The creator has I said, still plan, I still plan on watching it. Don't, okay. don't spoil it. The creator has said that it's ambiguous, but in terms of everything that happens, it's pretty definitive of a wrap up. Is the so creator still see. alive? Yeah, I think so. Was Maybe. he involved in this project at all? Or did they still <laughs> he was not. So he explicitly said he has no say in the project. That might be God, why it's so wayward well, yeah. from the original. That's got to fucking suck to see, like, your creation get just dragged through the mud like that. Yeah. Don't sell the rights then, sure. bro. I don't like that excuse. Well, yeah, ever. Uh, but, but, but uh, this is... No, 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 no. This is, like, the Japanese industry, though. He, he probably never owned it to begin with. Well, America does that, too. Yeah. I mean, this is an American yeah, show, too. right? Uh, yeah, I think so. But also, like, when the brothers Konietzko, who, who are the guys who made Avatar The Last Airbender, and then um, Shyamalan made the movie, and they were like, oh yeah, this sucks. <laughs> well, that shouldn't have sold the rights to that motherfucker, bro. It's kind of, you kind of bear the responsibility for abandoning your like, child. Into right, the wait, 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 wait. No, hang on. It's not entirely their thing, because they basically, when you pitch a television show, yes. you immediately have to sell the rights to get it on TV. So Nick, yeah. they go to Nickelodeon and they go, hey, we want to make Avatar The Last Airbender. And Nickelodeon goes, I'll give you the money in the airtime, but now we own the show. We can do whatever we want with it. Otherwise, you don't get a TV show. Yeah, otherwise they Avatar would have never something. existed, Kyle. They usually don't. God, that's depressing. So, so that's what you're why, telling me uh, is Korra, so apparently Korra, I looked this up. I haven't watched Korra yet, but apparently Korra was only supposed to be one season. And it was just yeah. supposed to be a standalone, like, series spinoff. But it got season two and three because Nickelodeon was like, nope, we need more Avatar. Keep fucking going. Avatar's the biggest thing ever. Make more. And that is why a lot of it feels rushed or, like, strangely written. Because they were literally writing to keep up with demand. What is Nickelodeon even doing these days? What do they have? Just it, rerunning SpongeBob? Spon yep, I don't know. SpongeBob. Yeah, they're just living <laughs> off SpongeBob still. They oh, are. Man. Keep in mind, SpongeBob is 10% of Viacom's revenue. Not Nickelodeon, but their parent <laughs> com, Viacom, makes 10% of their revenue from SpongeBob. That's so, actually fucking crazy. Yeah, that is it's insane. insane. That is crazy. Viacom's fucking massive. They make, like, massive yeah. movies, too. And yet 10% is thanks to SpongeBob because Which merch I don't and mind, reruns and everything. So I'm sure all of us have seen the older SpongeBob seasons. I've not seen really... I think I've seen maybe one episode of the newer seasons and it does not hold up. It's very, I feel no, very estranged when I even tried. Yeah. They changed well, the, creator the original creator died. So yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know. It's sad. Mm-hmm. What they need to do is do an actual live action uh, sponge. <laughs> live so they action. Train. They need well, to train fucking... an actual sponge to <laughs> to act. Fucking well, Nickelodeon, <laughs> though, they're the goddamn scum with this shit because Steve Hillenberg, the creator of SpongeBob, the whole time he was like, no, no spinoffs, no, like, fucking watering it down and spreading it thin. We make SpongeBob, we make it good, that's all I want to do. And then as soon as he died of cancer, fucking Nickelodeon announces three spinoffs of SpongeBob. Yeah, they're yeah, like, start up the SpongeBob factory. Yeah, right fucking now. scum, fucking disgusting. But also, to how else were they going to pay for the funeral? <laughs> to Jackson's point, there is a live action SpongeBob. It's like you forgot all about SpongeNob SquareNuts. <laughs> that is a like true canon SpongeBob live action. <laughs> was that the last project? Was that the last project Stephen Hillingbuds <laughs> signed off on? <laughs> <laughs> Hillenberg. Can't say his last name right. That's oh, actually well. him in the suit. That's how we chose now, to go. Now, what out. would what would you guys watch SpongeBob spinoff number six hundred forty two? What would you listen to it on for your audio? Oh, definitely Raycon, right? Oh, yeah, yeah it's got to yeah. be Raycon. It has if to I be Raycon. If I want quality audio, it has to be Raycon. Why would anyone choose anything else? I mean, it's never too early to start gift shopping for the holidays, and you can start gift shopping for some Raycons because you'll be giving them a gift that they will use every day. With seamless Bluetooth pairing and comfortable noise isolating fits, you can listen right away and listen for even more hours. Charlie, you are clacking up a storm. He's yeah. excited. He's trying to he pre-order his f- first pair of Raycons. Yeah. What would be my first <laughs> pair? True. I, I have Anyhow. two already. Ooh. Ow. Yeah. A- Anyhow, uh, the new everyday earbuds come with three listening sound profiles to provide you with just the right amount of bass. There's pure mode for podcasting, instrumentals, etc. Balanced mode is going to give you a nice, good radio feel, so rock, heavy metal, some pop music. Bass mode is going to hit you hard with hip-hop, EDM, reggae, etc. And you're going to get tons of other features. Built-in microphone to take calls, 8 hours of playtime, 32 hour battery life. I recently went running with my Raycons. And I had a snazzy time. They fit right in. Never once felt like they were going to fall out. Sat there the whole time. Very easy, simple stuff. And you can go to buyraycon.com slash OP today to unlock exclusive deals like up to 20% off of your Raycon order. This offer is only available for a limited time and you don't want to miss it. That's buyraycon.com slash OP to unlock 20% off of your Raycons by Raycon.com slash OP. So it's, they say um, they've got built-in microphones with them. Yes. I I want to throw this idea out there for anyone listening. This is a $100 million idea. Mm-hmm. Do the first uh, Raycon-themed podcast. Like, all you do is talk about Raycon, but you <laughs> use Raycons to record the show. Like, Ooh. you've just got Raycons, and you just use them to record the show through that fucking genius raycon are you listening yeah raycon yeah so i've got a topic related to american writing fucking things up if you guys want Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so resident evil 4 is one of my favorite video games ever made i have played through it probably 20 separate times and i want to play it again it's really fucking good It is one of the highest rated rated games of all time. It literally changed what action games tried to do with its new over the shoulder camera and certain things that it did because it was so good and innovative for its time. And after being out for 15 years now, I think it is being censored because Facebook has a problem with characters being flirtatious in a mature rated video game featuring exploding heads, gun violence, body horror, and tons of suggestive dialogue. Isn't that fun? What? Is it because of VR? So Why does it res- matter about Facebook? Is it because Zuckerberg's so Because it's, it's only in the VR edition that is owned by oh. Facebook where it's censored. So Resident Evil 4 is now in VR. It's been ported to the Oculus Quest, or I guess now the Facebook Quest, or the Meta Quest, whatever the fuck. 
Um, <laughs> and it is the only VR version of the game. Now, I want to I want to stress this right now. They have not changed any gameplay whatsoever and the censorship changes are minor. It really doesn't detract from the whole thing, but I still think it's really fucking ridiculous. So in the game, there are cutscenes where Leon, who's supposed to be this kind of like aloofish kind of carefree nothing phases him you know he's talking shit like character now has a lot of his dialogue removed where he has like little flirtatious quips with his female assistant over the radio and you would think you know oh maybe it's something that won't fly in today's fucking society but it's really minor innocuous shit like there's a scene where his radio goes out and then his uh, his assistant finally gets a transmission to him. And she's like, Leon, you haven't checked in in over eight hours. I was getting worried. And Leon's response is, don't you mean lonely? And they cut that out because that's offensive. <laughs> well, no, yeah, that is a, it, that, that is, was a little it, much. Yeah, he's, 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 he's her boss, right? That's sexual harassment. No, yeah, that's she's her, that's his boss. Problem. That's she's even worse. His... <laughs> Somehow, I oh, think. Oh, boy. <laughs> and, then, and then there's another fucking section in the beginning where just, like, the same shit happens, and any and all dialogue remotely like that, like, innocuous shit. There's a part where, like, it's probably the worst part in the game, if you're looking at this kind of stuff, where the president's daughter meets Lewis, who's another <laughs> agent, and he goes, oh, the president's daughter's equipped with ballistics, and he's pointing out that she has tits. And like, that's the whole line, but that whole thing has been cut out. And there's there's other stuff too. There's a part- It was probably cut out by the president, right? <laughs> he, <laughs> he, he was really offended. Um, there's a part in the game like where that. you can find a female corpse in the game and she's got a pitchfork through her face. Literally, it, it is a woman pinned to a wall by a pitchfork through her face. And in the original game, Leon comments, oh, there's no sex discrimination here. I gotta find the president's daughter. Which, you know, it's a reasonable thing to think. Oh, they're not above killing women in this village. Uh, that's I'm worried for Ashley, the president's daughter. In the new game, the dialogue is changed to no one's safe here. I better find the president's daughter. And it's like, why even what's what do you need to change that for? What does that matter? What's the big deal? It's the same outcome. It's the same exact thing. Did they have them re-record those lines? Like so the that, one, actor that one in particular is text dialogue, but all the other lines are dialogue, and they are just removed from the game, like Would've hastily cut out of the game. So good if it was like Mark Zuckerberg doing his best I know. impression. So what they what they do in the new what they do in the new version is whenever a troublesome line appears, they hastily cut to static over the radio and just jump cut to after it's been said. Aww. And it's jarring and stupid. That's lazy. It is that extremely is lazy. Weird. And the question is why? I understand yeah. if it was like a regular old game, like a Mario game or what the fuck ever, but this is Resident Evil, a game where people get tortured to death and turned into terrible monsters, and there's all sorts of exploding violence, and like, there's a character named Ada, who part of her entire shtick is she uses her sex appeal to like, outwit her foes and charm them and like, lead them to lower their guard. It's part of her entire How character she writing. Sexually how does she oh, sexually outwit that. zombies? Yeah. <laughs> well, she's sexual with the main villains and the big bad guys. Oh, okay. And it's like, literally, that's her entire shtick. She's a femme fatale. And she's fine, but any line where Leon's talking to one of his fucking co-workers and he's like, hey, are you free after this? That's not okay? Like, what the fuck? That doesn't make it's any sense. A, it's a weird... I mean, I don't really care because the original still exists. So mm -hmm. there's not really an issue there. But And, it's and just, that is true, it's such but a Keep in mind. It's such a weird like use of effort to go back right. and like edit and, and those keep things. in mind, keep in mind, yes, you can still play the original, but this is the only VR version. It's not on other VR consoles. So if you play the VR version, you're getting the censored game. And overall, it is harmless because they didn't change any gameplay or remove any sections of it. But it, it's just so like embarrassing. You know, like why? What the fuck? What it's a mature rated game. Why would you do that? Yeah, so. I don't really. I didn't really agree with altering uh, creative works once they've mm -hmm. been released. Anyway, in that capacity, it just seems a bit weird. 
kind of like rewriting it's, history. It's condescending, really, you know? Yeah. So, so yeah. Who, so, who who chose to do this? Was it Cap... Who owns Resident Evil? Is it Capcom? It's it Capcom, is Capcom, right? yeah. And I would be so, strongly willing to bet it was Facebook that mandated Facebook. this. Because I feel like Capcom is not afraid to publish pretty uh, up there stuff. I don't know. I mean... Might have been Capcom, but I, I want to believe it was Facebook. Yeah, that, that is that's a weird story. It's a weird, stupid choice. It really is. I mean, and also the games, the game's 15 years old, too. It's not like it was out for a couple <laughs> months. Like, imagine if it came out just now and then they were like, oh, the Oculus version's coming soon. And Oculus was like, well, on our version, we don't want this. Then I would understand it. But the game is 15 fucking years old and now you have a problem with it? Okay. Weird. That's, yeah. So did people did people online have issues with this game for fifteen years? Is there that is there like <laughs> social debate? It. I don't know. I can't think of a single person who ever raised these complaints. I never saw anyone online talking about issues with these things. So I don't it's know. just someone at either Facebook or Capcom that was just hyper vigilant. I, I know. Guess. I, I can't imagine Capcom giving a shit. It was absolutely not mm -hmm. Capcom. It was Facebook. Yeah. But you, you've got you've got like VR porn on uh, the meta <laughs> quest I know, stuff, right? All right, <laughs> you can fuck VR people in that. Like, I don't know. It's so know. weird. It's so fucked up that America's attitude towards sex is so much stricter than its attitude towards violence. That's Why always am I allowed? That's always going to be the case. Why am I allowed in many games and simulations to shoot a woman in the face and curb stomp her to death? But as soon as her titties fall out, we have to censor it. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that makes no sense. Because you're a puritanical sense. society. You were built on that foundation. It's just the stupidest shit. It's just embarrassing. It feels like we're moving backwards with this shit. You know, it, yeah, I, can't, yeah, I don't it know really why. Does. It really does. And it feels like such a weird slope that we're on where yeah. that kind of stuff gets censored. And, uh, and keep in you... mind, in that game, that's also a thing. There are female zombies in the game and you shoot them and kill them. It's not like what you're only fuck? shooting men. You shoot women. Oh my God, that's kind of fucked up. Yeah, what? That's pretty <laughs> right, sexist, yeah, yeah, cancel it. The female right, zombies should it. be invincible. Do you think t 15 years from now they're gonna release um, Resident Evil 7 on VR and censor Lady Dimitrescu's big mommy milkers, make her flats, make them small? Oh my god, you you might be right. You might be onto something. That is a pretty good yeah, that's point. A, that's a really great point. Resident Evil 8 just came out, and one of the characters' entire shtick was she was a super hot fucking MILF. Like, yeah, and they like, they like the played into that pretty heavily, too. It, it has do, to be Facebook, yeah. then. It's definitely Facebook. Because Capcom's to be not Facebook. afraid of getting those titties out for us. For it us has games. to be they Facebook. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I mean, why? The question is just why. And a lot of people bring up the argument of, oh, well, it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter that they change it because it doesn't affect the game. And it's, then it's, well, why does it matter to change it? If it doesn't matter, why change it? You know? Yeah. It, it's insane. It's just stupid. So. Oh, well. Ew. Video game industry is weird. Did you guys see that uh, the Activision CEO is also now <laughs> complicit in the sexual harassment crimes? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jack wow. Okay, Jackson, tell us about it. Jackson has been DMing me all week about, should I buy Activision stock? It's plummeting, Kaya. Should I buy it right now? Jesus Christ, Jackson. <laughs> hey, what? No, that's actually a good time. Wait, you think no, Activision yeah, no. is seriously going to die from this? They're not. They have no, own way Jackson too much. Is you are absolutely correct, but give us a backstory. Give us like not financial the, the advice, by the way. Hottest news. Uh, yeah, so we all know that Activision has had a rough few years from releasing shitty ports and bad games, all the way through to uh, their employees staging walkouts because of sexual harassment crimes taking place in their offices. And really, that's the worst that I thought it was going to get, but. Uh, this last week is it's a it's a new low for Activision, sadly, because it goes all the way to the top, and I've been waiting to say that for a while. Just about something, it's nice to say it goes all the way to the top, but it really does go all the way to the top with Activision. Uh, so their CEO Bobby Kotick, you guys might know him. He's literally like the mm -hmm. devil. 
He is the devil of gaming. <laughs> he looks he looks like Satan. Go look at a photo of him. He's he's <laughs> weird. He's eerie looking. I, I hate him. Um, I, I've hated him before this all came out, by the way. And I think a lot of people have. Yeah, um, people really hated Bobby Kotick for a while. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't even know why. I just look at him and I feel hatred. <laughs> uh, but now now it is realized. Like, now it makes sense. So it came out that he was fully aware of all of the sexual harassment within his offices. And he uh, kind of kind of hit it. Well, I don't, maybe hit, hit it's not the right word, but he That's definitely... The, uh, whoa, 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 hold on. Also, it was more than just sexual harassment. There were literal sexual assaults and rape that were occurring yeah. at, like, Sledgehammer Games as well as other Activision studios. He absolutely hit it. He kept everything under wraps, did out-of-court settlements, and never told his board of directors about any of it. Yeah. So he All was... Right. So hit, hit is well an accurate aware. term. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, so... At that point, it feels almost like he's complicit in uh, encouraging that kind of behavior at Activision. So that activity at Activision really does go all the way to the top and it's just like rooted deep in their culture, it seems. And so the workers, um, the developers... to walk out, yeah. Yeah, how did that go? I mean, they walked out. What, what are you going to do? It, it, the board <laughs> is still standing. No, I, that wasn't supposed the to be a diss. I was asking you because I, that was not supposed to be a diss. I just, I figured you were keeping up on the news. I, did anything come out of it? Did they even address the walkouts? So, yeah, they, they, did. They, they did. They did through uh, their first acknowledgement of it was through the Activision stock, like, uh, what is it, investor website. So they alerted their investors first and foremost and, and said, look, <laughs> nothing... Nothing's going to change. Bobby's staying with us. He's he's a great CEO and and friend of the board. He's he's sticking through with it. So don't worry. Don't be afraid. Bobby's still here for us. That's like the tone of their message. They were like reassuring people that Bobby wasn't leaving, which was very nice of them. So yeah, they're, they're sticking behind Bobby Kotick. So the answer so was the board go fuck is yourself. Also, pretty much, yeah. Uh, let's see. So I, don't, I don't know what happens from here. Their stock has still not recovered, it seems. <laughs> Holy Hopefully shit. Hopefully it never will. I guess when the news broke, their stock price fell $10 over, almost $15 or so. Oh, wow. Uh, Ooh, that's, that's huge. It's so cur- it, it was... Go ahead. Yeah, and no, I was going to say it's currently uh, about $16 below what it was on November 3rd. Wow. Oh, my yeah, God. I so- might buy some. To give some perspective, uh, for this year, their stock peaked at about $103. Now it's all the way down to 62 Yeah. That's, that's fucking, that's 40% that's decrease over the year. That's a big drop. Yeah. I have full faith that Bobby will turn the ship around. And I have full <laughs> faith that MeUndies will pro- provide comfortable, <laughs> lovely underwear for this Christmas, won't they? Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd buy that stock. Here's something if they about me undies. Here's something about me undies that you out there listening at home might not remember. They have so many goddamn different prints. It's insane. So if you're looking for holiday print underwear, I'm going to take a good guess. I'm going to take an educated intuition here and say that they're going to have some fun little patterns for you. And oh, look, they do. They've got new classic plaid and holiday sweater prints. They're also turning up the comfort this holiday season with their undies, loungewear, and sleepwear that are made out of soft, breathable, stretchy fabric that's ideal for getting cozy by the fire. You can get matching PJ sets for your entire family or spoil your partner with nice robes and slippers. They got sizes extra small to 4XL, and they've got something for everyone. Every single official boy wears me undies. I can mm-hmm. confirm this in person by having seen Charlie mm-hmm. change a handful of times. It's true. Charlie, it's true, right? Oh, it's literally all I wear. Yeah. It's, I exclusively wear me undies. Yeah. never takes them off. And some of you out there might go, well, shit, I wear women's underwear. I don't wear the same <laughs> underwear as these big, strong men. Well, first of all, you don't know what underwear I wear. And second of all, my girlfriend is also a big fan of me undies. I grab her some pairs every now and then. So... Wearing ladies' underwear, men's underwear, whatever kind you feel like, they will have a pair in your style. 
Me Undies has a great offer for everyone listening. For any first time purchasers, you can get 15% off and free shipping to your door. Your days of fighting for your life in the mall parking lot are over. No need to worry about going out on Black Friday. Ooh boy. Ooh. All you have to do to get 15% off your first order with free shipping and a 100% satisfaction guarantee is go to meundies.com slash official. That's meundies.com slash official. Absolutely comfortable underwear, meundies.com slash official. Thank you. Wearing me undies is the most cost effective way of protecting yourself against Bobby Kotick. He, he can't <laughs> touch it. They're, they're, like, they're like the Christian cross. <laughs> he, he, his hands will melt off if he touches them. <laughs> like the I don't know if we can keep that in, but I love it. <laughs> Another thing to mention before we get off the Bobby Kotick train in mm-hmm. 2006, he threatened to have his assistant killed. Jesus, Holy what the shit, fuck? I didn't really? hear that. Yep. He, so what did he do? I don't remember. I don't remember why, but he left a threatening voicemail to his assistant, letting them know that he was going to have them killed. Was it during a Call of Duty match or something? Was it like just <laughs> a Was it an Xbox yeah, Live voicemail? <laughs> Brag about sleeping with his mum? What, what's going on there? <laughs> do you think Bobby Kotick's a gamer? Or do you think he's one of those no. CEOs that doesn't even know what like his company is? I truly think there is a 0% chance Bobby Kotick has ever touched a video game in his life. Yeah, it's probably... He doesn't seem like the person who understands fun. Exactly. Mm-hmm. All he knows is money. So he did lead Activision through the biggest growth like period of their company. So and, and he owns like majority stock, right? He owns like Swiss he might be me. he might be a successful business leader, but still a piece of shit person. Oh no, he's clearly a piece of shit person. Yeah. That's not in question. But I'm just trying to rationalize why maybe the <laughs> uh, board <laughs> members and sh- you know shareholders are still keeping him around. I guess. <laughs> Cause, I or know. maybe they're trying to get rid of him. Maybe they're trying to get rid of him, but they like they literally can't. Maybe he's got too many connections and. He's oh, like a horcrux. They have to like they have to keep <laughs> killing his horcruxes in order for him to resign. <laughs> he's just he's just leaving them all like threatening messages. <laughs> Too scared to out him. I don't know. I, I'm gonna be what cynical a- about this. Like, maybe he literally just sat down in the boardroom meeting and said, "Look, guys, this is gonna blow over in two weeks. Don't worry about it." And everybody was like, "Yeah, you're right." They tried to can. I mean, think back to when they uh, everybody was canceling their Blizzard and Activision subscriptions over the mm-hmm. China thing. Like, I, I do feel people are gonna forget about this two weeks from now. Very, I, very possible. I think it's a little different now, though. So back then, the, that was what, like 2018 with the free Hong Kong stuff. I don't recall, but it was a little long. I don't know. Was it 2019? They were still kind of like liked by gamers like they were still pumping out games that people wanted and people still liked their properties overwatch was still pretty popular so it was a lot harder for people to completely wash their hands of blizzard now everything they're making is flopping like people aren't enjoying their games overwatch is what are they even releasing well i just get call of duty right yeah. yeah, most recently is Vanguard, which most people oh, yeah. don't like. It's the shittiest Call Van- of Duty Vanguard, so far. Yeah, Vanguard is uh, making, not headlines, but it's making a stand as like the first Call of Duty in a long time that's just fucking flopping. Down. Yeah, people aren't buying it. People aren't praising it. Like Call of Duty, even when it's bad, monotonous, people still buy it. And they're like, yeah, it's fine. It's Call of Duty. But this one, people are really like, holy shit, this game's a fucking disaster. <laughs> yeah, it's just super but- boring. Yeah. The crazy thing about Call of Duty and the monopoly it has in that kind of uh, in the industry is even though it's f- it's literally 40% down in terms of sales, it'll still be the best selling game of the year. Yeah, because Call of Duty, well, that's what Call of Duty does every single year, no matter how negatively they're reviewed, they are on the top 10 games of the year list every year consistently, no matter what. I wonder if it's a strategy by genius Bobby Kotick, like he buys like 10 million copies of the game <laughs> just to put it I, at the top of the No, I think he actually <laughs> made a pact with the devil because luck is in his way. So imagine Christmas is coming up. That game is going to sell even more copies, right? It's going to make them even more money. Mm-hmm. The stock is probably going to recover. By the way, I'm looking at the stock price right now from last year. The peak that they reached was right during the like COVID lockdown era where everybody was just locked up inside and they had nothing else to do but play video games the and entire watch video Netflix. game industry benefited from that though yeah no no I'm saying though like 
he got lucky, maybe. I mean, maybe he's genuinely just this guy who summoned Satan and said, look, make my stock price go up, cause some global cataclysm and let me profit off of it. And I will sacrifice all these women at my company for you. <laughs> he sounds Jesus. like Rita Repulsa. Like, make my <laughs> stock price grow. <laughs> 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 yeah so yeah i think they own i think activision owns far too much ip and way too many like actual assets like big video game companies for them to actually be affected long term i think there's just too much there that that this will blow over for them they might find a new ceo or something i don't think they'll negatively hurt for too long but it's just such a cavalcade of of bad press that it has it has to have an impact somewhere like they have to they have to take a step back and realize they can't keep doing this and by this i mean sexually harassing their employees or or other shenanigans so it needs to stop and i they need to get rid of bobby kotick that's where i would start they need to figure (laughs) out a way they need to figure out a way to get rid I of I firmly, firmly believe in voting with your wallet because no. profits are the only thing these people care about. And if enough yes. people don't buy a product, it's going to make at least some impact. You know, you're probably not going to kill the company or cause no sales, but you'll do something. So don't buy it. it. Don't buy Call it of will, Duty. It don't will, buy the newest Overwatch shit. Don't buy it. Just it will, don't buy it. It. Will, it will never happen. I know, but but I I really, I I, like I said, I really think it is at that point where people are just going to finally be done with Blizzard. World Mm -hmm. of Warcraft is not in a good state right now. Overwatch is very close to completely dead. Like uh, Call of Duty, another big one from them. No one really likes. I think they're just in a position where they're not making any good products to keep these brainwashed fans around. Mm hmm. Vote with your wallet, friends. It's really the only thing you can do. You can complain all you want or leave all the negative criticism all you want, but if people are still buying the product, none of it matters. So don't buy it. Just don't buy it. So I didn't know this. Activision owns Candy Crush. These guys have more money. All right, well, they're doing fine then. That changes yeah. everything. <laughs> uh, Dude, yeah. your no, your they, grandma yeah. who plays Candy Crush is never gonna find out about this news. No, the just the yeah, they, they will never know. They own, if any, if anything, your grandma's King, gonna be right? like, "Well, maybe they should have been open to the flirting. It would have been fun." <laughs> oh <for> Christ! Yeah, <laughs> oh, she's, what was she wearing when she was coding around? <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh god oh god she's like that bobby seems like a nice man exactly yeah I, he, my around. bobby wouldn't do that the nice candy crush <laughs> my <man>. bobby <laughs> <laughs> she says Such bobby cookies every man. christmas <laughs> oh god yeah um, but they they own king right it's king mm-hmm. yeah that's that's a shame <laughs> they're set for life yeah just don't, just don't buy it. That's all I have to say. I didn't buy Vanguard, and I'm not planning on it. Uh, yeah, right look there at with you, you and your high horse. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're missing out, Andrew. You're lost. <laughs> Did you buy it? Oh my god, yeah. I regret every <laughs> oh, fucking fuck. second of that. You piece of shit. <laughs> it, was, it's, it was so... In my defense, this was before all of this stuff came out. Mm. It was only the first wave of sexual assaults. Ah, so, right, right, right. Oh. The fool me once <laughs> approach. Yeah. yeah I that, actually... Really this this is going to be a controversial opinion. Uh, I'm going to get a lot of shit for this probably, especially after just talking about all the sexual harassment claims from this studio. Uh, but I th- prefer Vanguard over Battlefield 2042. That's At least it fucking fucked. runs. We we will have a fun little chat on that, Jackson. I am refunding Battlefield 2042, actually. <laughs> how were you able to? Wait. How, so how, did you play two hours? No, technically because the game was only released on the 19th and I only played it during the early access period, it's not like I played it during official release. So according to Steam, I should be able to get my money back. It's it's such a fucking mess, dude. Yeah, I so yeah. I, I had fun with spot. it. I, I think the core gameplay is fun. Yeah, but I agree. I, I can't in good conscience give money to a game that's so unfinished and clearly just broken and not like... 
not done. It's not what we paid for. It's not what we waited for. It's not what we pre-ordered. It doesn't so. work 90% of the time. Yeah. Like, I have an RTX 2080 Ti, and I can't even get, like, a solid, I don't know, like, 60 frames yeah. at low settings. Do yourself a favor. Go to the Steam review page. They're the top, like, upvoted Steam review. It's got, like, a shitload of traffic and awards on it. It is a laundry list of pages and pages of things missing from the game whether it was things shown in trailers or things in previous battlefields or things they talked about like or things that don't work it just goes on and on and on and on it is impressive how much in this game is broken or removed or downright unfunctional i you felt know? disgusted that charlie gave it a 65 on our moist meter Damn. I mean, like Andrew said, it is a fun game. And like I said, a lot of it just doesn't work. But the game at its core is a fun game. I enjoyed playing it and still enjoy yeah. playing it. I, I would say it has the potential if you shipped it all up to be like an 8 out of 10. But as it sits right now, it's like a like a 40, a 50. Yeah, Yeah, I was going to I'd give it a four. That's what I yeah. mean, like pointing towards because, yeah, I understand like I can mm -hmm. I can see through all the fog and I can see that glimmering gem maybe in the distance. Uh, yeah. but it's just wading through that cavalcade of shit. Right. And I just, my it's, my it's, current plan is to refund it and then wait and see how the updates go. And if they put it like get their shit together, I'd probably rebuy it to play it. But for now, I just I don't want to fucking pay for this. You know? What annoys me the most, though, is that this isn't like a one-off thing. The previous like four Battlefield launches have been the exact same mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's disrespect. That's what I hate the most. It's just disrespectful to the people buying your product. Like I the, vi the video, I say this time and time again, but the video game industry is literally the only industry where you can get away with this kind of bullshit, where you can sell unfinished products and, and then attack your customers for daring to complain about it. It's, I know. It's so fucking ridiculous. I know. And it all goes back to Bobby. So oh, I, I found the list. I'm not going to read it because it's very long, but I plugged it into like a word counter. It is 101 different individual items of things missing from the game. Like, <laughs> including, like, standard server browser, global leaderboards, custom emblems, uh, spectator mode, etc. Like, it just goes on and on and on of things that were in previous games. Individually, they don't seem like they would detract from the experience too much. But like you said, it, this is a massive yeah. post full of those kinds of things. And they do add yeah. up to In individually, a none of this experience individually. None of this would matter if they brought me the game and they were like, oh, everything's there, except we removed custom emblems. I'd be like, oh, that kind of sucks. Whatever. But when you have over a hundred missing features from previous games and what is there is broken and doesn't work. Well, what the fuck? What do you want me to what do you want me to have fun with? There's nothing there. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Anyway, that's why I prefer Vanguard and why I encourage people to buy Vanguard. It works. Well, <laughs> um, well <laughs> that's <kind of> crazy. <laughs> Stellar <laughs> immediately <laughs> goes against the uh, boycott we just established. Jackson being canceled I, right what, now. I never I never said that I was boycotting anything. I I don't see the point in what boycotting you, because you no one is going Bobby to boycott Kotick. it. Jackson's Bobby <laughs> would never do that. I'm sure. trying to get those stock prices back up. <laughs> is, is the uh, now that I'm an thing, owner? Is the thing about Vanguard like what you like about it that it works, or is there other things you like about the game? I he think it's because price. I haven't played. I, <laughs> well, I think well, it's because I haven't played the previous few Call of Duties, and at the core of it, it is basically just Call of Duty. It's just a Call well, of Duty game, say, and it works and it's functional. Ja Jackson, hang on. Let's let's go. Let's pull the camera back a bit. Halo Infinite. <laughs> It, it mm -hmm. might be a little bland. It might be missing some content, but it works perfectly well. It's smooth. And it's it plays extremely well. fun. It's I fun. Like it well. it's yeah. not, I don't think it's bland at all. What? So I, I, would highly, I would highly recommend people, instead of buying Battlefield or Call of Duty, buy Halo. It's fine. Perfectly fine You don't game. even need to buy it. It's free to play. Oh, yeah, which... that too. It's a free-to-play game. <laughs> oh, I'll be that. completely honest. It's That's a negative for me. I wish I could just pay $60 and not deal with all the free-to-play crap in it. You're never going to get a big game without microtransactions and custom stores ever again, Jackson. No, I know, but it really does affect like so much within the game itself. 
Like I, what? I don't know. I don't, I don't, well, just the whole progression system itself is just tied mm-hmm. to that kind of system. Uh, you don't you don't get anything unless you uh, like wade through that progression system, like the challenges and stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I just want sixty dollars, and then I get a complete package. I I think I'm a bit more critical of the game than you guys are. I did have some issues with it, but I, I mean, yeah. Um, the base for it though is still very good like it runs very well it's, it's optimized fun. it's, it's so fun, fun to play yeah it's fun to play it's it's good it's matters. a solid good game i would and it's free to play i would say anyone out there choosing between these three games just go to halo it's without a doubt the most actual triple a game of the three or or if you want to help my stock portfolio <laughs> uh, Van- vanguard has a digital deluxe edition I Ooh. recommend that. Or Excellent. if you want to learn and said, quote, verbatim, uh, I don't care about the tears of women and children. I'm buying the dip, bro. <laughs> Am I quoting you accurately? Or Jackson? if, <laughs> if you uh, want to no, learn what good. a good investment <laughs> is, you could pay $120 for the uh, premium edition of Battlefield, and in a year, you'll have a good game. But True. Not now. That's a time investment. It's a time yeah. sink, yeah. <laughs> Add that to your portfolio. <laughs> <clears throat> And if you want to make an investment into home security, well, mm. Simply Safe is going to be the one to do it. I mean, Simply Safe are giving official podcast listeners early access to all their Black Friday deals, 50% off of their award winning home security. We love Simply Safe because it has everything you need from indoor to outdoor cameras, comprehensive sensors, all monitored around the clock by trained professionals. Simply Safe is also super easy to use compared to other systems. With other systems, you got to do this like fucking complicated stuff and all these sign up procedures. Nah. Simply Safe, super simple. It's even in the name. They were named Best Home Security System of 2021 by US News and World Report. And you can get a complete home security system starting at just a little over a hundred dollars. No long-term contracts or commitments. I'm looking at you, other big security companies, constantly want to lock you into these auto renewing contracts. Not here. Really easy to a really easy way to start feeling more peace of mind. You can take advantage of Simply Safe's early Black Friday and get 50% off of your new home security system by visiting simplysafe.com slash official, spelled S-I-M-P-L-I-S-A-F-E dot com slash official for 50% off of your entire system. Nice. Mm-hmm. Stay safe. So, like I was saying, though, Bobby Kotick is... I, I think he's going to be removed from Activision, but I don't think that the company will suffer long term. Um, uh, did you guys? What's crazy to me is just the reaction it's had within the industry. Like even the heads of like Microsoft and PlayStation have come out and said we're evaluating our relationships with Activision. Like it's <laughs> gonna, the, now they, that's huge. Gonna, that that is huge. That's like PlayStation. PlayStation has shown in the past they are not afraid to just pull a game if it'll yeah, fuck Cyberpunk. like them up like Cyberpunk. They just flat out pulled it from the store. Yeah. So mm-hmm. they could easily pull Overwatch oh, and uh, Call of Duty and all that. Did place There was something funky with that that I vaguely remember. Was it PlayStation that pulled Cyberpunk from the store or was it yes. CD Projekt Red? No, play, Sony pulled it because they were like, they "We did. can't. We're not going to sell this product. It's not." Finished. No, that's right. That's right. I, I got it mixed around. So CD Projekt Red first said, "We'll give refunds for anyone." Like, and then they redirected them to Sony, who didn't have a clue that they were meant to give refunds. Like CD Projekt Red just like sprung that on them, and then they I got think pissed Sony's off and pulled, issue pulled the game. Was that it? Wasn't just the glitches. It was that it, the game kept crashing, and I think it made the console as a whole look bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it made everything look bad. That was a mess. Uh, yeah, but that's the whole Bobby Kotick story. He deserves to be in jail, probably, allegedly. Bad, bad <laughs> After man. talking oh. half an hour of shit, now you say allegedly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I you think it's a little Satan. late on the allegedly. <laughs> well, no, he he is Satan. I said I felt that way before these this stuff came out. If if the industry had to listen to me, 
Ja, det tror du bliver været hvert fald. Jackson tried to warn us. <laughs> While buying stock. Um, I more. was just outside the offices yelling about uh, Bobby Kotick with the devil. <laughs> There's some more tangential gaming drama. Have anybody has anybody paid attention to the OBS Streamlabs thing? Do you guys know? Oh, yeah, that's another good one. That's a juicy one. Okay, mm. I'll defer to you guys because I I think I know what it's about, but I'll let mm. you guys tell it. Defer to the streamers. Uh, any of you guys? Do you want to take no. it, Andrew? Or do you want me? Uh, I can I can start it out, and then you'll probably know more about it than I am uh, than I do, but. <laughs> Basically, Streamlabs came out and introduced a new service. And Charlie, do you, I don't remember specifically what it was supposed to do. Wasn't it streaming directly from the console to their platform? Yeah, I actually don't remember what it was supposed to do. Yeah, but anyhow, uh, they they came out with this new service. <laughs> so <laughs> <don't get this. laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> you fuckers know less than I do. <laughs> well, no, okay. well, activated. Andrew, st- Andrew started at a weird part in the story. It all started yeah, because sorry. OBS. OBS came out and like out of nowhere and publicly said that Streamlabs never had OBS permission to use their name in their service. Well, no, 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 Streamlabs- wait, wait, wait. I thought OBS did that in response to them stealing from this other company. No, oh my God. OBS okay. struck first out of nowhere. Oh, okay. I thought OBS was doing that because I thought Streamlabs copied the original wait, company and then OBS came out because of that and they were like, by the way, Streamlabs never yeah, no, got our permission. I'm pretty, no, I'm pretty sure Andrew is right. I'm pretty sure the first company, Lightstream, pointed to their web page yeah, that Lightstream. had been stolen from OBS. Yeah, uh, no, so, that so came the story, after OBS. The, the, really the thing was... No, oh my wait, god, the timeline's all fucked up. It, 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 yeah, yeah, OBS I asked you guys for a clear timeline. We need to think the universe all. we're in right now, all right? <laughs> you, guys made, out. you guys made a Gordian knot of rumors, and now nobody <laughs> knows what's what. It's just spaghetti now. So, <laughs> we don't know allow me, allow me, and then jump in if you think I'm wrong, okay? OBS comes okay. along. OBS is the You're software wrong. that... At, Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Never happened. He's correct, actually. He's in the right spot. No, he's not. No, he's not. A lot this of streamers is, use it OBS, with OBS to record their with stream. stream. Before OBS, by the way, if you wanted to record your stream, if you're as old as I am, we had something called, what was it? Something cam. Fraps. 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 Yeah, fra- yeah. Shit like fraps. And you had to pay for it. Be- and if you didn't pay for it, you would get a huge watermark on your screen. And then one day OBS mm-hmm. came along, which is open source desktop recording and streaming software. And everybody loved it. Like, I don't have to pay and it works. I'm Amazing. recording on my webcam on it right now. It's incredible. Me too. Yeah. yeah. So Everyone OBS... Is. Because it's open source, the way open source works, any other company can take that code. And as long as they give credit to the original, I think, as far as I understand, they can build on mm-hmm. it, which is what Streamlabs did. And they made Streamlabs OBS. They made yeah. basically their own version of OBS. Turns out that at the time we when tweet, this like, happened... The goal was Twitch functionality, right? Like they built a version yeah. that was more yeah. compliant well, with I'll, Twitch. Well, I'll go ahead and step in the ring here. Twitch. They made a worse okay. version that sucks ass. I've always hated <laughs> yeah. Streamlabs OBS. They, they it's made fucking a more dog watered, shit. They made a watered down version of OBS that was more fitting to their service, which was Streamlabs, mainly focused on like donations and like yeah. integration. Yeah. Yes, yeah. They, they basically took OBS and they made a version of it that was integrated with their own service, essentially. That yeah. made it easier to use Streamlabs. Now, turns out, OBS is alleging that at the time when they started this, they asked them, please don't put the letters OBS in your name. People are going to think that we're the same project. And Streamlabs, mm-hmm. I guess, just ignored this request and they did it anyway. So to this day, a lot of people think that OBS and Streamlabs OBS are the same thing to the point where the open source team working at OBS is getting uh, help requests for Streamlabs OBS, they're like getting technical issues and, um, that uh, they're supposed to be solving for the Streamlabs team. And Streamlabs also doubled down into that. For and example, trademarked OBS. N- not only did they trademark it, they put out sponsored ads on Google. So when you Google OBS, Streamlabs OBS comes up first before the wow, real OBS. I didn't know they trademarked it. That's so scummy. Yeah, they did yeah. everything in their power to try to seem like the actual OBS. 
Yeah. To continue. Okay, and that's they, fucked. And they that's put fucked. out targeted ads. So if you're somebody, let's yeah, say, you go on DuckDuckGo yep. or Google and you type in, hey, what's this OBS I hear about? What you would get, the first results would be Streamlabs OBS, the other software, because they would buy targeted ads targeted towards the users of the original open source free OBS. And mm -hmm. now they're getting called out for it because they now decided to basically rip off another service called Lightstream. And from what I understand, mm -hmm. Lightstream is a service that lets you record onto and stream from your console without a capture card. Now, usually you need a capture card. It's something to plug into your HD. Between your computer and your monitor, it's called a capture card, and that's how you capture your screen usually. So Lightstream allowed you to do that without the capture card, which for a lot of people, especially if you're like a teenager recording in his bedroom, that's a godsend because those capture cards can cost like 200 bucks and shit. Wait, Streamlabs... Is that actually, does, it, does it actually work well? Yeah, Lightstream's a pretty know. successful service from what I understand. Yeah, allegedly. Well, yeah. well that, that works so, well even for people with capture cards then, because capture cards are so fucking annoying to set up. I hate capture cards. So that's they fantastic. are very annoying. Um, so Livestream was a thing, and then Streamlabs came in and basically ripped them off with their own service called Streamlabs Studio, which was a one-to-one, -one, essentially the exact same feature, but what people especially found egregious is that when you went to the website of uh, Streamlabs Studio, <laughs> yeah. they ripped off Lightstream word for word, even down to the endorsement. So they they basically copy and pasted the entire web page. Their website, yeah. <laughs> Down to the endorsements from individual people on Twitter saying they just they essentially just replaced Lightstream with the words Streamlabs Studio. Hey, they did the now. fucking like the thing where you copy someone's homework and change it a bit, but they barely even yeah. did that. They took like the that original was before you continue. I don't know if you saw their tweet, Andrew. That is exactly what they said. They made a meme of don't cut or you can copy my homework just change a few things that's exactly oh, what they said light, about light, it. Lightstream made the meme by yeah, the way yeah Lightstream <laughs> <Labs and Lightstream. laughs> uh, but yeah so if you look at Lightstream's website and compare it to OBS it is like shot for Not shot anymore. the exact same the layout is the same the scroll flow is the same the positioning of the text is exactly the same the only thing Streamlab changed is like the color scheme and like the font and that's it yeah. everything else is exactly the same it's including shocking. to the endorsements which is fucking hysterical so on the original light stream page this is i guess a tweet or something from somebody called just senso he says Lightstream is literally one of the greatest things I've ever discovered. Thank you so much for making it so easy. And I guess he changed his mind after switching to Lightstream because now he says, Streamlabs Studio is literally one of the greatest <laughs> things I've ever discovered. Thank you so much for making it easy. <laughs> Good fucking lord. And it's also, it doesn't stop there. Um, I don't know if you wanted to continue. They also ripped off another service. Yep. Uh, I believe this one was Elgato's. Yes. And uh, yes. Elgato's oh, capture cards. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. You, you, you tell it. Well, and you can take it if you want, Andrew. But Elgato was another victim of their so, like, no, you, plagiarism. I, I don't know what they took from Elgato, but I know that they also took something from Elgato. So you can fill in the details on that. Well, I want to get it right this time. Let me look it up real quick. <laughs> so, Elgato, uh, Elgato is a company anyway, that makes um, these... Go ahead. Capture cards. Yeah, Elga so Elgato makes capture cards and stream decks and streaming equipment. They are a streamer supply service, but while Green Charlie's looking well. up... While Charlie's looking up the Elgato angle, the something on the OBS angle is when they got called out for this stuff, Elgato released a statement and it was put on Twitter and it was like an official looking picture with like their logo and stuff. And it was like, we are now working to remove OBS from our name. We're sorry about this. Do you this. mean Streamlabs? Yeah, uh, streamlabs. OBS. Streamlabs. Uh, streamlabs. OBS streamlabs. Made it. Wait, you said Elgato. Why would OBS yeah. make a statement? Why would OBS make a statement saying we're removing OBS yeah. from our name? Yeah. So <laughs> here, I'll, I'll, I'll read it. So Streamlabs, when this came out, put out yes. a like little little picture with text with their logo on it on Twitter, and it said, "We are taking immediate action to remove OBS from our name." Streamlabs OBS is built upon the OBS open source platform. Streamlabs OBS is also open source, and our code is publicly available. We take responsibility for our actions and will support the community. We which I think the best reply to that is literally like the top one. It's just the same exact picture, but the text says, oops, we got caught. 
and that's it yeah pretty much like they very um, clearly just thought they could get away with this and didn't care and now that they're getting called out they're like oh oh oopsie sorry well, why are they even saying streamlabs obs is also open source and our code is publicly available that's not what is like contended at this well, point well it's to right? make them it's, look good to go oh hey we didn't steal it we were always open source you can it, use ours it, too it doesn't because like they're using code that is open source so it has to be open source right <laughs> i know i know i think they threw uh, that in because obs the actual original guys they alleged look what they're doing is technically legal but it's it goes against the open source community spirit like it's scummy even mm -hmm. though they can legally yeah. do it and i think this was just like a sort of Hey, we're totally abiding by the morality of open source, you guys. Also, they took uh, the Stream Deck from Elgato. That's what it was. Oh, they, they yeah, made their the own Stream, stream deck? deck? Really? No, no, no. What, what they did was... was so Elgato deck? makes a hardware no, controller did. called the Stream Deck, and apparently what mm -hmm. Stream, uh, stream <laughs> Labs did... A they made app a app version. Mm. Yeah, an app version for your mobile phone, and they called it the Streamlabs Stream Deck. So, <laughs> wow, oh. they literally just steal the names. Yeah. That's fantastic. The Streamlabs <laughs> Deck. Yeah, holy shit, those fucking wow, that's scummy as shit. Wait, no, it's the Streamlabs OBS Stream Deck, right? They could have fit a day yeah. in there. Sponsored by Lightstream, yeah. <laughs> yeah by they, Lightstream. they very clearly were just trying to monopolize everything by putting their name in front of these things. Jesus Christ. It was pretty smart considering I'm sure you're in the same boat. I, I always thought Streamlabs was partnered, partnered. with OBS. Yeah. yeah, I always yeah. thought they worked together. I publicly, publicly mentioned that too. I had assumed that Streamlabs OBS and OBS were developed in tandem. They That's were what like, I thought as well. Yeah, yeah, they were the same team or the same group or splintered from the same thing, but all that they splintered from is the same code. That's it. They have nothing to do with each other. You say it's yeah. smart, but it's not because it was really easy to, dis to well, discover. Well, but it, it took them this, this long this exist, to discover Yeah, it. this existed for three years, I think. Right? Yeah, Isn't but all, all, it would have yeah. all it would have taken was it for OBS to nut up and come out and say this shit. I, I don't know. know why they didn't. But, well, I they did now, and I again, I... Let me read this tweet from the original OBS project. They are saying, We're often faced with confused users and even companies who do not understand the difference between the two apps. Support volunteers are sometimes met with angry users demanding refunds. We've had interactions <laughs> with several companies who did not realize our apps were separate. This poor fuck. So could OBS could God. OBS now rename their company OBS Streamlabs? Just do it the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> could and then see how they just keep tacking names on. They just keep doing it over and over. So now Streamlabs is Streamlabs OBS Streamlabs, and like they just keep going back and forth. Yeah, have some fun with it. Oh guys. my God, that's great. But OBS doesn't make any money, right? Well, apart from donations, I assume. Yeah, no, no they, they make money. I think they have uh, like brand partnerships and stuff as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, good. that's good. Because it, it literally is. Uh, we're not joking. For those that don't know, OBS is used by pretty much every single streamer out there, and it facilitates every single content creator on the internet, pretty much, or any, anyone that's professional, anyway. So they really do deserve some kind of success and not to be treated like this by other companies. Good so. lord. Yeah. Just so fucked. Yeah. They fooled everyone, but no more. Streamlabs well, OBS we'll really is the Bobby Kotick do of you, the streaming universe. <laughs> do you think this is going to kill Streamlabs? Because, like, mm, streamers yep. are much more savvy than, like, Grandma or Candy Crush. Do you think that everyone's going to jump ship? Yep, most of them already have. And, yeah. like you said, OBS is actually just a better version of Streamlabs. The main thing that mm -hmm. keeps people on Streamlabs is just the way it integrates with, like, their own systems as well as, like, Twitch and shit. It's pretty yeah. convenient. So there but is also... also there's also a um, alternative to so the biggest thing I've seen with people using Streamlabs is they take and handle donations and people yeah. like yeah. processing that. There's mm -hmm. let me find it. There's already a big alternative to that. It's Stream Elements. Yeah, that's, yeah Stream that's what elements. I was gonna say. Yeah. I thought most people use Streamlabs because it facilitates that donation system. Right. 
they do. Mm -hmm. So for people aren't who aren't familiar with it, Streamlabs is not just software for streaming. They are, or yeah, they're also a back end to process your donations and accept donations on your stream and fundraisers and all the money aspect. But now a lot of streamers are jumping ship to Stream Elements, which is a computer for them in that. So what I want to see is how long until we see Streamlabs Stream Elements coming out. <laughs> yeah i don't think they're gonna go down quietly so it should be entertaining nah. <clears throat> yes 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 all right some oh, final boy. pieces of news uh did you guys see that uh during the investigation into the R rust shooting you know the shooting with uh what's his name yeah Fuck, yeah, 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 yeah. hang on yeah so it, it was Hang I on. have it open. What? I I was trying to find the tab. I'm so excited about this. The murder mystery <laughs> continues. You, you, you I didn't it. mean to interrupt you. I'm sorry. I just wanted to read no, along. No, Go fine. ahead. You, you, you do it. No, you do it. You do uh, it. Fine. Okay, so You're last excited. time on Dragon Ball Dwin Z, what happens was is that... <laughs> Sabotage was alleged, right? <laughs> they said, look, this couldn't have been an accident. Someone must have mixed life rounds into the blanks. And now there is a new lawsuit. So this is from lawandcrime.com. The headline says Alec Baldwin, quote, intentionally fired the shot that killed Helena Hutchins and, quote, chose to play Russian roulette with a loaded gun in violation of the script, new lawsuit claims. So their claim now is that... The scene that they were filming never even called for Baldwin to fire the gun, but that he still did it. Uh, apparently, he wasn't even supposed to have his finger on the trigger or anything. It was supposed to be a close-up of him unholstering the gun, and that's it. Let me find it. Well, yeah, didn't, didn't, wasn't that the whole thing he said in the beginning, though, where it misfired because as he was that's pulling it I, out? That's what I read as well. When yeah. he was pulling it out, it fired. Yeah. Um, so it says the fact that life ammunition was a, this is from the lawsuit. The fact that life ammunition was allowed on a movie set, that guns and ammunition were left unattended, that the gun in question was handed to Mr. Baldwin by the assistant director who had no business doing so. The fact oh. that safety bulletins were not promulgated or ignored, coupled with the fact that the scene in question did not call for a gun to be fired at all, makes this case where injury or death was much more than just a possibility it was a likely result they're also alleging um mr baldwin chose to play russian roulette with a loaded gun without checking it and without having the armorer do so they're now saying this is new they're saying the armorer lady never checked the gun oh my so god so now it's a he well, said that's she not, said that's not literally her job Wait, no, we knew that, though, because it was the assistant director that both handed and cleared the gun for him. No, but we know that she didn't check it. that's not the armor, that's not the armor right? Or no, no that's, that's originally armor, we thought Originally, we thought the armorer checked it, and then she handed it to, it to the assistant she, yeah. director, and he handed oh, it to Alec Baldwin. Saying. So we thought oh, okay, there was okay, multiple okay, okay. people who checked this thing. They're now mm. saying, no, she never even checked that fucking thing. And also, another there was another wow. good part in this. Um, the lawsuit is kind of long, but the point is they're saying he would have had to cock the gun and then also on top of it accidentally pull the trigger for it to fire, which Un unless, I don't know much. Unless it's a mechanical, like, um, what do you call it? Malfunction, which is what or Andrew what and if, Charlie was saying. What if when it was handed to him, it was already cocked? Yeah. Now, why would you cock the gun and hand it to him? That's like, again, that's I such... mean, why would anyone do anything that happened on this movie set? <laughs> I mean, you know? That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, it was I a mean, pretty fucked up environment. Like, it, it doesn't matter how far back you go. It's like, why was it even a live round? This really is a fucking murder mystery by this point. There's just so many details and new evidence and fucking suspects. And, oh, boy. It's crazy. Just so uh -oh. many, yeah. So, <laughs> the, the, what are the odds that all of this happened accidentally? Without, like, m m like, you know, without intention. And then he actually fired the gun also accidentally and it just happened to like travel in the correct trajectory that then hit that woman like the odds of that all all of that together is just insane to me the filing continues by the way um life ammunition was allowed onto the set despite the fact that life ammunition is never to be used nor brought onto any studio lot or stage alec bottle intentionally without just cause or exec uh, excuse cocked and fired the loaded gun even though the upcoming scene to be filmed did not call for the cocking and firing of the firearm. 
so that's what mm-hmm. I'm hung up on. Like, if it's it was an old timey gun, right? It's like a six shooter. That that can't go off accidentally unless the hammer is cl- uh, cocked. So that's an God, extra it, step that would have had to go wrong, in my opinion. It's like I'm playing L.A. Noir. Like now they're interviewing <laughs> this guy, and he's like, "Well, uh, well, uh, Alec Baldwin fired the gun, and that gu- gun can't be fired unless it's cocked." And I'm like, "Hmm, interesting. Pressing Thank you X. for your time." And now, and yeah, and now I want to now I want to go to Alec Baldwin and be and pull out my little notebook and be like, "You know, you were firing a cowboy gun. It needs to be cocked to shoot. Do you have anything to say about that?" And then he'll be like, "Well." It was already cocked. That's what the armorer did. And then you'll hear the little dun dun dun. Like yeah, and his eyes are bugging out, and he's like faces <laughs> looking around the room, yeah, and he's like yeah, constantly <laughs> shifting his eyes. Yeah, you son of a bitch! I know you're lying, Alex. Sweating. You're not a good actor. Scratching his nose <laughs> like an yeah. old child lying. Um, Just looking everywhere but you. God, that game was. I love LA Noir, but that game is such a fun game. game. I've played it twice. I love it. The same. I love it so much. I, I, it's such an inventive game, and that's what I, I love about it. It tried something new, and I respect it. it. it it's you, aged kind of poorly, but it's still very enjoyable and goofy. Uh, it's just creative. I love it. Did yeah. you know that? It completely tanked the studio that made it. Yep, like, it was a Rockstar huge financial bomb. It yeah, such a shame. I know. I hope they make a second one. It also took like what six years to make or some ridiculous. Yeah, it took a long yeah, time. Yeah, because the yeah. Yeah. Actual, the mocap was all new and such, right? Back in that day. Yeah, it was an Australian studio. It too. was also a brand new face scanning technology, which was the whole point of the game because you would read people's faces. But that technology they used to do it was like brand new at the time. Mm-hmm. And it was a weird result. All right, so um, this is actually our five-year anniversary, which is kind of cute. So I thought we'd bring back... Kai, do you have the jingle? Oh, fuck. I didn't even realize it was. Okay. Mm. Yeah. We're, we're going to bring back this. Go for it. Wait. <laughs> I was just playing it to myself. All right. Five-year anniversary, apparently. <laughs> I just found out. Everybody celebrate. Put your hands in the air like you don't care. They might seem like cynical dicks So they're going to throw this into the mix Just so you don't think they're dead inside It's the things we like corner there God, we go. Been so long. What a throwback. It is. Uh, yeah. I had to when was the last time we I stopped that. liking things ever since I stopped hearing that song. I yeah, commissioned this back. jingle from Jen from the Jingles Department in February 2019. So it's been over two oh, years. God. This thing is almost three years old. Yeah, I had to dig it out of an old a hard drive <laughs> when yeah, Jackson asked me. Yeah, so I thought we'd, we'd do the old... Uh, this is a time old tradition that we stopped doing about probably two years ago, right? It's probably been a, at yeah, least because we years actually since started talking about stuff we liked in general on the show instead of saving it for the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, to be fair, we don't really do that anymore. We just talk about news. <laughs> I like a lot of the <laughs> stuff we talked about tonight. Yeah. What, what did you like today, Bobby Kotick? You weird sort of different <laughs> shit. You got me. <laughs> What are we talking about? Cowboy Bebop and Bobby Cody? I, I didn't like a single thing we talked about today. Hey, I like the original Cowboy Bebop. I like Resident Evil when it's not censored. I like those things. Come on. No, but the, the, the thing about the things we like, Corner, that I like is it's things that we like, like, recently. Like, the mm. things that we can recommend recently, anyway. And that's why I'm going to start this off by recommending Arcane. You son of a uh, bitch. Like, I'm the one that told you to watch that. That was going to be mine. <laughs> and I'm recommending it. Because I want Charlie to come up with something different. Um, so it's fantastic. It's, it's <laughs> such a beautiful show. Holy shit! It's probably the best animation I've ever seen. It is incredible. The what story the is, is good. So it's a Netflix. Netflix is a place of highs and lows. Uh, this last week, they um there was Cowboy Bebop, but there was also Arcane. It's a League of Legends story. Uh, Kaya. So oh, you, yeah, you remember the old heard of this? Yeah. Yeah. You remember the old League of Legends animations that looked really good back in the yeah, day? Yeah, they made a whole like show. Little story okay, shows. I might check it out. They made a whole nine. You need to check it out. It's so it's good. really the good. animation it's is really fucking good. beautiful. I okay. think it's honestly the best animation I've seen ever. I, Damn. Yeah, maybe. Damn, even like especially for its runtime, so it, good. There's is it a three, movie four or is it a show? It. It's a show. There's okay. three it's full acts to it. So nine it's episodes. Nine, nine episodes and the animation quality never falters. It only gets better and better and better. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. 
It's it's almost a ten out of ten show for me. I wow. I highly recommend it. And if you're worried about it being like a like you, you, like if you're worried about it being a League of Legends show, you you don't need to know anything about League of Legends. They made it very accessible. There's nothing <laughs> That's what in there Jackson that requires. Said to me. Because I, I, I recommended it, to, I recommended it to Jackson, and he said I don't, uh, I don't really have an interest. I don't like League, and I just told him like it doesn't have any real crossover other than borrowing some characters and locations. It is a completely original piece that stands on its own two feet without any like actual League knowledge. And wow. I'm, I'm sure if you do have League of Legends knowledge, though, you'll notice certain things in the background or whatever, or certain characters. Like I'm, I'm yeah. assuming most of the characters that I've met through this adventure have. Well, I'm sure they're like League, Name League of Legends character. champions. Name one character. Name one. Jinx. That's yeah, a League yeah, character, all right. Yeah. Is there character in it? In... No, no, not yet. Shit. <laughs> yeah. But there are... I don't want to spoil who all is in it. It's not as many League characters as you're expecting. It's not like a Ready Player One situation. They're using League characters sparingly and surrounding them with really well-written side oh, characters it's, it's that really don't well-written. exist in the games. It's very it's, nicely written. It's like even the main villain is not a league character. It is a completely original villain they've brought in. He's very good. And it doesn't, it, it never feels like they're like, and here's this character. Like, exactly. He, here he mm. is, you know? Uh, and then he just vanishes like after that. He was just there as like a, you know, two second plug or whatever. It doesn't feel like that. It's, I can't believe it was made, honestly. Like this, this show must have cost an absolute fortune. I can't even imagine the well, fucking ten budget cent, for that show. You know, if you're going to get the money for a yeah. show, 10 cents going to have it. <laughs> Is it so? Yeah. The last animation that really impressed me was Into the Spider Verse. Is it like even yeah, it's on that? that level? I would say it's it on, on that, that level. level. Yeah. Damn. Wow. Okay. I, I would say between that and this, those are my favorite animations of all time. Because uh, w- when I was saying it's my favorite animation, that's Into the Spider-Verse is actually what I was thinking of before yeah. in terms of like, is it better than I this? Think, or is it I also think there's moments in Arcane that are really reminiscent of scenes in Into the Spider-Verse, what the way they play with music. Like there's certain moments where they'll literally use music to perform like a really cool like montage or a fight and it's so highly stylized it's just beautiful you know that was my actual my one complaint i'm only six episodes in by the way and i already love it it's already like 9.5 out of 10 for me but um the one thing that i dislike so far or maybe not dislike but feel somewhat negatively towards is is like kind of these weird music video-esque moments halfway through some episodes like it feels like a kind of like a weird tonal shift or something like without spoilers i guess it's not really a spoilers but imagine dragons shows up oh, and that was kind of that was kind of weird well, they don't as show up they, in the show like they're, they're they do solid, that, don't they they do that what? no it's it's like fucking scooby doo like jinx is doing some shit and goes oh, imagine dragons <laughs> yeah. no no it's not it's not like that they're just kind of in the background playing as yeah, long as they don't kind of but I think, have like, I think it do fits. they have a montage of scrawny esport nerds rotoscoped into it? As long as that's <laughs> no, not there, no, it's nothing like that. <laughs> okay, no, it okay. wasn't. It, de- it definitely wasn't immersion breaking or anything. I was just kind of like, okay. that's Imagine Dragons. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was just yeah. kind of like weird for a second. <laughs> it's, that's it just l- has such literally a good the job. only downside. Yeah, the, like really the show is. is super well written. It's not like a cheesy family only like kitty kind of show. Like it, it's a really well written like good there's show. Dark, there's dark, there's dark elements of it. It's yeah. not. It doesn't pull any punches. And it's. I didn't realize that League of Legends had this kind of lore. It's it actually. Doesn't. Oh, okay. It used <laughs> to have a lot of lore, lore, but then it used to have a lot of lore, like really written stuff for each character. But then as it went on, they kind of dropped yeah, they, it. They, they literally had a, uh, I think it was a, well, three years ago now. They even had a statement like, "Yeah, we're kind of just canning lore." <laughs> like yeah. they just stopped doing it. They do like two <laughs> sentences per character. Yeah. So this uh, I was, was completely unique. I was gonna say like it made me interested in getting, like trying League again, which is I, know. I, I immediately like stripped that from my mind. I was like, no way. But it, it, it at least like, you know, that thought popped into my head. So. Yeah, like the relationships in the show, like they're not things that exist in the game. Like all of that is simply arcane original stuff. That's why you don't need any league knowledge. And even if you have it, you won't know where the show's going. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. I'm going to check it out. Yeah, so definitely that's the thing I like for this week. And it's fantastic. 
Highly nice. recommend. Andrew. Well, my things we like is extremely fucking similar. Boys, I have finished Avatar. Mm-hmm. It is Ooh. it is one of the greatest shows I have ever seen. Mm-hmm. I I think it is objectively one of the best shows ever made. I don't think just for cartoons, just for kid shows. I no qualifiers. It is one of the most well written, well put together, most logically paced, most character like arc fleshing out, most everything show I have ever seen. The lore is effective. The callbacks are perfect like it it is it is just it just flows it never stops every single episode is interesting and well done every character has their spotlight and their arc it is insane how good that show is i regret not watching it as a kid when it came out it holds up perfectly well it never feels dated or like something has aged poorly it is i I can't recommend it highly enough i fucking loved it i was in who is your favorite character Ooh, oh, I yeah. have so many. Uh, no, so one. Just so one. my my initial response, I like to go unconventional. I love Ty Lee because you have a world of benders She's and right. people with superpowers. And Ty Lee's superpower is she knows kung fu and kicks everyone's <laughs> ass. Wait, her, it's pretty wasn't good. her what was it? Chi blocking or bending blocking or something? Yeah, she tension? blocks bending by literally just kicking people's asses. It's fucking yeah. great. Yeah, so they cool. make a comeback yeah. in Korra, by the way. You might enjoy that Ooh. actually. So um, I'm gonna so I'm gonna hold off for now and take a breather, kind of let it sit, let it soak, and then I'll probably watch Korra sometime yeah, in the future. You got through Avatar pretty quickly, actually. Yeah, I watched like three episodes a day, roughly, because I I just loved it. It was just I didn't want to put it down. Without, yeah, I'm gonna watch it eventually. It's if you so can, good. Without spoiling it, what's your favorite scene from the whole show, dude? Favorite my moments. favorite episode. My favorite episode, without a doubt, is the Puppet Master. No, I'm puppet not gonna master. spoil it. It's when it's when they meet oh, the uh, oh, woman oh, yes. who lives alone. Yeah, without yeah, yeah, yeah. a doubt, my favorite episode. I was fucking yeah. jaw dropped at the end of it. it was <laughs> is it so like good. I genuinely think is you might enjoy twist? the first season of Korra, man. Because mm-hmm. all of that plays into it, you might enjoy it. Actually, I'm I'm gonna watch Korra. It's gonna happen. But I I wanna I wanna like meld in Avatar right now. Kind of just you know still sit in it, not not rush through it. You know, really enjoy what I just saw. Wait, so Andrew, I, I don't spoil it or anything. But broadly, mm-hmm. why were you jaw dropped by it? Like wh- for the, a children's cartoon, and for a just one episode in a big overall story. It has a very impactful plot. It, it, I'm not going to spoil it, and I'm trying to not touch on it, but it goes places with it I really did not expect. Okay, and it's, it's just very compelling. Um, it's, it has a lot of implications that later on are very important, and also what happens in it, it like gets you thinking about some dark stuff and it's just very very good uh but sounds, favorite yeah, favorite characters want to watch it even more favorite characters so i love ty lee i I love a character that's just like her superpower is just kicking ass and negating superpowers i think that's fucking awesome uh toff is great she's a piece of shit which is awesome <laughs> toff is uh, awesome of, cor- you enjoy of course bossing say oh bossing say is my favorite arc for sure. Yeah. Bossing says I oh, excellent. Um of of course I think it's pretty standard Uncle Iroh is like yes. who, how could you not like Uncle Iroh? Mm-hmm. Um and then Azula. I I think Azula yes. is a very very good villain as well. She is constantly just like like half the time when she showed up I was just like oh you bitch. Oh you <laughs> fucking bitch. Uh, she she, end, she bad knows for her. the exact right moment to show up and make everything worse. It's so effective. It's well, none so of the good. Villain, what what I've heard anyway, if, I can't remember if it was from Kyle or someone random, but like there's no real villains in the story, is there? Ever, there, there, are, there, 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 is, are, there is, there is, but they is. all have they all have their backstory. They all have their reasons to do what they do. They all have their development. Even the like big bad generic "I am bad guy, I am absolute evil." He even gets some screen time to explain what he's doing and what's going on and why. And it's it's just it's just so good. It just never feels like it halts. It never loses the plot. Everything works towards a greater whole. Everything makes sense. 
it it's it's just shocking how watchable the series is you could power down a whole season in like two days and not feel like you ever wanted to stop it's mm-hmm. it's amazing it is a i i give it a solid 10 out of 10 i have no complaints it never once watched, lost me i watched the first two episodes the other night and mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's clicked with me yet, but maybe it gets... It gets no, nah, man. So, it starts so book, don't worry. book one is a little slow, and book one is a little kind of more... Not generic, but more a little, like, plain and more, you know, simpler. But once they start firing into book two and three and all the things that they built up in book one and all those things start to have weight, then it gets really fucking good. That's when it starts there, really, like, going off. Are there like, only three off. seasons? There's three there seasons is. of 20 episodes yeah. each. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds a but lot, but it's, it's really not. Nah, man. And each episode's only like 20 minutes, so. Yeah. But it's, it's I, just I'll fucking excellent. I, I can't yeah. get enough of it. I, I highly recommend it. If you out there have not seen it, it, it is aged perfectly. And it's, also, it, it's, uh, it's like arcane. It doesn't feel like it's for children. It doesn't feel watered down. Yeah, it did air on Nickelodeon, and it is technically a children's cartoon, but the the fucking humor is fine. It's applicable to everyone. It's not, like, kiddie or embarrassing or juvenile. It's it's just good. It's just a good, wholesome, fun adventure show. Hang on, I've never asked this, I guess, but Andrew, have you seen the live-action movie? No, but I'm watching that <laughs> next. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, please so do. So I want your... Fun. I want your review for the next episode. <laughs> oh, I'll try to squeeze it in during this week. I, I, all I saw in the live action was a clip of the Earthbenders moving a rock, and it's a tiny, embarrassing pebble moving at three miles an hour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, please sure please watch it while, yeah. while all the laws and lore of the cartoon are still in your mind. It's very, oh, very amusing. But, oh, God, the, the fights that they build up to are so good, and the fucking characters are clever and everyone has their own feature episodes and like oh it's just so good i can't say anything bad about it there are a couple episodes that are a little weaker like there's some plots where it's kind of like okay that was fine that was good but overall as a package man what an incredible fucking show i can't rate it highly enough easily one of my favorites of all time now so that's my answer Charlie, please say a cartoon so we don't break this trend. I'm trying to think because Arcane was going to be mine. I fucking loved Arcane. <laughs> 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 Find your own. Find your own. Um, Arcane's mine, bitch. The perks Kaya. of being the J. Kaya, Kaya, go first. I'm going to try and think of a cartoon. You can't do that. I mean, Come we on. Can't you just had like 30 minutes. minutes. I, well, I didn't know it had to be a cartoon. Okay, if, <laughs> no, it doesn't, have to be a, it doesn't have to be a cartoon. It doesn't okay. have to be. Then I'm going to say the Game Awards have nominated Psychonauts 2, and that makes me very happy because I really mm. liked Psychonauts 2. Good choice. Do you think it's going to win? I don't think it's going to win. I think it's going to be beaten by like Resident Evil Village, but uh, I really do like that Psychonauts 2 is at least nominated. That and It Takes Two were both nominated, and I really liked both of those a lot. It Takes you know Two what? is I a masterpiece. Yeah, without it, a doubt, they, they were both they were both fantastic games. Oh, but yeah. I actually think I actually think Psychonauts Two has a strong chance of winning. I think it's a critical darling. It's an industry veteran heading it with Tim Schafer. People love yeah. him. Yeah, I actually I think he, I think it's gonna win, Charlie. You I never do. know it, with it this has a chance. You never know with this award show too, because keep in mind, in 2016, they had the nominees of Uncharted Four, Inside, Titanfall Two, and Doom, and the winner was Overwatch. <laughs> so fuck? you never know they might they might pull a fast one on you that's true i guess yeah i always view it more as like a popularity contest like they usually go with what people like uh, what was most safe so mm-hmm. like they gave it to god of war like overwatch yeah last of yeah, us two they gave it to overwatch yeah. last of, yeah they usually just go with the safest option and not as many people played psychonauts or it takes two as people did resident evil village or something like yeah. that Fucking I, Deathloop is nominated. Well, hang on. Ratchet and Clank is also nominated, and that game was That's, a huge was success good. as well. That was a good game. I liked it. I would, it I would wager that Ratchet and Clank's got a very good chance of winning, because no, that was I hugely... Actually think that's got the, I think it's got the lowest chance, to be honest. Really? Oh, uh, maybe it takes two. 
No, Death I'd, say, has, I'd say I'd say Death Loop. Has the yeah, oh, Death Loop for sure has the lowest chance. Why is Death Loop on that? I don't. I don't know why. Nothing else good came out. Well, this don't year. you remember? You don't you remember the fucking game journalists that when before this came out, they were all dropping ten out of tens on Death Loop out of fucking yeah. nowhere. And then yeah, people actually like the played biggest, it, and they were like, "Oh, this fucking sucks." That's like the biggest divide in opinions in the games industry, like from critic to audience that I can remember this year. Definitely. Yeah. People hated Deathloop, but critics for some reason gave it 10 out of 10s across the board. That's weird. Anyway, my bet's on Psychonauts 2, just because I want to play it You risky. know, I'm going to I'm gonna take an outside opinion. I think Metroid Dread might take it. Metroid Dread also has a oh, strong Dread chance. And I think, yeah, I think not just chance. for how good the game is, but for the hype around people actually getting a Metroid game after like a yeah. decade. <laughs> and it's Nintendo, too. And it is a Nintendo, big Nintendo release, too. I, I think I'd bet on Metroid Dread. I think that's what I'd pick to win. My money is going yeah. towards Resident Evil Village, but I'm hoping Psychonauts 2 wins. Mm -hmm. I don't see a horror game winning it. I'd, I'd will, be okay. I do. I'd be okay with Psychonauts or It Takes Two. Those were both fucking excellent. But just you need so. to think about how big Resident Evil Village was. You had Lady D. You had like that baby that people were losing their mind about. Like it was a <laughs> massive, massive game. But yeah. a lot of people didn't like it as well. Yeah, it got mediocre reviews. It did. It's same with Deathloop. It was like big and people were hyped. But then when it came out, people were really just kind of lukewarm on it. Whereas Psychonauts 2 has been universally loved. I haven't heard True. a single negative about it, as well as It, it takes, takes Two, two. Yeah. and Metroid Dread, really. Those are my those are the favorites in my eyes. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they do tons of crazy shit. Also remember in 2018, Red Dead Redemption won every single award except and Game of the Year. The God of War, yeah. <laughs> because they were like, well, we have to have God of War win something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so annoyed about that. We I watched that I love live. both of those games. We did. Yeah, I loved. I we we need to watch the Game Awards live this year. Did we do it last year? Mm -hmm. No, we didn't. They, they didn't do it last year, did they? No, they did. Did they? When is it? Yeah, I they did it every year. Yeah, they do it every year. I this year it's in, in like three months or three weeks. No, no, no. isn't it in December? Or something? Yeah, it's in three weeks. Yeah, let's watch it. That'll be fun. Yeah. Oh boy, in 2014, they nominated Hearthstone for Game of the Year. Uh oh, God. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh God, in 2015, they nominated Fallout 4. Oh, yeah. Oh no! It it really is just a popularity contest. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. You are well, that's correct. that's why they added the fucking best continuing game category so they could nominate old games to win an award. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Yep. All right. Kyle? Let's go to our final corner. Me. So, you guys know, what I really, really, really like is fucking Adobe out of customers. Or as I call them, victims. <laughs> it's Black Friday month, everybody. I'd like to remind you, Black Friday, every single company now runs it throughout the entire month. So, please, escape the Adobe miasma, the swamp, and get yourself software that you can only buy once. If you're using Photoshop or Illustrator, go buy Affinity Photo or Designer. Stop torrenting Sony Vegas, get DaVinci Resolve. It's free. The base version is free. And DaVinci is very, very nice because they also offer free tutorials. Their entire textbook on learning how to use the software is free, which is amazing. Stop using whatever 3D software those fucking cocksuckers at Adobe uh, offer you. I think they recently bought Marmosets? I forget, but they're assholes. So go use Blender. I don't fucking know, bro. But every single mm -hmm. piece of software that Adobe offers has a infinitely better alternative that does not cost 50 bucks a month. It's like a one-time payment of 50 bucks, or it's fucking free. Like you have Adobe Audition, which is an audio program. Blows ass. There's like 20 different audio programs that costs money, but still not as much as like a five month Adobe subscription that costs you not just like 50 fucking bucks a month, but also when you cancel your Adobe subscription, it costs you money on top of it to cancel your subscription. There is like half the software out there that is one time payment costs less than it takes for you to cancel your Adobe subscription. So I just wanted to remind everybody it's still Black Friday. By the time this episode comes out, it's still Black Friday month. Ungroom yourself out of this ecosystem. Fuck Adobe. You're much better served. I haven't used Adobe in two years or so, and I don't miss them whatsoever. I wasn't 
I wasn't expecting Kai's corner to sound so much like an ad. With yeah, I'm sorry. I, I just, code do you or want to something? drop a yeah. sponsor code? Yeah. I love, I love <laughs> Adobe Alternatives. That's just what I want to say because there's so many young people mm. out there, especially young people who just, you know, they get an allowance and they have to weigh the pros and cons of, okay, what do I buy with this? Oh, 50 bucks a month Adobe subscription. And then before they know it, they're in like debt to fucking Adobe because they can't even cancel their subscription without paying money. So fuck that company, bro. Get a, a Affinity Photo Adobe. Designer. Yeah, get Reaper instead of Audition or literally any other uh, DAW. There's so many alternatives, man. Go get Streamlabs Open Editor or whatever <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. That's free. They keep <laughs> increasing my fucking <laughs> price. Yeah. Every three months they increase it by another like $10. Do you want to know Leave a fucking alone. crazy fact? I have never in my life used an Adobe project outside of college. Damn, really? Yep, I've never used an Adobe product Holy in my shit. life. Well, to be and fair, yet you're that's successful, just because right? you pirate... Well, he pirates fucking Sony Vegas. Still. No, yeah, I but pay Sony for Vegas Sony is... Vegas now. Well, it's not even called no, Sony Vegas don't. anymore, isn't it? Isn't it owned by someone else now? Yeah, it's Magix. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! But point is, Charlie is the perfect oh, example. Yeah. Like, you don't have to rely on Adobe because what Adobe does, just like Jer Charlie said, in college, they groom you into that ecosystem because what yeah. Adobe does is they go and make deals with colleges and they say, hey, teach these children only our software. Don't ever let them know that there's like free shit out there that's better than our crap, than our ancient, decrepit code base. And then all the children, they graduate from college and they literally, they're unaware that there's other software than Adobe Premiere. There is. Uh, get you want to know what's funny? Like the black sheep, he broke through. He, he broke through their lives. Yeah. You want to know what's Vegas. funny? I had the exact Sony opposite Vegas. experience in college. I did video oh, editing no. courses and shit, and they were like, "Oh, we use Max, so you're gonna use uh, Final Cut." And I hated Max, so I would edit all my stuff at home on either Adobe or Vegas. <laughs> so, Jesus, Ooh. yeah. I, I don't oh. like Max shit. I can't stand it. Yeah, same. All right. That concludes uh, the Things We Like Corner, and it concludes this episode as well. Thank you, yes. everyone, for five years of the official podcast. We really appreciate everyone who frequently listens, or if you've listened in the past, I, if you're not listening now, you won't know that I'm thanking you. Except Bobby thanking Kotick. You Kotick. If you're listening, we don't appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck I, you, I think everyone yeah. but Bobby. Yeah, Unless my stock guy. prices go up. <laughs> he'll be very happy <laughs> I think a lot of people uh, will no, but for real f fuck Bobby Kotick what a, get him out of the industry <laughs> um, yep thank you for five years like mm -hmm. I said we really appreciate it it's been uh, just an absolute pleasure doing the podcast for this long uh, with my co-hosts so thank you thank you everyone thank you too uh, alright I'm gonna hi uh, everybody I'm, I'm gonna add a montage onto the end of this episode as well for people if they want to hear Aww. some good moments all right Eat. thanks everyone bye bye, bye everyone. well yeah okay i'm ready to can we can we do a clap sync just so i can sync it up later sure everyone clap on three. One, two, three. yay was that close <laughs> enough <laughs> That no, that was real bad. That sounded good to me. That's that yeah, that's all right enough. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, we can we can edit that in post. Jackson just make it Jackson <laughs> just wow. try your fucking best. <laughs> Funny story, okay, here's something I can talk about. And but you two are the only friends of Charlie's that he's not been ashamed of. <laughs> yeah, that's that, did, I don't know if he what? told you, but before you guys, he's tried, like introducing me to other friends of his, that is so, whom he had to, to disavow immediately. I'm, I'm going to have to tell that my I, side okay, of the story. Hang on, hang on. No, Charlie, no, all okay. you're thinking is that's completely true, but I don't want them to find out. Nope, that yeah, is 100% yeah. a lie. Okay, so, like, over the years, you hate your friends. Over over the years, uh, several times he's come to me, like, Kai, I have, I have this friend, you know, he's a really good guy. Uh, you, you should meet him. And we immediately afterwards as the call ends he's like well he, he's not really my friend that it <laughs> and it's a bit because the kind of shit where like that one time we were playing league of legends and he invited in his friend to play with us and the guy left during the call because he got upset at us basically having fun like i made Jeez, a joke what? charlie laughed and the guy just left the call and the jealous. game i don't know but we know he didn't disconnect because charlie asked him and the guy was just butthurt
<laughs> that we were having fun basically what was the other one hang on there was there was the incident on skype remember that one where oh. we were caught in the crossfire god that was amazing okay no we can both tell it just interject <laughs> okay. your uh, right. thing when you want okay. this was when was this charlie this was about this was, a year ago. i think it's... shortly after charlie made his video on keemstar right his first yeah something like I mean, that. his only really the only like one of the so, very few times i <clears throat> acknowledge other people on youtube yeah this it, it was his cool. first little dip in his toe into the youtube drama kiddie pool <laughs> and so him and i are on skype and he says hey i got this really cool friend he has some really good ideas oh, God. verbatim like this this my friend of my friend has these really good ideas let me invite <laughs> him to the call maybe we could do some movies and, and, and no he invites no, no i'm not shitting that's, you he that's invites where you're wrong. beefy that is where you're wrong i never said my friend i said this guy added oh, yeah, yeah. me, See, said he had you go. good this ideas. Is, this is exactly, this is what nope. he always does. We add the fucking call. Charlie's like, yeah, well, he's not my friend. No. I didn't <laughs> I'm if I had those Skype logs, Kai, I swear to God, I would I would put that shit if on If we blast. had those I Skype never... logs, it would be fucking hysterical. <laughs> that would be fucking amazing. But anyway, okay. No. My point is. So was it Keemstar? No, no. I, I told you, it was Leafy. He invites in Leafy. Oh, right. Back then, Leafy... I don't even know if he was like popular or anything. I didn't know him. I, Charlie I also, invites him in. But clearly, didn't Charlie either. didn't know him. And this this kid, being the fucking fifteen year old that he is, goes on this long tirade about how Charlie should do these roast videos on Keemstar. Like, you know, oh my god, you should totally insult him, dude. You know what? You're gonna make Keemstar cry. Oh my god, he's gonna be so angry, dude. And he, but he kept it up for so fucking long. It was Charlie over an hour. And actually, a half. started being. Charlie started being so uncomfortable and during yeah. that call more and more I felt him just tensing up because this kid was just egging him on like oh, cr he kept calling him critical too so you got that extra like <laughs> yeah. Leafy was firing the cringe on all cannons I mean there's a oh, critical you should really make a video on Keemstar you know he's gonna be so angry <laughs> you know, and then I can leafy. make a video he goes on for like an hour of this and then the fucking best part happens. I don't know if it was Charlie or Leafy. It wasn't me. I, I had no idea. Guy. I had no okay. idea who he was at all. I'd never met uh, no, him before. Okay, okay. I'm not putting this one on you. I, I just don't remember who it was. But okay, then Leafy invites in the colossalist, colossus, co cru that guy. And I'm not even gonna <laughs> try doing the British accent. I don't. I'm not even gonna attempt. But it was fucking magical, guys. These two goobers. <laughs> <laughs> Went on this 20 minute great school drama oh, bullshit God. talk, and we got caught in the middle of it. We had this four person <laughs> Skype, and the two of them ta started talking about how they're gonna take down Keemstar. Why didn't yeah, you push that like, shit in, Kyle? What? Why didn't you push that shit in? Jack, you're usually, like, you don't fully under, onto you, that. You don't under, you're not grasping the magnitude of this. They didn't stop talking. At any no intervals, there was no breaths taken. Jackson, because they did like not. Andrew. Not only did they not stop talking, they absolutely forgot we were even on the call. <laughs> uh, these people, they got, they got so obsessed with their little childish fucking pure drama, grade school schoolyard bullshit, where. I mean, Leafy basically just kept going on, like, oh, we're gonna take him down, you know, we're gonna strategize this, you know, you make this video, and then when Kim, if Kim Star even replied, like, even if he can reply, all you gotta do is this, <laughs> and Colossus is, whatever the fuck his name is, his brilliant plan was, get this, he was gonna upload child porn onto YouTube, <laughs> and show everyone <laughs> how... <laughs> That'll show him. Uh, can't remember. I had this one dream where Charlie's mom, for some reason, sold me out to ISIS, but... <laughs> Holy shit, Andrew! Are you sure that was a dream? Are you sure that wasn't last week? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a dream. Yeah. We'll told the future. That's, that's a good dream. That's amazing. I like how you. I like how specifically Charlie's I, mom. Yeah, I like how it was my mom. Did she come up to you and go, Kaya, do you want to go to no. ISIS? No, in my dream, like, it, this was, like, almost two years ago or something. For some reason, I was, like, at Charlie's house, I think, but it was just this cartoon town. I don't know, because I don't know what the fuck his house even looks like. And he wasn't there, and I see his dad, and he just walks past me, really giving me a really super judging look, like I just fucked his wife. 
but I didn't. So Charlie's mom just comes and she asks, tells me to leave, and she points <laughs> me at the nearest cab station or whatever, and then I go there and I wait, <laughs> and I, I I say she's like with me for some fucking reason, so I tell her you really don't have to be here, it's fine. And she offers <laughs> to pay for my cab. I guess she just really wanted me gone. But no cab ever arrives, so I try to hike over the mountains back to their house, and for some reason I walk into an ISIS training camp and they shoot me and I die, and I get the death (laughs) screen from uh, Dragon Age Origins, and then I woke up. (laughs) Can you imagine if some, like, backdoor Russian billionaire was like, alright, Gregory, I know you wanted YouTube for birthday, and he's got, like, PewDiePie (laughs) tied up in his trunk. (laughs) <laughs> here is the PewDiePie like beats him with a tire iron throws him in front of his 10 year old son now give him your password <laughs> he, he's like Nick funny <laughs> he's like do let's play <laughs> like PewDiePie's bleeding on his rug be funny do be the funny. hello brothers play the Bros. video game he throws like a broken Nintendo at him <laughs> it's not it's even playing yes with the Last of Us CD, <laughs> it's missing a game. <laughs> you know how apparently he said that he was gonna close his channel and make a new one. Good. We should beat him to it. We should make a channel, upload his old videos, and claim it's the new one. <laughs> make some money off of it. That's them. fucking brilliant. <laughs> All right, no wait, I got it. I got it. We we close we close the channel. We make the new PewDiePie channel, but all it is is Charlie's videos, and all we do, the only thing we change is in the beginning. We dub it over so it goes, what's every- up everybody, it's PewDiePie. And then we keep the rest of the video the same. <laughs> Just a sudden change in tone. That's it, yeah. No, it's, what's up everybody, it's PewDiePie! And then the rest of it is exactly the same. <laughs> He's not like us, I mean, he could go to any TV station and they'll just invite him in. Yeah. He, he was on a TV uh, station, wasn't he? A late night talk show. Oh, well, there you go. If yeah. I did that, they'd tell me to fuck off and have me arrested. <laughs> yeah, he's got a bomb. <laughs> I wonder if you could like run a scam like that where you get just late with <laughs> where you just label you shit them... PewDiePie. What? You just label things PewDiePie and sell it to children? No, you just label yourself PewDiePie and fuck soccer moms. Well, yeah, they like, yeah I, I'm your kid's biggest hero. That's me. He <laughs> sound uh, Turkish I'll, though. I'll, I'll sign as. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, I, I may look like a brown, you, burnt, you hairy go up Turkish to her. dude, but you just <laughs> just go up to her. Yes, I PewDiePie. We sex now. <laughs> you I give me. You. I sign the, his little baseball cap. I give children the let's play. I'm pretty sure she just forbid him from watching PewDiePie in that in that scenario. <laughs> Wouldn't have sex with you. Be like, all right, well, he's not watching you again. Get away. <laughs> Clearly, I've made a mistake in my parenting. I wonder how many soccer moms PewDiePie's fucked. None. He's fucking models. I Why would you fuck soccer moms when you can fuck fuck models? <laughs> yeah, man? I was talking about myself. If I pretended to be him, <laughs> he's actually handsome. Yeah, I think for the most part they were fine. Yeah. I wasn't oh, yeah, going well. in going, oh, they're so good, but I thought. They'd be good topics. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, I like them. It's I okay. mean, YouTube comments will hate them once they learn it was you. But I like them. <laughs> the start, the, when the episode first goes up, these are great questions. And then when they find out it's me, these questions suck. Uh, too bad They're you so loud. With, I have some questions. Yeah, They're always so talking loud. over Jackson's questions. <laughs> always laughing at himself. Oh, Andrew. Speaking of Jackson questions, should just Jackson. mute all of our laughter anytime Andrew talks. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, That'd be mean. <laughs> that would genuinely hurt my feelings. I wouldn't. I'll I'll increase the gain on our laughs, Andrew, just for you. <laughs> so it's more annoying. Just, just terrible clipping and static every time I tell a joke. <laughs> just hey guys, did you hear though. about? It really ate him up inside. <laughs> oh boy, I was only joking, but now I'm gonna have to lower that. It isn't a Jaguars game without a sexual assault. Oh, speaking, of, dude. Speaking of horrible football teams that won't amount to anything, I was watching uh, Sports Center earlier today. I wasn't watching it; it was just on a TV at the restaurant I was at, and I saw the. Ra- <laughs> I, I'm not. I, I trust me. I'm it wasn't not a nerd. me. It was a friend. It was a, a friend of mine. Told me he's got to cover his bases. He told me he was watching Sports Center at a restaurant. But anyway, the Raiders are apparently ten and two, and they're like a historically bad football team. 
and the sound was off and i saw one of the announcers like get up and storm out for a second and i was like he must be so fucking pissed that the raiders are doing well for the first time in 50 years and it turns out he was i just thought that was interesting because the raiders are historically one of the worst teams in the league every year all right. And you said that that was whispered to you by a friend at a bar unrelated to sports? <laughs> yeah, I'd never be in one of those places. Exactly. Oh, I mean, the, the, there was this one time where we we had these uh, neighbors, as most people do, I guess. They Like, we had neighbors that were around my age around them, which was like six years old, I guess. And no, 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 it was later because I was getting to that sexual point where... I, bonus started happening so probably around nine i'm assuming Charlie, does uncle. that sound about right <laughs> i don't know i got my first boner a few weeks ago <laughs> uh so <laughs> he woke up in the middle of the night what the fuck <laughs> oh my pee's ah! hard started smelling his help ass. me mommy so i remember we hung out with these kids all the time me and my brother and my cousin we were all around the same age and we used to take turns sitting in like a garbage bin with the uh, with the neighbor, the, <laughs> we used to take turns sitting in the garbage bin with naked with the neighbor. <laughs> naked? Yeah, there yeah was and no, you didn't have anything to tell there us. There was no kind of sexual nature or anything. Of course not. Are you sure this wasn't orchestrated by their dad or hey, something? No. What? No. What's not sure. a fun game? I'm pretty sure no one yeah, found let's out. Play I a fun Last game. Last one in the garbage bin has to keep their clothes on. This this game is called uh, Monopoly. So just tell your parents that. So undress and uh, I mean, uh, pick your figure. Every time you fast go, you have to take off an item of clothing. (laughs) Jackson, can we swim in the pool instead? No, we're going to the garbage bin. bin. In the bin. In the bin with you. I'll pour some water in there. It'll be like a swim. In the bin, or I'll shove my ass in your face again. Literal pedophile with a whole trash bin full of kids. I wasn't a pedophile. I was nice. Yeah, little little do we know, Jackson's cousin was 28 at the time. (laughs) Yeah, it wasn't a very spacious bin either, so we were kind of like sitting on top of each other. So I can't imagine it would have been too comfortable (laughs) for the brother and sister. You just getting more incriminating with every sentence, Jackson. (laughs) I slipped. Oh, you're one to talk, mister. I was raped by a 25-year-old. Hey, she was 24. Get it right. I like that top comment on our previous video where someone pointed out that you were literally groomed by a pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. We all have our vices. Wait, was she was she fat? Slightly. <laughs> that's that's a present question. Well, was, <laughs> hot, was she hot? <laughs> that's the important part. I'm just wondering if she could fit in a bin. <laughs> No. Are these from the... Where are these from, Jackson? The website, the Reddit, or what? Just everywhere, everywhere. It's 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 being talked about on all forums. It's the news on the street. (laughs) Some guy came up to me and said, do you guys have a schedule for this? And I promised him we'd answer it. Instead of answering him on the spot. That's a really heavy promise. You should have been careful about that. That's a really asshole thing to do. You can find out if you watch. We'll answer it there. (laughs) Now leave me alone. But he's like, but when? (laughs) That's true. Need another pepper. We need we need energy to skyrocket again. No, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to. It still hurts. I'll eat one. I don't give a fuck, Jackson. You want to eat a pepper? Yeah, I've already. I just yeah, because your peppers are nothing, Charlie. Oh, excuse me. I didn't buy the fucking chunks of lava from the fucking <laughs> black market like you did, Andrew. Sorry. <laughs> why it got Why it got to be the black market? <laughs> but that's that's just my feedback on the greatest podcast of all time. Jackson S-A- already reserved the fucking ads on the newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> Paid for the ad space. <laughs> ask, ask your questions. That's where most of the two hundred dollars. Mail, mail your questions to this address, and we'll read. Them. Set up a PO box and everything. <laughs> send, send me gifts. Send me gifts, please. Just the, however you can spend the most money possible. <laughs> <laughs> he bought a billboard. Uh, Tune in, the official <laughs> podcast. He puts in parentheses, I'll pay for your shipping. Why Why are you guys making fun of me for putting so much passion into this? Because it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna stop it all. He's just gonna Jackson be comic shows sense up from on now good, on. He shows up on national news <laughs> in an interview. I got, I got a spot on Oprah. I brought her back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a suit and tie on? Yes, I'm here to promote my new podcast. The official podcast. We're up to episode Jackson 5. Us... Charlie will probably lose Jack... interest by episode 9. 
Jackson pays $5 million to get a 30-second Super Bowl ad. <laughs> Tired of the same boring podcast? Tune in. It's just him in a blank room writing checks out to people. Please mail in your podcast. I'll pay you to watch. He gets corrupt out. <laughs> How much for you to watch? <laughs> <laughs> Name and, no, money is no object. Name any place. <laughs> place here. I go to so here's the place. The subject, the best joke you've ever ever told. I'll start. So, I was driving <laughs> I down I four one time, and there was a sign for Boardwalk Burgers. It was a Boardwalk City Burgers joint. Whatever they have, homeless men cook burgers and stuff on their grills and everything. And I saw this sign, and I turned to my girlfriend. I said, Boardwalk Burgers. More like bored burgers, because the burgers aren't having any fun. And it's by far my magnum opus of comedy. That's a funny one. I'll give you that yeah. one. No, it's, it's not. It's a knee though. slapper, isn't it? That's pretty If I was going to describe it as anything, I would say knee slapper, yeah. Yeah. It's a gut buster. Yeah. A gut buster, <laughs> for sure. Eh. Eh. I don't know. Like, knee slapper, fine. Gut buster, eh. We're not there yet. I'm going to tell that joke to every guest that makes the mistake of coming on to this podcast <laughs> and see which one will laugh. <laughs> I'm going to tell that joke at your fucking wedding and awkwardly stare at your family afterwards. I'm going to tell it at his funeral. If a guest ever laughs at that joke, you should just hang up and end the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. That'll be the that's how, we, that's how we weed them out. You know what emus are, obviously. You have emus over in America, don't you? No, we don't, but we have books in America, so, you know, we can put two and two together. <laughs> okay, good. Well, emus, like, there was this massive insurgency of emus back in, like... I want to say it was like 1930. <laughs> like they, they they formed a coalition and they uh it was like D-Day all over again. Basically they were, no it was just like a large flock of them in the middle of Australia and uh government How large of a flock are we talking that you had to go to war? Uh, what is this like I, Middle I Earth think... story? <laughs> the, 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 of the, the, the evil from the center of the world is coming hobbits <laughs> suddenly they just appeared we must and launch was it like the first. arrival how does this happen <laughs> I I, they, I don't think they were causing any. They might have been causing issues for like farmers out in the in the desert, but I don't think it, that was the emu's fault really. Um, like <laughs> I think I think the numbers were close to like sixty thousand. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> wow. I think over a six month period. Anyway, Charlie, um, there, hang on. So the government. So yeah. so wait. Did like a powerful warrior give seven rings to the Australians to fight them? And then, like, nine to the dwarves. Yeah, from each state of Australia, one person got a ring and was sent out into the desert. So, like, the government decided that the best thing to do would be to send out our, like, main army force into the desert to fight these emus. The best and the bravest. Deadly, deadly one-on-one combat. And this was, this was 1934, so, uh, it was, it was in between the world wars, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. in Australia, just um, a so, so we were, we were f- we were feeling a bit aggressive and we wanted to fight, so we picked our <laughs> national mascot to go out into the, into the desert. You know, I'm not, I'm not liking that Hitler guy too much rising up in Germany, but fuck these emus! Uh, but the the really depressing thing about this was was that the emus actually won. won <laughs> that <the> you like? <laughs> <laughs> it was what? too much for our force, our armed forces to uh, combat. We we didn't really what have the, the tactics. Did, how what did what you the fuck, fuck did you up? fight them? Yeah, what did you use? Like. Stones and slingshots? No, no, no. We used f- uh, firearms. They, they were just... There were too many of them, Charlie. They Did you, like, shoot one in the head and it rose back up and charged you? Like, what happened? <laughs> Zombie emus. Uh, are emus, we, we, like, the Hydra? They, do they grow, like, two yeah. heads if you shoot them or something? Little did Australia know emus are immortal. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Wikipedia says the participants were the emus and <laughs> Sir George Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> how how shitty of a general do you have to be to have a mark losing against emus on your fucking military record? Oh Christ! Oh, thank oh, you, lost. George. Thank you, fucking lost. Jesus Christ! I can just imagine this whole flotilla of zeppelins fighting these emus and losing. <laughs> I was a loser, and she was 24, and she was bad in bed, and, uh, the end. 24. What about, what about the anti-period device? What was the fate of that? <laughs> she threw it in the fucking garbage, I don't know. You should have reclaimed that, man. That was some alien tech up there, preventing periods from the inside. 
<laughs> Did you have any blood on your wiener? Yeah. I have blood in my mouth. Wait, did you use a condom, Andrew? Were you a smart boy? Uh, of course. Okay, good boy. <sighs> he wrapped it in capucin. Oh my fuck! Oh god, I I might have to tap out. He wrapped it in nano shield technology. I might have to tap out. <laughs> Anti sex is- device. My what mouth happened? is numb. No, I might no have to give out. up. No tapping out. Oh, my eyes are burning. No, now. I I can't feel my mouth. Them. Did you just pepper spray yourself? No, I. The thing is, this whole jar is filled with juice too, so it, I, I yeah, put so my hand mine. in it too. Yeah, and I got <laughs> my eyes with that juice. Like an idiot, now I have to hold them close. Are you alright, Andrew, for real? Huh? <laughs> He's dead. Did he die? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man, I cannot open my eyes. <laughs> Wait, what happened to Surely. Andrew? Jackson, do you have any uh. weird pet peeves? We've lost Jackson. No, 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 I just I muted the microphone while there was a <laughs> truck driving by. Um, he was too distraught hearing the bad menu in uh Do you have to manually studio. mute your mic every time someone drives by? <laughs> no, it was, it's like a garbage truck they stopped by. He records in a fucking lemonade stand oh. on his front yard. <laughs> <laughs> he tries to scrape some more money as he's doing the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, 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 my gonna... pet peeve is people that don't tip. My lemonade stand. One day he's gonna accidentally no. un- leave his mic unmuted, and you're just gonna hear, "Yeah, it's three for a dollar." <laughs> <laughs> That's cheap lemonade, dude. Lemonade's super cheap mm-hmm. if you make it yourself. Why do you think kids sell it for a dollar? I mean, it's not, yeah, it's not that hard to manufacture. <laughs> Lemons, <laughs> water, sugar, sugar Jackson. Like lemon. <laughs> think of the margin. <laughs> ja- you don't need to slaughter. You don't need to slaughter any memes to make it, Jackson. I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Jackson's already brainstorming a business plan for a lemonade stand now. He's going to buy domains. He for bought you. up all the stands in <laughs> Australia. He bought Lemonade.com. The official lemonade stand. He bought stand. all the shares. I'm, I'm going to buy all your stock. What are you saying, mister? <laughs> Where's I'm, your dad? Ne- next week, Jackson shows up. Guys, I have the greatest announcement for the podcast. I bought a lemon plantation in South America. <laughs> we'll be rich. <laughs> Turns into it's the Pablo genius. Escobar of lemons. <laughs> We'll see the results in six years. <laughs> Start smuggling <laughs> lemons have, and tires. In six years, you'll have made 30 cents profit. It was stupid of me not to buy the domain. <laughs> <laughs> Lemonparty.com. <laughs> yeah, no. everyone who wants some fresh lemonade recipes, lemonparty.com. So let's not waste any time here, Felix. How often and what are some interesting masturbatory experiences you've had? <laughs> This is what people come here for. Yes. Cutting right to the chase. Getting I was warned about it. this shit. <laughs> okay, wait, before you get into it, can you tell us who warned you? It was Cry. Yeah. He told he told me about yeah. uh some uh, some uh, leg to the wall technique. Well, That's I heard I heard thing, you guys right? ditched him uh, to get me on, so That's not <laughs> true. Not that That's, That's not, not true. true. All right. Yeah, All you're right. you're spreading filthy rumors now. But he's welcome to come on and defend himself. Well, I've already scheduled him, but apparently I scheduled him for today as well, but I didn't know. <laughs> How are you this That's what bad he told at me. scheduling? <laughs> he scheduled them all for the same hour. He doesn't even know the hour. So anyway, Felix, walking down the wall, the bread basket, what techniques? Tell us. <laughs> I mean, I clearly, nothing's going to wow you guys. No, Who fucks the bread basket. You can try. I already explained yeah. the bread basket. It's when you cr- interlace your fingers and tuck it under your junk and then like go back and forth like you're presenting a basket of bread. But that's not under your that's junk. Not... What yeah. is that? Yeah. Is it is that just masturbate? Oh, we're talking about masturbation, yeah. right? I thought we were talking yeah, about self sucking. You jack addicts. off like that. It was I found it on Google when I was like fourteen. I was like, oh. Uh. <laughs> what? Huh. I can't tell if you guys are joking or not. This is so weird. No, we're completely <laughs> serious. <laughs> Welcome to the official no. podcast. <laughs> Where everything's yeah, the- a joke and nothing that should be a joke is. Okay. <laughs> the, um, the Patreon episode was about as serious as it gets. <laughs> I would I would say does. like the only the only weird thing was once I uh, when I was like fourteen. This is gonna sound really weird, uh, but mm-hmm. compared to you guys, it probably won't be. But uh, I I thought it was hilarious. I, I probably was younger, but I thought it was hilarious how your your cat gets his dick out. That was like the funniest <laughs> thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> your cat? How does your cat get your dick out? I've never seen that. I own so many cats. Now wait, your cat well, gets you don't your know dick the out, or the cat, get, or yeah, the cat gets its own dick out. I mean, I'm you, we don't need to get into the details of that. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, the cat's dick. I always thought it was okay. so funny. 
And then I showed a friend, right? Because clearly I, I, I discovered this amazing thing that I can get my cat's dick out. <laughs> the epitome what of, do. Uh, yeah, exactly. The epitome of cod comedy. And, and I, I thought it was hilarious. Like, But apparently he was more like shocked by it. So the day after, like, he went to tell everyone in school that I'd masturbated my cat. And I'm like, what the fuck? That's not what I did. <laughs> but then I realized afterwards, I'm like, yeah, no, I was pleasuring my cat. What we all used Go. to think was is that they at least try with the big ones, you know? They give not, the big ones yeah. a pass or something. But That's he, not what PewDiePie said. Exactly. If Well, PewDiePie, he's also, you know, they don't like him. But if even somebody like Neistat, who plays by the rules, he's basically their puppy tight in the backyard eating their scraps, like just, you know, rolling over when they say roll over, sit boy, good boy, and even he gets fucked over by them. Jesus, who's this, no who's this who's Casey people. Neistat? What, 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 do you, you, got a, you got a grudge against him or something? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know oh, the name. Uh, okay, so what? Boyfriend. I'll, I'll, I, I have something I want to talk about. So every once in a while, I like to go on Google Earth to look at distant islands and just, you know, Dream daydream about... about what a fucking yeah, just, nerd. They I like about to bring up my like, calculator and run some equations. No, like, just look at really remote islands and just daydream about owning a castle there, you know, have a, like, fortress of solitude or whatever. And I came across one island that is populated, but Wikipedia tells me this is the Pitcairn Islands, somewhere in the southern Pacific Ocean, and it's the single most remote island and simultaneously, it has the lowest population of any democracy on the planet, <laughs> with only 50 people. And I just like the thought that uh, if we wanted to, we could probably crowdfund a trip there with our fans and conquer the island. That's kill not everybody. a bad idea. So I, here's I, the great part, though. I don't think that's how it would work. They'd kill us no. if anything. So according to Well, the they'd history, have to vote on it. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. I already made a plan. This is awesome. According to their history, all of these people... <laughs> Are, they're descendants of mutineers, which means their souls are hellbound anywhere. Like they can shoot cursed, lasers basically. and have claws. No, it's more like Pirates of the Caribbean, where they're you know cursed and oh. they have no souls. But we can go there. Point is, a population of fifty. Okay, I looked up the statistics: thirty-one able-bodied people. Seventeen of them <laughs> are male, and only se only seven of the thirty-one people are younger than forty. Okay. Oh, no. You've wow. Analyzed, you've analyzed their weaknesses. They had, no, 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 no. You literally are reconning their military force. <laughs> Flying a drone over. <laughs> There's only four of us, though, Andrew. There's only four. Well, no. let's say three able bodied men here because you're a bit okay. sick. No. Well, that's why we're going to take some of our fans with us. That's what I'm saying. We crap. We can make a GoFundMe to conquer the island. So we'll have like four, five able bodied people after that. <laughs> Okay, so, to continue, it gets even better. So, you know, you might feel a little terrible about Bakaya, it's an island full of, you know, old people, and we're gonna just go there and slaughter them all. Yes, <laughs> because it's a pedophile colony. Yes, what? You're, you're right. In 2004... <laughs> what? No, no, okay, listen to me. In 2004, seven <laughs> men, seven men living on the islands were charged with counts of child pornography, that which is... A third of the male population on the island. But they don't have government. Who charged them? That is them? an M. Night Shyamalan level <laughs> twist if I've ever heard one. This is Who charged okay. them though? I feel like this no, no, island no. is begging well, to be slaughtered. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. So technically, the island is uh, under the you know territory of the United Kingdom, which means at some point we might have to deal with the Ministry of Defense and the Majesty's Armed Forces. Boo. But point is... The Islanders in 2004 had 20 guns, but they had to surrender them ahead of the sexual assault trials. <laughs> and then they got a new mayor in 2010, and now he's facing 25 charges of possessing child porn. <laughs> so it's a colony of assholes. It's just like seven or eight able-bodied men. All of them are old fucks. If you could go over there, kill them all, <laughs> take over the islands, and then, I don't know. <laughs> we have a... Oh, we, become we, pedophiles? we become the pedophile island, yeah. <laughs> No, we yeah. turn it into a cool, like, pirate's hangout. Oh, with a water slide. Oh, with water oh, slides yeah. and rum and naked children. Wait, nope. Okay, we the last one. <laughs> we could live stream us taking over that island in, like, 120p for, like, two minutes. 
Well, yeah, or we record it and then upload it later. But point is, we have 100,000 people watching this. Even Charles Manson could gather a cult. I believe we could get at least like 100 people willing to come onto a ship with us. We crowdfund the trip. It, it'll cost a lot, but, you know, we, we kickstart it. We take a ship, we go there. We don't even need guns. They don't have guns. They're old fucks. We just bash their skulls in with sticks and stones. We just challenge them to a foot race. I think we could just convince them to leave peacefully. Like, there's a lot more <laughs> child porn out there than what you have on this island. We just I feel like they're listening to this at the moment, and they're just going to come strike us first, though. <laughs> yeah. They'll all evacuate the island out of fear of Kaya and the boys. S- strike us, what, with pine cones? They have, like, one turtle on the uh, island that's protected by law. Hey, man, they have an <laughs> island you don't. I don't know. They seem pretty successful yeah, to me. I don't yeah, Kaya, let's, let's back up a bit. How many turtles do you have that are protected by oh. law? Not if I have anything to say about it. Listen, if, if you're in, then let's, you know, hashtag Kaya the Conqueror. Let's get this rolling. <laughs> I want that island. I've never in my life have seen such an attainable goal. This podcast might not turn into anything profitable anytime soon, but we could have an island. We just conquer it. The, the Brits, they're not going to defend the goddamn mind. The Majesty doesn't give a fuck. She's probably forgotten about it. Like She probably thinks it's a leper colony. We take the island and we sell it to some rich fuck. Oh, di- wow, wait. Then we don't even have to worry about installing better internet. Well, you'd have to rob a bank after a stay in Sweden. Did you notice how expensive it is? I was... I came from New York at the time, and I was actually surprised that it wasn't as expensive as I thought. Mm. Last time I was there, like a little bottle of water will cost you a pint of virgin blood in your firstborn oh yeah no they didn't ask for that just like three bucks (laughs) (laughs) basically the same thing it's a different time back (laughs) then isn't we need right now Uh, we need a voice actor off because andrew also wanted to do voice acting things as well so jackson why don't you toss some voice acting you know rolls at us and we'll each take turns and see who does it best all right squidward from spongebob that's all you andrew do i have to that's all you, yeah, you have to. You have to. Get it. It's your contract. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not like professional man. It's when Shut I'm on the spot. Do don't be which so one, shy. Don't be shy. Here. Whenever you get <laughs> shy, just remember I just got some whiskey on my keyboard. He did it. He did it. Keyboard, it? So. Yeah, he did a little bit. I just did it. No, do it again. I'm it Squidward again. Tentacles. Spongebob. Okay. You can't be stupid on Wednesday and Thursday. That's not how it works. <laughs> 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 that laugh was pretty good. That was yeah. not bad. That's pretty That's good. awesome. Yeah. Can you do all Your of our ads one. reads that way? <laughs> no. Oh, right. please, no. Now let's get somebody who doesn't suck. Uh, Proziti, your turn. Well, wait, I, I believe it's Charlie's turn to do a no, show. No, no, Charlie, go. We're going round robin. It's Sung Wan's no, turn. I'll be the <laughs> no, anchor. It's Charlie. We're leaving the best to the last. Charlie, go. You don't. Know, <laughs> Mr. Scott. Squidward. with himself. <laughs> Am I Mr. Squidward? <laughs> I don't Where's know anymore. Squidward, really. All right, Charlie, yeah. hit us with a plankton. You're up. What, what, why are we doing plankton now? What are we doing Jackson's <laughs> Does he talk no. shit? All right, um, Jackson. Eugene. <laughs> That's just you. <laughs> are, are you polite? Eugene. Eugene. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Such Eugene. A... That's horrible. <laughs> All right. This is why you don't get ja- calls back. Jackson, give us a better voiceover off. Don't give us a specific character. Give us like yeah. a person, like right, a, right, a right, thing yeah, that's, to that's, imitate. That's a good one. All right. Yeah. All right. So, Andrew, I'm going to set the tone for you. You're in a, you're in a, uh, a bar at... In the desert, and you're a sheriff. Go. <laughs> well, all righty, pilgrim. I see you coming into my town and drinking my whiskey and my wine, but I don't think that you're right for this town because you ain't got no horses. Mm. Horses? You have to yeah. have more than one. He's got no horses. He's not allowed in the horse town. No horses. That's a good point. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, They're pretty strict point. about that horse policy. Yeah, the Charlie, horse you're up. Maybe lock them doors and turn the lights <laughs> down low. <laughs> Shoutouts to Wheeler Walker Jr. <laughs> That's all I got. So do you have any, like, horror stories from the iCarly set? We'll go in the other direction. Has there ever been, like, something bad that happened on the set? Like, maybe someone was doing a stunt and bang, that's a broken neck and spine right there or something, anything? I mean, uh, nothing, nothing that serious, <laughs> but I mean... 
fuck <laughs> but, but the guy the guy like okay so there's like there's that meme where i fall and die that fucking <laughs> gibby dies he hits the floor really hard it's funny but yeah that stunt was was that guy like broke all his ribs or something. I think he was <laughs> like, man, I'm supposed to fall from the ceiling and just hit the ground and get the wind knocked out of me. But dude, that guy hit that fucking ground. Wait, he was, <laughs> he was actually just assassinate you. Yeah, in the script, he was actually supposed to just fall onto the ground with no safety or anything. <laughs> no safety. Yeah, I just fall from the ceiling because it's like I missed some. I'm, I'm, I'm going to highly more. fucking recommend that anyone curious check out the clip on YouTube. This is a brutal fucking stunt fall. Yeah. Holy it's shit! It's fucking bad. For, 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 for what it is? For, oh my god! For the whole situation. Well, I'm trying to find one man, without it's like fucking hilarious. They over edit it because it became a meme. I'm trying to find like the actual raw clip. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> so you're telling me the actual script that that had been cooked up here is a stunt actor will jump from the the top of a steel cage onto the floor <laughs> with nothing to stop him? Like no cushion, but like like there's like a thin mat under the floor, thin, 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 but nothing. Jesus. Like he, he was he was not doing too That's well. Some, like that was scary. The WWE fun. doesn't even go that far for realism. That's the best I can find <laughs> it, but it gives you a pretty good idea of how genuinely fucked up this stunt is. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. <laughs> 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 oh. fucking bounces like a ball now, now yeah <laughs> get, noah noah if you if you're looking for some more work i hear quentin tarantino's hiring if you're into those kind of stuff yeah, if you want to just get, if you want to get fucking killed we, there's plenty out there now wow. he doesn't oh, look shit. like a stunt man yeah, at all like, like a he, rag he doesn't look like he was bracing for the impact did somebody just <laughs> toss him off like an, is that an intern yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the stuntman was late for work, so they just threw an intern off the rafters. <laughs> he didn't even know it was going to happen. <laughs> God, I'm surprised, I'm surprised yeah. it's only broken ribs. That looks like that looks like something that would kill a man watching porn. And I've talked about this on the podcast where porn watching with me back in my huge OCD days was like a fucking song and dance. I had like a whole script that I had to follow. Hmm. Tell me about it. But just well, so, it, give, give me the Reader's Digest because pe- listeners have heard it. So... Basically, I'd watch the same video night after night. night it was really? called Nice Pair of Lesbians. Rest in peace. It's not on the internet in good quality anymore. And, you know, if the video would play, there'd have to be certain marks where I'd have to make a facial expression at, like, X time in the video. Oh, stuff wow. Like that. Okay. But there was one particular bad night. I don't even know if it was, like, during this time when, it was, when I was doing that ordeal. But I had a really bad jerk-off experience. Hmm. And it, I had to miss school the next day because I was inconsolable. I was so incredibly... <laughs> you had, like, PTSD. Well, it's more so I got, like, the whole family involved. In, oh, like, no. How ang- like, how upset I was. And, like, I needed to be comforted. And I was talking to a girl at the time, talking in quotation marks because she was just humoring me because I was a sad kid in high school. <laughs> and I told her about it. <laughs> oh, and and I totally burnt that bridge. Like I told her, like I I was jerking off, and it didn't go as planned. And like my parents were trying to help me, and it wasn't working. So I oh her. man! <laughs> like it was a shoulder to cry oh, on. What happened? Well, needless to say, there was no reply. But what happened? She came right like, over. How and did helped. it go? How did it go so fatally wrong? <laughs> what do you mean your parents helped? Well, like, they were telling me it's not a big deal and stuff. Like, it's just, you know, it happens, I guess. You happens to me it. too, champ. Yeah, it's just Ooh. one of those things. What happened? It was a long time ago. I don't know exactly what went wrong, but I think it was it was one of, like, the times where I was experimenting with using headphones and listening to porn instead of just speaker audio. So I was getting, like, real deep surround sound, and I heard, like, a man grumbling in the background, and it just really threw me out of the mood, and I missed, I missed my mark. It was your dad video. behind you making sure you were okay. Like it was like someone clearing their throat. Yeah, it was just something that didn't belong in the video Go get at him, all. Son. It was just one of those things, man. It to was be like fair, st- I absolutely yeah. hate it when that happens in porn. Yeah, I hate that. God, shit. you so were using your, your speakers that entire time, so your parents could hear you listening. To well, porn. no, they, they they had already gone to bed and stuff. I do it at night. I wasn't I wasn't that bad. <laughs> so you so break them this up. Was, this was, I put on, yeah, I yeah, put on my con. blaringly loud surround sound porn after they went to bed. It was fine. Wait, wait, so what happened? I still don't understand. I, I was inconsolable. I couldn't sleep. I was crying <laughs> profusely. No, but what happened? Your dad walked in or something? Oh, no, nobody walked in. I, I chased them down once my jack-off session went wrong. I was like, I need help. 
<laughs> it's all it's all okay over. it was just like an oh. it was just like an ocd thing oh yeah it was really bad but like i okay. brought in the girl that was humoring me by talking to me as like a someone to help me man that's like a really unrelatable problem turkish uh, names are weird they're all yeah. like elemental like my name is literally rock <laughs> there's other names like water river earth potato cherry <laughs> What is uh? What do Jackson and Charlie mean in roots? Roots. Roots. The, like mean? the origin of the <laughs> what word. What language is that? Yeah, never, the the never ancient language of the trees. Talking. In the slave documentary <laughs> roots, what does it mean? No. It, it, what is the origin of those words? What is the definition? Charles is some. No. Because I, I think I Andrew means up. strong in like ancient Greek or something. <laughs> You're definitely making <laughs> shit up. <laughs> All right, fact checking time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, be, it means from, strong with a nine point eight inch penis. Derived from ancient Greek, it means man, thus and, translating to manly. Oh, look at that! With iron cast skin and broad shoulders. I mean, I'm not, I'm not lying at all. I, I, I just so let's let's get this together. My name means manly. Charlie's main means manly. Kaya's name means manly, and Jackson's means son of Jack. Hey, Jack could have been a manly dude. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one knows, Jack. So, Notch, let's get to the meat of the potatoes here. There is a poster I'd like to talk to you about. <laughs> <laughs> poster? <laughs> I hope he hasn't heard that episode yet. Oh, no. I don't know. We've mentioned it maybe two or three times. Notch, on our Patreon, we have a tier. For $50,000, you can get a poster of a cheetah <laughs> of a glazed by yours truly over the course of several years. In my youth, every time I masturbated, I decided oh, wow. that for whatever reason, I was going to finish onto that poster. Uh -huh. So there's multiple uh -huh. layers of <laughs> pubescent jizz yeah. infused into the poster, and it can be yours for that low, low price. 50,000 a month? But why? I'm, that one. I'm looking for the why? whole... Why? Why did you do this? I don't know, man. <laughs> why, is it, why is it directly on its mouth as well? I wash my toilets with a fungal remover <laughs> oh. because nothing what? else does the job. Like, you, what, you are guys you know what are you doing to your toilets? Fungal remover. It yeah, sounds you, like <laughs> annihilation. <laughs> are you shitting, uh, are you shitting are like you, the last of us zombies or something? What is this? You guys don't know the heavy shooting duty. Shooting spores out of okay, a So there's the cute little wash your bathroom kind of products for, for, you know, I don't know, like bachelorettes who want to clean their toilet or something. You got the pink, some sort of a pink soap that smells pleasant and you, you just wash your toilet with it. And then there's the industrial strength products for people like myself, which is <laughs> straight up chlorine <laughs> and fungal remover, which I have to use if I want to get rid of the shit stains. Which so you have to get shit. a professional team in every time you shit in hazmat suits. <laughs> you, do you shit paint or something? Yeah, like, okay, I know. Sounds... That's your point, right? People are going to ask, Kai, why don't you just use the toilet brush and brush the shit away before you, uh, sorry, after you get up off the pot? And no, it solidifies while well, I'm taking the shit still. It's just, it's so strong. It's like caked right. into yeah. the toilet bowl. There's superhuman abilities. <laughs> the noise from Kaya's bathroom is when you dump pebbles into a little bucket. <laughs> just rapid fire. That sounds dinks. like you just, yeah, you're just shitting out rubber cement, it's, like C4. It's like Play-Doh, <laughs> except more like flubber. It's almost alive. It's terrible. <laughs> Sentient. <laughs> it's annoying. It's like venom. Yeah. It is. Uh, that's something I've been doing. Maybe you boys can relate. Every night now before going to bed, I write down what I did during the day, but it's become so demoralizing because <laughs> it's usually one sentence. Why? I don't know, because I thought yeah, it'd be cool. depressing. Yeah. yeah, I thought it'd be cool, like, yeah, yeah, if you have down. adventures yeah, Charlie, and stuff. I think that's how you yeah. cure, like, depression or something. <laughs> it's it's been like an awful experience like if you look at that journal right now you'll get maybe like a 500 word paper out of it i want to read and it i've been doing it for a month i want to read it uh, go read read out some of them for us yeah oh, oh. yeah read us read us your yeah, choicest actually, longest yeah. one when you actually uh. had a day no just flip to a random day put on your reading right, glasses on a, on a random day i mean i don't have it right next to me though i'd have to like walk to the next room we can and wait. get it Okay, someone toss George a softball question then that he can take while I get my journal. I've got my pre-bedtime journal now, so if you're ready for yeah, a quick... 
fireside right, story. Just flip, time. flip to a random one. I, I already did. I just flipped to the first one, and it's from last week. So this is July twelfth of twenty eighteen. Uh, nice. Went to dermatologist about hand thing. Just said let it dry out. <laughs> And that's the entire entry. <laughs> that's your entire yeah. day. That's all you did for 12 hours. Well, there's one more sentence. You didn't let me finish. Going to bed early tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking awful. <laughs> God, that's the most pathetic dream journal. Well, not dream journal. Oh, it gets Event worse. Journal. <laughs> I, fl- I was flipping through this while you were talking about lucid dreaming. It's oh. if we flipped to a 714. Walked Tetra. She took three big shits. <laughs> I'm so desperate for things to write down. I'm writing down every time my dog shits, apparently. <laughs> How is that a defining moment of your night? What are you doing? I don't, oh, I don't Charlie, know. are you sure you don't end every entry with maybe tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow will be better. Christ, Jesus, Ellie. this is the saddest thing I've heard from you <laughs> in a while. It started out so promising. So I started it on June 21st, it seems. And I have like a whole a whole page worth of shit here. Well, then, were you just it, detailing every one. were you detailing every small event like eight yeah. x yeah okay so that's just fluff yeah read it I want to I want to snip it well uh I I wrote when I woke up so I woke up around ten uh my back hurt <laughs> <laughs> I watched Fortnite porn I because I was looking for like Fortnite porn not this to is the off, saddest just thing woke out. up had a bad back watched <laughs> Fortnite porn <laughs> oh Jesus. It sounds like the chronicles of like Jeffrey Dahmer right before a rampage or something. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, Ugh. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Needless to say, it hasn't been the most fulfilling project I've taken on. Living the dream. Okay, that's a little bit too much. I don't really, I don't know what the scale is. <laughs> Gonna got reel that back. <laughs> yeah. well, this is where uh, this is where you and I can uh, start to bond and give each other's medals. Uh, because when I was growing up, I would have they're called nocturnal emissions as a scientific mm-hmm. term. I went to a doctor because it got out of control. Oh. And, Are you uh, kidding me? So you did you, yeah, you no, were at the level beyond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was the final, went I was, too far. <laughs> the doctor I was the raid himself boss. was impressed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was a medical marvel. <laughs> I was wet dreaming. Like, the, like, do you know those lucid dream losers that'll, like, jack into the lucid dreams, like, once every yeah. couple of hours? I was that with wet dreaming. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you could always zone into it. Yeah. I still, and th- I still have residual effects. I'll still have wet dreams occasionally, just with the most n- this nonsensical dreams where, like, I'm, you know, I'm flying a plane, then all of a sudden I come in the plane, <laughs> and then I come in my life. <laughs> What the fuck? So do, you wake up with, do you wake up with an actual wet stain in your boxers? Or in your oh, hands? I wake up with a full load, yeah. What the hell? How, <laughs> I've never had this in my life. Am I the only one here? <laughs> yeah, oh, what? No, I've, I've, had, I've had it a couple times. I, Charlie's not alone in this. Yeah, definitely have. I, I, I have them sometimes recently, too. Like, uh, God, I think the last one that I had was like, I was fucking something, but I couldn't tell what it was. <laughs> I remember, I, I couldn't. And, Don't and we like, all know that I, feeling? Well, the, 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 thing with it, the thing with it, though, was like, I remember specifically in the dream, I just couldn't get my dick all the way in. It was like it was hitting this wall over and over again. And then, and then I woke the up. And, and I woke up, and I had, had a, a wet dream, and I saw, like, semen on my fucking pelvis and in my, bo- in bo- my boxers. And, and what it turned out is I put two and two together. I was full masked. So it was just me, like, physically in the real world, ramming my erect dick against my boxers <laughs> in my sleep. <laughs> and that's that's where my frustration came with, because I couldn't find a hole in my boxers to start fucking. <laughs> so I've, I've had wet dreams, too, but Charlie, every yeah. time I have, they've had to do with, like, sex or something oh, like yeah, that. They mine. were never just, I'm walking down the street and I start coming. <laughs> <laughs> mine never really need the stimulus. I always wake up with an erection obviously because i think it's physically like physiologically impossible to come without it but yeah my dreams Mm. well my nocturnal emissions (laughs) they don't always have to revolve around sex Uh, one that always stood out to me and one that i've always been embarrassed about is i was playing with dolls which i've never really done in my life (laughs) i was playing with dolls on the wait in the dream you were playing with dolls no, okay. in the dream. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh-huh. In the dream, I was playing with dolls on the bench press bench at my college gym, and I started rubbing my ass against it, and I can't even... 
<laughs> rubbing, rubbing your ass against the dolls? What the fuck? No, no, no against, against... I was sitting on the bench, so I was rubbing my ass against it while playing with the dolls like I was swiping a credit card and I ejaculated. <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus. <laughs> You sound like sexually repressed or something. Yeah, Maybe you've always something wanted to be a cash up. register. <laughs> Jesus. Sounds like something out of a, a horror thriller like Buffalo Bill. Oh, oh that's good. <laughs> Alright, so before people rightfully bukkake us with comments about how we've been talking about Daredevil for 30 minutes, let's change topics. I've been in Turkey for the first week of uh new year's so i didn't get any christmas presents or anything so i came back and last oh. week my sister gave me my belated christmas present which was a book on autism <laughs> <laughs> she must listen to the podcast she knew yeah, she always knew I... <laughs> your secrets out <laughs> I don't. She even uh, she even did you a big a big nice little favor, and she cut out your face and put it on all the pictures in the book too. She highlighted all the relevant portions to you personally. Oh, it's a fucking, it's a, she 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 underlined it with a fancy pen and wrote "Love this" with hearts on the eyes. I don't feel like reading this. It's boring. It's a five hundred page book without any photos, by the way, about autism. I'm not. I don't care. <laughs> Is that any photos? Ideals. Did you scroll I'll... through it trying to find a photo? I mean, on the upside, Kaya, you don't. Even if you don't read the book, she sent a powerful message. Yeah, she did. Yeah, big, big yeah. fuck you. You know what I got her is a Kindle. <laughs> fuck me, I guess, for being a good bro and. <laughs> I got her a Kindle and I got her a gift gift code so she could pick her own books herself and and such you know and read in bed and she gives me homework so I can read about my own autism, which thank you sister but you know I I'm dealing with it I can cope I don't need this book thank you. <laughs> oh I love that. I didn't that. need that That's big great. slap. <laughs> I like to imagine how move. Yeah, she was waiting for you at the German airport with like open arms and an autism book in one hand. Oh, she gave it to me like last week at a, a when she called me over for dinner. It, it's just like it, I don't know if the, it's like if I came out and she gave me a book on how to be gay. It's I don't need this. I know I have Pornhub. <laughs> just why? I don't know. She's just her since her kid yeah, has I been diagnosed a... with autism. I guess she's now. She's drawing those parallels that I hope don't go too far. Well, maybe she's just trying to make you into a good father figure for her son. <laughs> he has a like. fucking father. What the fuck? What is this Game of Thrones? What the hell? <laughs> You're the backup father. You're the booster gold of the father there. Yeah, I'm the I'm the fucking autistic uncle. Woo. Well, now you can bond, apparently. Yeah, now you got something to talk about. I want to bond. You I got, great <laughs> got the little bastard at keyboard. Talk to this three-year-old yeah. kid about his autism. Sure, you like <laughs> being <laughs> autistic? <laughs> if you turn to page 80, you'll see some real... It ain't that bad. Yeah, and Kaya, maybe that's in the book in page 45. Conversations for other people with autism. How to start. Oh, we, yeah, whoopee. <laughs> that's just what I want to talk about with a five-year-old who I don't want to talk about with about anything. Frankly, <laughs> I, <laughs> you done with those action figures yet? It's my turn. I'm autistic. <laughs> <laughs> you call him a bigot for not letting you use yeah. his. Uh, I want to play with Storm Storm a fucking bigot. <laughs> he doesn't accept me for who I am. <laughs> Why isn't your son more progressive? Give a, I'm gonna get him a book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make the kid read the fucking book. Why are you giving it to me? I, I already have like a bucket list of a hundred books that I've yet to read. I, don't, I can't even, I can't be bothered to read my own books. What made you think I'm going to read your book on autism? <laughs> I want you to read this. Oh, Jesus. I didn't read the response. Can I, can I, can I read <laughs> yeah. the, uh, can I read the one sentence from the person replying to discord? Yeah, sure. you can, you can play the discord enthusiast. All right. So I'll, I'll be the <laughs> rabid discord fanboy and you can be discord. Okay, so we'll take it from the top. Scene one, act one. Discord. Sorry for the trouble, everyone. Wumpus tripped over the power cord. <laughs> we are aware of the outage and currently working on a fix. Please mm. visit status Discord app for updates. Uh, enter stage left, uh, Discord fanboy. Bad Wumpus. Does he need glasses? <clears throat> this made Wumpus laugh. He also <laughs> doesn't need glasses. He was actually practicing a wicked kickflip and caught a crack in the concrete tripped and pulled the wire. 
He got it on the second attempt, though, if that's any consolation. <laughs> uh, the Wumpus was laughing that day. <laughs> didn't, didn't one of the Discord staff reply to your video that you did on it saying that they don't <laughs> yeah. do this kind of shit? Yeah, they said uh, the guy's name was like Chu or something. He said that they would never respond to like an actual serious thing with their little stage play. <laughs> but they did. But they had, right? Yeah. Didn't we do this on a well, oh, yeah, they, bonus they episode or something? Times. We wrecked the whole response. Yeah, from yeah. our support ticket, which he said they never do. So I'm guessing the, oh, yeah. the Wumpuses and the, the Schmeckeldorfels, they don't communicate in the office. <laughs> so they're still role-playing when they shouldn't oh, be. Oh, my lord. Uh, fuck, just say you're offline, dude. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like, hey, sorry, guys. <laughs> We're working on it. This sucks. Instead of going, young yeah, yeah, Wumpus was doing sick, kid flip, bruh. <laughs> Imagine like you're in a professional setting and you had a Discord meeting set up. Hey, it looks like they're down. Check out this link. What does it mean? I think, who's read, Wumpus? <laughs> read this last one too, please, Charlie. I just sent another one. <laughs> what, yeah. Is this from today? I love that a lot. We we at uh, John Hopkins Hospital here are having some difficulties. Our server is down due to uh, a Wumpus, I believe. <laughs> Very sorry to our shareholders. We'll try to get this back on track. Uh, see, I came with one, but I I thought it'd be like a more mellow kind of cool down topic. I don't know how long mm. we'll be able to talk on it, but I, I can use it to start. That's perfectly fine. Boys, I have a question. What the mm. fuck is wrong with Simon Cowell's face? <laughs> <laughs> that was at a mellow conversation starter. I don't know. Yeah, I imagine him saving that in his back pocket when the conversation <laughs> dies down. <laughs> Our subreddit has been bombarded by this meme, Charlie. What the fuck is going on with your legs? Why am I seeing I... your legs everywhere? So apparently people have never seen their own legs from a side profile. <laughs> <laughs> so the fact that, and I'm not like a big guy myself either. So the fact that my legs aren't big or fat makes it look anorexic. And I'm in the shower, so all the hair is matted down. And I just have to... I, you know, they're not the most muscular of legs, but they are kind of, they're pretty muscular from a front view. From the side, <laughs> of course, it's going to look like ass. Like wouldn't my dad. Look, wouldn't it look thicker from the side? No. Because why would it look probably, thicker from the probably side? Probably not, but the I don't know if that's a good don't... excuse either. No, it's yeah, not an see, excuse. What... I'm just saying they're not like anorexic gas chamber legs or anything. <laughs> I, everyone's legs from a side profile are extremely thin. My dad is 220. And his legs are just very barely thicker than mine. Okay, dad, let's, or, Andrew, you've met my dad. You know. Maybe we should have explained this. Charlie, you made some sort of a video. You showed your legs, mm -hmm. naked legs. And ever since then, since that moment that your video was published, our subreddit has become multiple memes. I checked out the comment section just out of curiosity. And it's just people calling you an Auschwitz survivor. I know. Because of how <laughs> Char skinny you are. Charlie, I, uh, I got Twitter DMs legitimately concerned over your health <laughs> and asking if you had muscular issues. But yeah, uh, take <laughs> okay. a picture Charlie, of your legs. I think, I think the problem with your legs is that they have a completely cyl cylindrical straight profile. Like you're, most people musculature, they jut out a bit where your calves are and stuff. Yours just go up. They well, just go straight up. Do you notice my knees aren't in the picture? It's because I stretched it out they to are. hide that I was wearing pants in the in the... Uh, shower because I didn't want my cock out because I figured it'd show a reflection or even on the screen you could have worn just boxer shorts you didn't have to put on pants well when I say pants I'm referring to boxers could have put on tidy whities what does that have to do with anything I stretched yeah. the image out the aspect ratio I stretched it up oh that's why your knees look yeah. your legs look deformed you did this to yourself there you go. I was just about to say that's the excuse you just should have used from the start you well, no, said, my oh, legs are I still very skinny oh okay. uh, everyone's see, legs okay, are you're skinny you're your own ship here you're kamikaze uh, okay. in your own cause well, no. <laughs> to the avid listeners of the podcast, you'll know that Hard Turbo was a cartoon, is a cartoon series. It's not done yet. <laughs> Let's Kai say it was. I, yes. Let's just say was. <laughs> that Kai and I were, were spitballing on for the better part of the last like three years. And then we got in talks with, well, in talks is very generous. We, we threw balls of it at Netflix. It went up the pipeline and we never heard back. And it became kind of <laughs> like a little meme that we'll never hear back from Netflix. It's dead. They've killed our baby the whole nine. And then today, 
we got news that we're moving forward. So now we need to do a lot of work within a week <laughs> to have it ready for the executive board at Netflix to see if we're going to get it on the, the, the platform or not. Yeah. So basically, we heard back from Netflix, some some suit at Netflix telling us, yes, we need you to turn in this 5000 word essay until Friday. So we're feeling like we're right back in college. We need arts. Yeah. We need a storyboard. We need a story. We need a script. But you haven't done any of this over the last three years. Fuck you. So this has just been for three years. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Whose side are you How on? First of all, I mean, it's been dead. No one has encouraged us to do this over the last three years. All we've ever heard back is. Oh, fuck off. No, okay. You I, I be meant doing nobody who matters. Anyway. Nobody who matters has ever told us this should be ready. <laughs> Okay, so we've just been sitting on this idea. Now we have to cram before exam night, which is going to be embarrassing, and we're going to fuck up. Speaking of lore, how are we going to do this, boys? Uh, the 100th <laughs> episodes carried a big promise for the better part of a year now, where Kai and I would finally pull back the curtain, unveil ourselves, and tell the story of how we met. Yeah, I thought it was going to be where we'd start and then the fans would have their own telling of the story, how they think we met, like a like a big fucking folk tale. Like, you know how Odysseus <laughs> was credited with like fucking 500 yeah. goddesses? It'd be that, but with mm. Kai and I. I and but at goddesses. the end, you would, you'd tell the real story at the end though, right? Yeah, oh no, we'd have the oh, real okay, story yeah. at the end, the truth. The but can then, yeah, yeah, but then right, you'd have the like the, tr the truth within the truth. Maybe Kai and I really did meet in like a, you know, fucking shark infested waters saving 10 women. You know, like, it'd be up to the fans to decide what's real. <laughs> Did you expect exactly? Yeah, I, I thought you were going to be like a, like a Turkish special forces operant and you like rappled into his house and saved him from invaders or something. Something well, maybe. crazy. But now I'm starting to think it's not. Yeah, I thought maybe like your family was under siege. So Charlie's family took yours in. <laughs> and a, like a like there were cultural barriers and you didn't speak the same language but you two bonded down by the creek oh. when you discovered that you both had like a like a f insect collection or something but something really wholesome insane. buddy cup drama yeah exactly where like like one day he's you're like crying over a bridge where you finally learn to speak english and he's like what are you doing here kaya and you're like i keep thinking about her rigs i can't get her out of my mind and we that's, were in a that's car. where you two realize i put on <laughs> turkish rap he's like what the fuck is that shit you sad negro i don't like this at all and then we realize our differences are really small so at jack charlie was racist against turkish people and then he realized wait they don't all bomb random journalists and hack them up in consulates actually i'm sorry i meant christmas islands we gotta tone down the criticism a little bit i've been getting increased correspondence from christmas island inhabitants <laughs> very upset with me that i've been criticizing the dear leader so now i'm my i'm getting kind of cold feet here so it's they probably sent the messages like two years ago though so i think no you're fine no they're recent i usually get a message from a christmas islander like once a month but in the past couple of weeks it's been four or five people messaging me or leaving comments on our YouTube videos, which, like, you guys don't, you you don't know Turkish, so you can't read them, but it's always something along the lines of, fuck you, why are you talking shit about Christmas Island? You're not even there, I bet you weren't even living here, you don't know how, it's better than you make it out to be. I just, okay, yeah, sure. Mm. Do, the, do the messages Cut. include, like, black and white photographs of you sitting in coffee shops taken from a distance? <laughs> just, like, real threatening yeah. stuff? Yeah. <laughs> blurry photos of you crossing the street nonchalantly <laughs> i know where you live it's just photos of me sleeping taken from inside the house <laughs> i get fake bombs sent to me just to let you know that they can take you out anytime they want <laughs> they're biding their time mm-hmm I really like the idea of there being threatening comments left on podcast episodes, but the three of us just can't read it. Kai is the only one that notices. That's laser targeted hatred. Yeah, it's some advanced tactics right there. It's not. It's not threats yet. It's just very, you know, fervent discontentment. Inviting offers, offers to go to consulates and stuff like that. Yeah. I heard you're getting married soon. Why don't you stop by Istanbul? Uh, Christmas Island, Istanbul. Uh, the, <laughs> it's a city that Jesus coincidentally happens to have the same name. So, Charlie, once upon a time, you were saying, "Go on." 
I was just giving the setting, and then I thought we'd start pulling people in. It was 2012. I had just finished high school, and I was a uh, an Omega Virgin going into college and looking for action. And uh, right. this is that's when Kaya came. That's the time period yeah. Kaya came into my life. Don't make it sound like I'm a creep grooming you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to pick the first one I saw, and by that I mean it's Edgar. Uh, please, oh, Edgar, yeah. give us your theory. Oh, well, I actually know this because we were both in, all three of us were in eighth grade. I remember this very clearly. Right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I was 12, Kaya was 14, uh, you were 14, right? And, yeah, uh, sounds about right, yeah. Like the bus uh, was late and so... <laughs> 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 Assassins got him. And he's, yeah. he's, they sounded like they teleported him into space. <laughs> I had like a cat. <laughs> Gilling Hall and one is Henry Cavill. Agreed? Is that the official listing? Uh, it'll stand. It'll it'll work. I'm. Yeah. The fact that you okay put George Clooney, the man who had headlines written about him just because he stopped philandering and married and settled down, and every every woman on the planet was jealous of the woman who finally got. George Clooney to settle down and you put him at number 10 underneath a guy who slaps beehives for a living. It's a farce. <laughs> this is rigged. It's rigged. You, you guys talked about this beforehand, didn't you? Is this a prank? <laughs> no, I just think Clooney's... He's, he's good, obviously, that's which is why he's on this list, but I mean, look at him. He looks like a state senator that's falling on hard times these days. But no, we're talking about <laughs> his, his prime. His job is I'm not talking much. about these days. Well, even in his prime, I didn't care too much oh, for the, the he, black he hair. The... Oh, come on. I think the gray hairs always looked better on him. All right, well, that's our list. Uh, Remember to comment your list below. Yeah. This is fucking stupid. Oh, Hashtag it's... B-Gate. This game was ripped from the start. <laughs> Man, the 5% of female listeners we have must be <laughs> ecstatic right now. Yeah, you got <laughs> your money's worth. <laughs> They're either static or it's just absolutely isolated. infuriated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow, that really was an hour of talking about. Oh hell men. yeah, it was. Deleting their pledges. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> Jason Momoa should have been number two. <laughs> that test kind of seems like bullshit, though. It seems like writing a sentence and having it get smaller is just something that would happen, even if you're shaking or not. Yeah, I don't know. That's what he told me. I'm huh. not. I'm not an expert on it. If we're if we're on the subject of uh, medical tests, I got an allergy panel done recently. Have any of you guys done that? No. I think when I was a kid, I did. It fucking sucks, man. Basically, I am mildly allergic to trees. <laughs> a lot. Of, a lot. Of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are a nerd. <laughs> I know. I'm allergic to sunlight and women and sports. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it was an maybe it was people like Andrew that burnt down the Amazon rainforest to help with their allergies. Yeah. Uh, well, can, wait, wait, wait. I hope it burns. I can finally this breathe. Fucking bullshit. All if right. you're allergic to all this bullshit, how have you not died yet? So here's how the test works. By allergic, <laughs> it doesn't always cause a reaction. It just means that your body... What the fuck is it? It's, it's hard to explain. Makes them uncomfortable. It's, it, it's... That's fine. Hello and welcome to the official podcast. This is episode 147. And it's going to be an exciting one today because Jackson just returned from a high energy teenage boy band concert and he can't they, wait they to talk they, about it. They're not a t everyone knows who the 1975 is, Charlie. They're the world renowned British band. Full For 13 year olds. The, the audience is full of men like me, just dragged along by their girlfriends. <laughs> it was, uh, it was something else. <laughs> I'm a son of a bitch that? because you mentioned it last time. I looked this up on Google and since then, Google will not stop recommending 1975 to me like I'm some little Does, teenage girl. I can't tell this, if that's a joke or if that's the audio happening. completely fucking up. Yeah, I couldn't understand uh, a word that was said there. What's wrong with it? I think <laughs> it, it doesn't work. It's like in a cave, but also underwater. He's trying to convince us he's oh. a man. 
There you go. <laughs> no, okay, this is even more embarrassing. I had my role playing voice modifications on. Don't <laughs> what do you role playing <laughs> voice yeah, modifications? What, what were you what doing role playing as an omniscient god? <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't gonna talk about a medical thing, but I did have a phenomenon a few weeks ago where my brother's currently living with me because he went through a, a bad breakup and he's currently using my guest room and I was going through a phase where, like, in the in the early morning, I would be jacking off, and I would <laughs> I would phase. go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not. Yeah, morning phase. Is right. not phase. Things. I'm afraid we, to tell we, you. Yeah, we all quit. Anyway. Just a small period. We of all time. quit doing that. Minutes. None of us jack off anymore. That's yeah. old. Uh, <laughs> no, but I would I I would use the toilet that's next to his guest room not to jack off, but like I would go piss in it after I'd finished jacking off because my office is next to there and I would jerk off in my office so I'd go to the toilet piss after I've uh, I had finished jacking off and then every single morning after I would jack off he would he would say something innocuous like oh you have a fun night last night <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I was like yeah yeah I, I guess it was a pretty good night and I noticed every single time after I jacked off oh. he would say that in the morning and I didn't realize what it was until very recently I jacked off did the same thing and then I must have gone back into the toilet about three hours after and looked into the toilet bowl there's like a a white film of cum on top of the water yeah. i didn't realize that happened after you piss directly Ooh, after you cum what? yeah there's like little little know. cum particles i didn't because yeah, i looked that. i looked it up and if you yeah if you piss directly after you cum some of the cum particles or whatever also piss out yeah and they and they like kind of stick to the top of the water so then the next person who goes in there That's, sees this uh, nice little well, like why uh, would he immediately uh, assume nice that little... though did you just like dip his fingers into it like a movie detective and taste it like <laughs> <laughs> smell it <laughs> yes he just came two hours well, ago i don't know <laughs> i can relate to that though jackson in a uh, college when i was living with my friends in the dorm i'd still jerk off into the toilet but i'd do it late at night when i was pretty sure that they weren't like awake or yeah. going to be using the bathroom and I'd blow fat loads in that toilet and flush it down. But what I didn't realize <laughs> is that the toilet uh, pressure, the PSI, wasn't enough to wash the cum off of the, <laughs> off of the like, actual bowl itself. And then one day, my roommate, he, he confronted me. He's like, Charlie, can you stop jerking off into the toilet? Really? <laughs> he stopped yeah. caking Wait, it Wait, wasn't your roommate yeah. G? No, G was my roommate sophomore year. You haven't met this guy. His oh. name's Matt. Yeah. Okay. He moved away, but yeah, he confronted me. He's like, Charlie, please stop <laughs> joking <away>. off. <laughs> what would our K-pop band name be? Oh, good question. Mm. J-Off. <laughs> J-Off's not bad, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> J-Off, I think you nailed it in one take. I'm, I'm fine with J-Off. Yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> That's pretty Okay, solid. what are our... Jackson, uh, you would have to, you'd have to change your name to J, though, to fit the theme. Oh, is that what we're doing? I'm committed. I don't think that would fly if we would all just go with the initials like J, A, C, and K. It has to be nah, a little more unique. he would be J, and I, I'd, I'd need the edgy teenage rap name. I'd probably be like Beat Destroyer or something like that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you gotta compete with Rap Monster. I think I would be... My bias is Beat Destroyer. That's not gonna work out. <laughs> okay, what's yours, Jackson and Charlie? Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, like, if you just spell my name, like, J-A-C-K-S-U-N, it sounds kind of like Jackson or something. <laughs> go with that. That's kind of cool. Jackson. <laughs> How do you got to Jackson. 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 Baka. That actually Jackson. sounds really cool. Fuck, my mine can't do that. <laughs> um, I guess, I don't know. I'd have to, I'd want something like one word, something like memorable, so maybe like... Penguin Zero Blast. Yeah. Oh, it's up there. Penguin Zero. <laughs> <laughs> critical. Critical sounds like beat yeah, destroyer. Call a yourself bit. critical. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Do it. No, I, I would not have Do that it, as my K-pop uh, name. Kun? I'd be. Kun? <laughs> oh fuck! Well, that's Japanese. It needs, oh. It needs to be one word. It, I want it to be like maybe even one syllable, like a. Uh. uh. Ooh, like yeah, like a cha. Just be cha. <laughs> cha. Just cha. <laughs> That's Char. so lazy. <laughs> That's really indicative of your attitude. <laughs> oh. 
And you, I'll take oh, my and, name, but make you it know what? shorter. <laughs> Fucking knowing Charlie, knowing Charlie, he would be called Shaw, and then at every press release, he'd go, uh, just call me Charlie. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh. God. Kaya, what would your K-pop name be? Mm, so I'm leaning towards QI, like Kai Ki, like Kaya. The first half of Kaya is Ka. Or Gino, like G A. G E N O, as in genocide, since Ooh. that's pretty much what my people oh. have done so <laughs> far. <laughs> Gene Kaya, I think I got a good one for you. So why, you why were you so excited about that, Charlie? You really? Because G- Gino sounded cool. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie thinks genocide sounds cool. Kaya, I got a good one for you. Hmm. You take the word kawaii, you know, Japanese Ooh. for cute, but you're kaiwai. No, I'm I'm Kawaii or San what? or or Chan. Ka- yeah, Kawaii Kaiwai or San or something like that. <laughs> Ka- Kaiwai. Like that. Yeah, Kaiwai. Kawaii. Kawaii. Oh, that's good too. Kawaii. <laughs> I like that. Okay. I, I don't know. I'm yeah. still leaning towards Gino, but yeah, right. I guess Charlie isn't very happy about the genocide <laughs> connotation. <laughs> Please, he's chill. Yeah, he kind of ruined a cool name, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. This what, is so stupid. Well, there's our boy band. Not our boy band, our K-pop band. Oh, they're the same thing. Ooh. Yeah. By this point in history. All right, what do we call our first song? Uh, let's, do we speak Korean? Or are we well, English? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> do we speak Korean? <laughs> No, I don't think any of us speak Korean, Andrew. No, Andrew. Fuck. <laughs> We're going to have a hard time becoming a Korean boy band. <laughs> um, on top is of the this, water. Is this the same brother who fucked the it. crab? Uh, well, he didn't, Jesus, he didn't fuck a crab. He just got a hand job off one. Or a claw job. Well, what if, is what he like, he call hey, it? did you have fun last night? I noticed you and Kira weren't hanging out. I could be your girlfriend for the night, you know, if you need someone oh, today. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. Not all gay people are degenerates, Kyle. I brought up like public domain composers like Mozart and Bach. Like, can't we make porn of oh, them? Oh, that's great too. That's a well. Those are historical people. That's yeah. Let's mm-hmm. make let's make porn of historical people. How much porn is there of Napoleon? Probably not enough. Well, people probably don't want to <laughs> fuck Napoleon. You don't know. Oh, that. They don't know that yet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can make him sexy. <laughs> yeah. That that'd be cool. All right, we have a we have a game where the premise is you've traveled through different points in time, like Bill and Ted, and you're getting together all the the studs of history, and you got to romance them and fuck them, and you get them all together. If you jack off and then go to the, the doctor now. and give a urine sample, can they tell that there's like little sperm Ooh, particles sweating that's a good in your question. Piss? <laughs> Please, can, uh, sir, can you just do this again without jacking off beforehand? <laughs> <laughs> Keep the change. <laughs> <laughs> this sample is contaminated, sir. I'm gonna need another bladder. <laughs> so here's the thing, right? If you watch porn, let's say every single day you watch some sort of a porn, the same video or the same genre, at least like piss porn. Yeah, you let's come say, to it. Yeah, hypothetically. You every single time you come to that specific video or that category of videos you you condition yourself to slowly be more and more attracted to it right it's you at the end of the day we're animals we're like dogs if you ring the bell every time a dog eats it's going to associate that with happiness just like when you come and you see a piss video you're going to associate piss videos with orgasming so charlie how like years and years of coming into a toilet and staring into a toilet bowl are you are you attracted to toilets now how does that work for you that's not how it works at all. You come uh, on the tissue, right? Are you attracted to tissue? Yeah, but I don't stare at the tissue. I look at the screen. I don't stare in the toilet bowl. Yeah. Well, what do you stare and at? I look at the screen and... Oh, you stand over the, the toilet bowl with the screen in your hands? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mobile phone, dude. What the, yeah, what the fuck what? are you talking about? I thought you, you just... think I'm just staring into the toilet bowl yeah, like a crystal ball? Yeah, you were explaining <laughs> like you were just leaning over the toilet and jacking no. off into it. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, mobile phone. Okay, I yeah. see. Okay, fair or, enough. Or the, or the or the highest octane of thrills, your own imagination. Even no, if I you never use my imagination. I have never been out of jerk off to my, my really? imagination. Horrible. Maybe when I was oh, maybe when I was like first doing when it. I, oh, when I was blossoming healthy. into a into a man and jacking off like twice a day every single day, I mostly used my imagination. That's it. I probably so could. It just sounds boring. Yeah. Yeah, it's I, really I just boring. See, that's the problem though. This is 
Because then you, now you're dependent on porn. If you can't get harder jack off just yeah. without porn anymore, that's a bad sign, which is why, remember a while back we talked about yeah, how we need to... One, one day, one day you guys are going to be stuck on a deserted island and you're going to be so fucking horny and you can't do anything about it because your boobs drawn in the sand don't look very good. Yeah. Well, that's when you like make a nice like hole in the sand and just fuck that. <laughs> so just have a little mental exercise for you guys. Uh, nothing fancy but like what would you do if a uh, you from an exact parallel universe was trying to kill you and you Ooh. him mm. are we identical in every yeah. way like yeah it's... if you're identical oh fuck well no so it's a parallel universe where we're identical but the only difference is they want to kill me yeah and you want to kill them you know i mean obviously okay in that case so you're so, identical <laughs> so they're from a, yeah yeah i just kill myself i win <laughs> 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 and then the other Jackson gets upset. Damn but that's the thing, though, Jackson. Everything. Because right. would the he other Jackson too. not kill himself first? Or what if you wait? But then he's gonna anticipate that. See, that's why you can't really effectively beat yourself because you're oh. always you're one step ahead of yourself, who's one step ahead of you. I beat myself every day. It's so a Charlie and I. We're big on immortality. We want to live forever. And Jackson and Andrew, on the other hand, are wrong about this, and they want to die. But I'm not Charlie, getting into this. Mm. This has been banned to death. Yeah, because Charlie and I basically have solved the issue entirely. Where your you issue was, it would so get you, boring. You, you haven't. And yeah, Charlie right. and I said, said you "You've forever, proven that's... God exists, Kaya. Thank you. You're right." No, Jesus Christ. No, you said immortality would get boring because it's an eternity. And Charlie Enjoy and I enjoy nothing. In our, in our genius, say. invented the amnesia pill. Right. Boom. Enjoy yeah, nothing. If, when the heat death of the universe happens and literally no entropy can occur anymore, there will be absolutely nothing forever. Enjoy that. I don't know about all of that true, hypothetical Andrew. bogus. It is true. It's going to happen. The heat death of the universe is no. when no energy can be transferred. But maybe there'll be another big bang and then you get to see the dinosaurs. I'm on your side. There, there's... I'm on your side, boys. <laughs> Andrew, that you're using your uh, theory. You're cutting it off. Your theory actually has more to it, where it is a cyclical, which means after that happens, it starts again. So yeah, we'd be there. That's to what see I that. just said. And then and since Ka- yeah, and since Kaya Jackson and I are going to be there now, we're not going to be alone. We'll just you know we'll be like the bonobo the monkeys dinosaurs. and just jerk each other off and shit until it starts again. I'll be my own universe. Same people. What's the from most? Last what's the time? most you've jacked off in a day? All of you. I want to know. Probably ten it's times a day when I was a teen. I'll answer. <laughs> It's the it's the same people I we talked about earlier that. with gaming addiction. Remember where it was classified as an actual mental thing. Mm-hmm. Now it's porn. But uh, my answer is five. I think <clears throat> I've never gone above two. It just gets raw. Really? Yeah, I feel like yeah. three, three for me. No, wait. Oh, wait. I'm mixing some up. Mine's three. My most sex in a day was five. <laughs> big guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, big I was gonna, I was gonna expand it. Oh yeah, hit that like button. I was gonna expand the question for sex for you guys. What's the most you've done? If only you weren't allergic sex to sex. Me. I mean, mine mine wasn't like a big accomplishment either. It was my girlfriend at the time. I'm not saying like it was. Well, a, oh, she wasn't a big accomplishment, you prick. That's so fun. <laughs> but I'm not saying like I'm a big fun. player where I I went around the clubs and left with a bitch at each one. It's like nah. Yeah, uh, I wasn't. I wasn't even proud of it. It was just my girlfriend. Yeah. I, I oh, would man. say I would say three probably. Yeah, I'm, I'm super again. proud of mine though. Mine was three, but different. So that was back. Three, in the different, oh, you three different girls. What you had three different girls in That's one day? That's pretty good. Yeah, baby. Back yeah. in the glory no, days. Bullshit. How? Did, what? How? <laughs> what do you mean? How? All of this, at the same. What? How? How do you have enough time in a day <laughs> to, to <laughs> court three women? <laughs> uh, you you'd be surprised when you have a shit no, major in college. Tell us the fucking story. Well, there's not a whole lot of story. I was seeing multiple women, and uh, well, all, like, and all three of them got in the room no, 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 and no, no, said, no, no, "Charlie, no, no. you have to fuck us all right now." No, but, not in a oh, relationship. Wait. Was it like that kind of thing? Where was it like a, a, a layered threesome where they took turns? No. no. Okay, tell me this: Was it your either. strong game, or did you, be honest? Did you use your YouTube fame to open the door here? No. Well, this was no. This was in college. This was way before I even did videos with my face in them. Ooh. Well, okay, I mean, yeah. that's what I mean. Did you, did you use I am critical as a, as a foot in the door? <laughs> no. Yeah. no. Yeah. Okay, did you show no, them no. your social blade? <laughs> <laughs> I brought up my real-time numbers. <laughs> Look at my subscriber count, babe. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh uh, man, I like this topic. Remembering the glory days when I was young. I mean, you were you Tell were us about it. you were a fucking Chad in college, so I totally could see it happening when you was were. Was he? College. I thought he was the one that was all trying to be mysterious and shit. That doesn't sound like that was freshman thing. Charlie yeah. before he evolved into the alpha Chad, five foot six man. There was a renaissance where he fucking started living at the school, and then it warped everything. Do I do I get an assist point for telling you not to bring playing cards to your sex dates? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give, I'll give Kaya the assist. <laughs> so I'm on the plane. I don't feel like telling that. Guy. I'm <laughs> sorry for this. He told this story. He's so the amount of times he's told this fucking I know. story. It's like the boardwalk burgers <laughs> joke. I know. Tampa. Now. But it's pivotal to my life now because it actually made me afraid of flying now. <laughs> I'm scared. Tell, Tell the story. Andrew. He's on the team. Tell rational. the story. Tell the story. God damn it! It's not an exciting story. So I've flown a lot of times in my life, but this is the one time. That actually knocked some fear into me. So I was <laughs> on the plane and there's turbulence. This is the 10 hour flight or 10, 11 something <coughs> hour flight from Frankfurt to Tampa. Mm -hmm. And there's turbulence and these fucking planes. How much does a plane cost to build? 500 million. It, cost, it could cost $2 billion. Okay, when turbulence yeah. hit that piece of shit, it'll still rattle the whole cabin. I don't know why. Like, imagine if you were in a house and somebody sneezes, Charlie, and your whole table just <laughs> vibrates. You'd go like, who the fuck made this table? Yeah. Why'd you single me out? I've been on planes. Yeah, Charlie. Yeah. No, I'm just Fucking idiot. Example. You don't know what people sneezing <laughs> sounds like. I don't know. I just assume you've never flown. I've never flown before. Have you told this part of the story where it actually dropped? He was getting to the yeah. You spoiled yeah. it. <laughs> Did you get well, to the good part? <laughs> well, go, go. I've never been on No, what I'm saying is... Brace yourself for this. You kind of lose confidence already when there's a little bit of turbulence and everything is shaking around, but you're like, eh, you know, that's normal, right? Mm -hmm. And you you look down the hallway, like, at the flight crew. That's what I did. I, I was sitting <laughs> did they look at you with fear in your eyes? That's eyes? what I was trying to look, <laughs> see. Like, I was leaning into the, into the corridor and see, like, are they scared? Should I be scared? <laughs> they were fine until the plane just fucking dropped for a whole second. And what? this wasn't like. <laughs> Shut up, Jack. Yeah. What? And this wasn't like I didn't see the that plane coming. is slowly descending and you feel the blood rush up into your balls kind of descending. This was literally the engine stopped, the plane just. <laughs> and in that one split second, everybody started screaming and screeching throwing their hands up. Everybody woke up. The few people who were already asleep. Ah! <laughs> and that's when I realized I've nothing, I've done nothing with my life. <laughs> that's it. If I die there, that's it. Everyone knows the strongest attracting force in the universe is horniness. So just launching like cum and porn and all sorts of shit's going to get all sorts horny. of life. Is cum horny inducing? Like, I don't mm. feel like if you just see cum, like, in a, I mean, a vial, no, you get excited. Cum, cum is horny inducing when it's inside me. Like, it makes me horny, I think. <laughs> you I might want to think about what you just said, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? Wait, like, when... right, wait, 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 wait. I can say that when, when the cum is in my testicles, it makes me horny. Because like, mm. when you cum, the horny disappears. No, obviously. that's not what you meant. No. No, it is. You, you make the worst politician ever. You give people so many nice just clips, like, like sound bites, <laughs> that you then have to walk back. <laughs> I'm, I'm standing by that message. I mean, you're not wrong. We all know that, platform. you know, the pent up balls feeling. Like, oh, God damn it, I need a release. But I was like, I, oh man, aliens constantly pushing past other students to get out. <laughs> oh, wait, was this an art class? Yeah, it was figure drawing. Oh, right. I've, uh, I've sharted a couple times. That's about it. <laughs> can when? I just at home alone? <laughs> can I hear a bit more? Um, yeah. so it, it was times when, like, I had diarrhea or, or not great poopies, and I'd, I'd just go to fart, and then all of a sudden it, it like, you get that feeling in your anus where it's like we, just a we little know what bit a shark escaped. is, Andrew. We're asking yeah, how yeah, old yeah. were you for this to still happen? Where you don't know oh, that you can't oh, trust a fart oh, when you have uh, diarrhea. Uh oh god, I was like sixteen the last time it happened. <laughs> oh Jesus! Yeah. All right. I, I don't know. I just didn't give a shit. You got a good down. streak now, then. Yeah. Wait. So a, a shot, a shot isn't when like the the uh, underwear gets like a little shitty streak on it. It's actually when you shit fart. 
Well, I, I, that's more yeah, accurate what you said, Jackson. It wasn't like a, like I shit myself. It was like I farted and a little bit of streak came out with it. And I was like, oh, that's fucking Yeah, get gross. the little mushy shit. Yeah, the little tiny bit of brown spot. Like, it's like you go to fart, but then you feel something move, too. And you're like, oh, uh-oh. You're like, that kind of stuff. farts can be warm, but not this warm. That was wrong. And you go to the bathroom and you realize, oh, God damn it. And at that point, you know, some poor fucker is later going to discover your discarded underwear in that toilet stall. Which is I always thought about that, yeah. Like, if I shit myself, how do I get out of it? How do I hide it? Play dead, just fall That's over. That's how they do it. <laughs> you know, you've never walked into a discarded and pair of that. underpants in school or something? Just in the stall no, where someone had shit themselves? Well, wait, that's actually... That has to work. Just fall over, play dead, get an yeah. ambulance to come pick you up, and then, like, fake no, wake up, a, like, oh, what happened? No, oh, I shit yeah. myself because I... Just, I had a heart attack or something. That's a, that's definitely a really good idea. People are going to be less harsh on you if you shit your pants, but you also, like, pretend that you passed out and fell over at the same time. Like, no. something really bad oh. happened. Okay, so you shit yourself in the middle of class. Instead of discreetly going to the bathroom and no one has to know, you're just going to jump in front of the class like, oh, my heart, my left arm, it's tingly, <laughs> and then, like, loudly <laughs> farting the rest out. Well, no, there's a there's Call a difference. Like, what if you... <laughs> <laughs> well, I wonder if you shit yourself until after you're on, you're on the floor, and they carry you to the ambulance, and they go, like, yeah, you shit all over their hands. What if you're talking to someone like the president, and he distinctly notices that you just shit yourself? It would be so much better for you if you pretended you got like a random head no, brain the, aneurysm. Well, at that point, that's it's too retarded. Late to the fake director it if can. He's noticed. The director is not a medical personnel. He can't tell if you've had a heart attack. Whereas the EMT is gonna take your pulse and go. He's fine. He just shit himself. He's fine if he shit himself. Yeah. <laughs> you can't actually fake a heart attack, you know, just on the spots. <laughs> yeah, you need to, if you're going to fake an injury to justify shitting your pants, it needs to be one where you can quickly escape if need be. Or induce it, like, an carry a little vial of cyanide with you in case you have a shark so you can poison yourself and have, like, bubbles come out of your mouth, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was poisoned, you see. That's why there's a skip mark in my underwear. <laughs> I'm very important. What's the name of another assassin? And then the EMT shows up. Uh, well, it looks like he shit himself and he take a sugar tablet, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> he swallowed an M&M. <laughs> he he swallowed an Altoid and pooped his pants. That's all I have to say. Case closed. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. See, somebody just in the chat said uh, John McAfee got away with it twice. Remember, you told us how he faked a heart attack twice to get out of. Uh... Yeah, I say it's possible. Then again, yeah, yeah but, but that was then like again, you some... should be like old. And he didn't shit his pants. Right, well, but really look, you have to look at the factors. Attack, he was in a third world shitty slum prison or police station. Two, he's like 278 years old. So I, I would assume the EMT just looked at him like, yeah, he's a walking heart attack. So I, I doubt they questioned it much. Yeah, we'll take his word for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be so fucked up. What, being uh, fingered by Doug? Well, yeah, yeah. probably. <laughs> probably. I wouldn't put it past him, Doug. You're, you're the kind of dickhead who like, literally stops. You, no. Hang on, hang on. Everyone, stop laughing. All right, all right. Doug literally once stopped his son from getting a blowjob. You're a dickhead. Uh, what the hell? Why? What happened? Why were you even in a position to stop that? <laughs> yeah. What was your son was that doing? That? <laughs> I am not a dickhead. First off, <laughs> so. Uh, I, I don't want to repeat the whole story. I think I talked about it on a bonus episode, but uh, I walked in on my son getting a blowjob, and I, I thought it best to end that situation as soon as possible. So I kindly asked the young lady to leave. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like you, you called her a whore. Coming. She was 14. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I, I, Doug. I, I, it's not even a joke. I, I may have let my emotions get the best of me, but yes, I did. I did insinuate well, that she well, was promiscuous. <laughs> what were the emotions then? You were jealous of your son? Like a fucking what? celebrity in his so trial. Much... Just trying to fucking Why is there so much emotion okay, there? Okay, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll go around and we'll start with you, Jackson. If, if you were 14 years old hey. getting a blowjob and your dad walks in, is he going to say, carry on? 
Or is he gonna is he gonna break up? If spring? he was a good dad. No, no, no. Your dad. What would he have done? Uh, hmm. Probably a thumbs up. Bullshit. Then, up. then, then he's not a good dad. <laughs> yeah, a good oh, dad needs to. He's a respectful dad. What are you talking about? You're telling me that. Uh, yeah. All right, Andrew. So, so if your dad walked in on you at at 14 years old getting a blowjob, he would just say, "Hey, aces, high five. Oh, at the, at the, he would have, when it happened, said, oh, sorry, and left. And then later, after she went home, he yeah. would have been like, that was pretty cool, huh? They're like, some, <laughs> some stupid, goofy shit. <laughs> my, my dad 100% would have, like, ribbed me and given me shit for it for the rest of my life. But he would not have stopped it. I don't think any of our dads here would have flipped out and started screaming about whores or whatever you would do. Kaya didn't even have this problem. His dad left way before 14. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I don't even have a dad, and he's cool with it. (laughs) In spirit, he always sends Kaya messages. First time I got a blowjob, he just heard something ring in his ear, and he was happy. He smiled. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. (laughs) I, I think you should tell the story. Yeah, tell the story. So, so I was, uh, uh, my wife was gone. My son was there and he asked if his girlfriend could come over. And I said, yeah. And I was going to go downstairs and, and play some video games. And I told, they asked if they could go up to his, up to the upstairs living room. Um, so I was going up and checking like every, about every five minutes, just peeking my head around the corner, make sure nothing fishy was going on. Um, you were looking for yeah, a blowjob. You were literally you looking for this. <laughs> it didn't peek in my head, and I didn't want to miss anything. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it was after like five or six times. I I walked up there, and I walk into the living room, and it's empty. I go down the hall, and the door's closed. Uh, it's not it's not closed all the way. It just so you could push the door open, fling it open without turning the knob. And I did that, and she was on her knees, and his dick was in her mouth. And I lost it. That sounds I, like a blowjob to me. Why didn't you yeah, not? So, it, so I, 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 I guess I didn't know if you were familiar with what a blowjob was, but I, I thought I'd explain it. Um, so why, why, why would I not? The, the, the whole thought is I'm trusting you to not do anything because you are 14 years old. You were trusting them, though. You were yeah, taking you the corner every three minutes. Fair point. <laughs> I guess I don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's got like, like you trust it, but you wanted to verify. Tr- tr- yeah. Tr- and then you caught him in the act. Trust, but verify just trust. means I don't trust I just, you. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So, so but I, I just don't think you should have grabbed her by the hair and called her a whore. I, what? I didn't grab her by the hair and called her a whore. I grabbed her by the hair and slammed her head against my son's pelvis 15 or 16 times. <laughs> so she could oh, finish yeah. the job. <laughs> That's finish. not how you do it. This is how you do it. <laughs> do it right, damn it. That's my son you're sucking off. You're gonna do it right. My son deserves so much better than this tired, unenthusiastic work. Here, move over. Let me show you how it's done. You're supposed to work the balls. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Put a finger in his butt. I trade him. <laughs> Look, he don't move at all. Nothing. <laughs> he, he just looks, he looks like a scared deer. So why'd you call her a whore and not your son a whore? Because uh, he was... Women are whores. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so what what was the reprimand for your son then? What did you do after this? Oh fuck, let me think. No blowjobs for a week. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you like getting your dick sucked, you're gonna you're gonna get your dick sucked twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make you smoke all of these cigarettes, bitch. Now get on your knees. <laughs> You think blowjobs are fun? Suck this. Reverse engineering has been found that there is no crypto mining code in the game. However, battery does drain fast due to shoddy removal of said code. So what? It, it was in so there? So it was a fucking hit piece on Cooking Mama. Does the internet have no shame? <laughs> That's Twitter for you. Thanks iPhone. a lot. Yeah, trying to cancel Cooking Mama. The way you say mama yeah. is really weird. Fuck? Jesus. What is say mama? that again? Wait, mama? Mama? No, it's mama? Say, say the whole thing, cooking mama. Cooking mama. Uh, you're changing the way you said it yeah. now. <laughs> you said, <laughs> yeah, you, you, am I? You said it it like sounds mama. like you say, uh, you say yeah, yeah mama, mama instead of mama. 
Cooking mama, mama is well, what you wait, say. Wait, 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 wait. No, what? you said it what like, said? Said it like it a again? stubborn kid who was waiting for his mom's tit to come out and he was perturbed, <laughs> you know. More mama tit. Cooking mama. <laughs> mama. Mama? Mama. Mama? Yeah, he said it like a baby boy who was hungry. <laughs> Well, that's what mama is anyway. It's so you just did it again. You say mama boy. instead of mama. M mama. Mama. Uh, <laughs> mama? What? <laughs> just, just be casual again. Jackson, Holy you just... shit, we are okay. so out of topic. <laughs> Jackson, we... give, give me a sentence. Okay. Give me a sentence. I'll, I'll paint a picture for you. I'll give you the scene and you come in and act it. You just found okay. out there's a Bitcoin miner on your Nintendo Switch version of Cooking Mama Cookstar. I can't believe they put a Bitcoining, bit mining app on my uh, cooking mama. <laughs> you changed it. Damn you it. had one line I, and I you flubbed it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to play cooking mama. Yeah, you, look, you switched it. That's not how you first said it. Oh, can we go back and can we can we take it back? I want to hear how I said yeah, it. Can we get a replay? <laughs> Yeah. Not live. Well, we could, but I don't wanna. If this was Kenneth Copeland's presentation, he would have that functionality. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, yeah, I don't have an army. <laughs> an army of choir boys. <laughs> At our demand. <laughs> At our command, sorry. Cooking mama. Okay, how about this? Next week, each one of us bring three top... Uh, each one of us bring one topic. Watch the other minutes. He, he, at some point, he says that he was aroused by the children. Okay, so recently... After everybody fucking made fun of him for being basically a pedophile and admitting that he was turned on by this, he released a music video like a week ago. Uh, here's that. Is it yeah. for children? A lot of children ask me this is him. stupid fucking questions. Like if I rape little kids. What or if the I fuck believe is this? It. Well, shit. You believe that? I'll rape you. <laughs> Know why? Cuz I'm a pedophile. <laughs> I'm a pedophile. Wow. What the fuck? God damn right. I'm a literal pedophile. Ugh, like Remember <laughs> guys, this like is just a joke. <laughs> well, it's it is a, an Eminem it's song a, parody, but Yeah, it's a parody of Eminem. So what he What he tried to do here is he like he tries to roll with the joke because everybody's calling him a pedophile. And even if I give you the benefit of the doubt and assume the song is a parody, sure. But your review wasn't. That was an earnest review. That wasn't fucking sarcastic. The guy was even in the YouTube comments of that video saying, no, I am literally not trolling you. This is genuinely my review. Well, he also went that. on podcasts to try and defend himself as well. What kind of person do yeah. you have to be where if people think that you're a pedophile based on things you've said, your immediate response is, well, what if I make a music video saying that I am? Well, it wasn't immediate. This is like eight months it's, in the making. Oh, this guy yeah, he went in on this music video. Yeah, this, this, well, this is like eight months, months later, six or eight months. <laughs> and look, on the internet, I think it is a good idea to roll with the jokes people make at your expense. Like if... Yeah, you know, if fucking Charlie genuinely got upset at people calling him short and making short jokes, then yeah. you know you've lost a joke now. Then it will go from an inside joke to people actually saying it to you to upset you because they know they they can troll they, you into they, anger. Yeah, they know that but, they know they can weaponize it now. Right. That's why I'm okay with people calling me fucking autistic, which, honest to God, I probably am. But if people are calling you a pedophile, that's like the exception here. You shouldn't roll with that. It's like, yeah, I am. <laughs> Let's listen to the rest. <laughs> Pedophile. Are we gonna get DMCA'd by him? My words are like a zip tie with a plastic end. Uh, tie, you know my bad. Whether you're right nine or ten. Prepubescent, toddler, and fancy less. Baby pants, a dress. Fuck kids, the answers. Yes. Heterophobic. <laughs> nah, you're just heterophobic. Staring at my hard drive, my collection is growing. That's my, oh my motherfucking God. child porn. You better let go of it. It belongs in my folder. You'll never get hold of it. Hey, it's me, Jeffrey Epstein. Everyone respects me. I'm just kidding myself. Get it? Kidding myself. You're already being. You should be getting some help. Committed, medicated, or just sitting in jail. Come on. Relax, guys. I like shit. Lid, right, bitch? Give me an amen. Max, Rumor has it Mr. Girl has a few abusive habits and I'm late for work because I'm stuck in human traffic. Yeah, I play Smash Brothers. I play Smash Brothers. <laughs> and nieces okay, and I like that line. <laughs> I like yeah, the lyrics. Actually, I like the lyrics. Are are bad. Bad. Yeah. The lyrics are so well made. What the yeah. fuck? Oh, great. Now we're gushing about this. Yeah, I think we found the first likable pedophile we were just talking about. Yeah, thanks, Kyle. Yeah. Jails just to place FBI the song right here. Yeah, I'm your worst nightmare. They call me school shooter, but not with a gun. gun. <laughs> no. Find you 
and then I'm gonna come on. So show me that pay pay. Holy shit. This is kind of awesome. So much effort. So much effort went into this. Quite a bit, apparently. First name Max, so you look lost. Oh shit, I found you on map. Call me Wreck It Ralph. I'm sweating while I touch a child. Treasure smile, wet and wild. Yes, I'm vile, bitch. I'm a pedophile. Every time I make a bit, people think it's a sand. It's Dutch totally rip a kid. Pedophile. See what you want to see, what you want me to be. Keep hating, baby. I keep raping these babies. Oh my god! All right, that's enough, Kaya. That's enough. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, that, was, right. that was pretty great. Yeah, I'm he... not gonna lie. She put a lot of effort into that fucking thing and the lyrics. Yeah, yeah the, the, there were some genuinely months. really great lyrics in there. Direct the other kid to bully the kid, or is it just a learned thing? From I think I, I think it was like a learned thing. Oh, oh yeah, no, no. He said uh, he was like, make sure Cody isn't an idiot. It was something like that. And I'm just mm -hmm. like, God damn, you know this is like very regular in their house. So was it just one kid that was constantly belittled and bullied? He was, the main, yeah. he was the main one, yeah. Yeah. I, the one I remember that stood out to me is uh, like these were, un well, I guess it was like scripted to the point where the people knew what they were going to do to the kid, but Cody didn't know. Yeah. And I remember the mom and the dad went into Cody's room and sprayed ink all over the floor. Yeah, that's the one I remember. That's the, yeah, that's what I was yeah. going to bring up. And Cody goes in there and they start yelling at him like, what the fuck is this? You piece of shit. Holy, what the fuck is this? And the kids is like breaking down and crying. Yeah. And they just film that and, whole and thing. And they're, they're set up, they're set up for yeah. it, too. Like, it's very like important. They're set up for it is they literally film themselves in the next room and they'd like have the phone on themselves and be like, Cody has no idea we're about to prank him. This is going to be so funny. <laughs> he's a five year old. Yeah. Like they're like, he has he's no idea what That's... he's in for. And it's like, it's that like such okay. a crucial part to it. it you do this to a 16 year old, he gets it afterwards. If you tell him it's a prank, you're still a piece yeah. of shit, but at least he'll understand it. But a five year old, you can, you can even do it to a five year old. All he knows is his daddy yelled at him. Yeah, you can even do it to a five year old if you, if you like, you're a nice fucking decent human being about it. Like if you, you drop ink in the room and you walk in, you're like, what happened? Did you make a mess? What, what, what happened? Like you could, you could be silly about it, but they literally walk in and they go, what the fuck did you do? What is wrong with you? Like, what, like that's that not bitch, a prank. Like Tom Cruise. <laughs> Yeah. It was it was some super aggressive You're shit. You're wearing your mask yeah. in your own room. <laughs> My God, you just killed your mother. Look at her corpse. She's like on the floor, <laughs> binding a ketchup pack, bleeding out her mouth. Season. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, did you I do, wonder Cody? how far they would have gone. Oh man, God, I, I hope Cody is okay. If they weren't stopped. I'm surprised yeah, they didn't he, frame him yeah. for a murder. Where's yeah. Cody now? <laughs> God damn, he comes that was going to be their next the... video before they went to jail. <laughs> the body was yeah. chalked out. What'd you do, Cody? We have the gun. <laughs> <laughs> we have your fingerprints, Cody. They have the fucking police there. They're like, yeah, we told them you killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Cody. We confessed for you. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hopefully, those people are Fuck. in in some kind of like Amazon gulag or something, just doing I, labor. I, I, I just uh, hope. Yeah, we do. I bet you they lick it. Don't the don't Ugh. aren't there like uh, used panty dispensers in Japan or something? Or is that a myth? <laughs> I've I've heard I've heard it before, but I'm I'm also not sure if it's a myth or not. Why would there be used panty dispensers? What does it do? Men are perverts. What do you mean? What does it? Men want to buy people's used panties in bath water, Charlie. Yeah, but out of a vending machine, you lose any sense of like personality behind it. It's yeah, just like just a glory hole for panties. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it comes with a picture of the person. <laughs> like collectibles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe every girl just has their own vending machine. I don't know. Maybe they collect them like oh, Pokemon Go get some panties. That'd be fucking cute. That's like some baseball card. Oh, I got rookie uh, Hitomi-san. Yeehaw. <laughs> These are Yuck. from when she was in college. Whoa. Uh. Wow, you have the limited oh my edition, God, the golden ticket, uh, high school edition. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking ticket to the panty factory falls out of the underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. that's does, a great. Does idea. that mean? Does that mean you would hold on to the panties for like ten years for the resale value? 
But then mm. the sm- the smell wouldn't even stick around. Actually, you'd have to keep you'd have to keep it like yeah, you uh, have to preserve frozen it or something. Yeah, Not frozen, is, but like packed. Is there yeah, a it. used panty sellers market <laughs> like like cryptocurrency <laughs> or any of that? Are there dudes out there going, oh wow, they just came out with, with the new exclusive XJ9 Jenny panties? I'll hold on to oh. those for two years and resell them at ten oh, times the should, price. We should make an eBay, but for like or, or like an Amazon for used panties. I think that's, that's just not eBay. a bad idea, except it's a bad idea. Yeah, that is just yeah. eBay. Yeah, but people or uh, Craigslist and Patreon. Yeah, yeah. I guess Ugh. it is. Just would Craigslist. would you buy used panties on Craigslist though? Yeah, Come on, I bet. I wouldn't that's buy used panties. panties well, what we should period. do, we should we should make an upscale used panties website where oh, we yeah, like vent either. that it's from we vet that it's from the woman who say it's that it's their panties <laughs> we test how do we do that we sniff her pussy we, first we and test then the panties to make sure to make it's sure. actual human juices <laughs> not well, no, turkey just, grease just make her take a picture in those panties it's easy to verify that's not enough proof we need to get our noses yeah. in there Charlie. what if those panties <laughs> are photoshopped <laughs> Oh, that's a good so point. Every panty comes yeah. with a certificate oh. of authenticity. That's a br- that's a brilliant scam. You wear green screen panties and then you just Photoshop them every time <laughs> to look like the panties you're selling. But it's the same photo. It's, exactly. Like, it's so much easier to just wear them. Why would you green screen Photoshop them? <laughs> yeah. No, you you have to scam them. <laughs> Why? But scam them by going through more effort. Yeah, take that. Yeah. To prove that you're clever enough to sell panties on this market. You guys you, you guys would sell sell your panties if you were women, right? Because I would I, I would do I would do anything. Oh I would I would, I would do some vile <laughs> fucked up shit for money if I was a woman. If you're a woman on the internet and not selling your panties, I just have to ask why. It's just it's literally free money. It's you know well, it's anything like that cool. is. Yeah, you can sell your feet. You can sell your poop. Anything. All right. Well, have you seen I don't that think I one? Would do that. No, have you seen that one? There was a woman who, who made a decent bit of living. Twinkies? No, she she made a decent bit of living. She would sell poop and like literally just her poop, and then she would bake cupcakes with her poop in them. Yeah, she she shoves her shit in Twinkies and sells yeah. them. And, and one of the funniest things is on her website, she had a bunch of disclaimers. She said that if I mail this to you, I have to put exempt human specimen on it for customs. <laughs> and it's like, you don't want to get that package at your door. <laughs> and she also had to make a, a point of posting on there not to eat her feces. So people were definitely eating her. Poop. Oh, 100%. So yeah, yeah, if I were a woman, I would absolutely do that. What do I have to do? Poop into a fucking container every day? I don't want to do that. And then I make hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars per load. Hundreds. Yeah. Try hundreds of thousands. Depending on the person. Yeah, that's true. I yeah, mean, fucking hot. Belle Delphine sold her bathwater, and that wasn't even that radical, but five-year-olds were like, wow, what an edgy, crazy, wacky meme that this woman's doing. Buy it. And then it sold like hotcakes. So five year old allegedly, there's no neck proof neck that it sold beards. well. Now, nah, I'm sure yeah. it did. Oh, yuck! The amount of oh. YouTubers who ironically bought it alone would fill a whole exactly. Olympic pool. Exactly, that's that's all I'm saying. You don't even have to get crazy, you can do the most bare bones shit, and lonely people or people who do it ironically will eat that shit up. Literally, this this girl's an animal though. She must be successful because she puts out a lot of content. Ugh. Who? The the love Rochelle. Is that the it's poop girl? In the, yeah, it's the poop girl. Ah. Yeah. She uh she eats her own poop for videos. That's courageous. Wow. That's, uh, something. Wow. That's Shit filled what Twinkies a... for only twenty ninety nine. <laughs> so I was I was about to ask I was about to ask how do we know that it's like real poop and not just like props and her fucking well, you, around? You could, yeah, you there's could a, see it coming from straight from her the, asshole. The, one, of the, one of the one of the one of the first things that you're greeted with on her website is a giant close up of her taking a fat log of a shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just saw it. I clicked on the website. It's like. It's two girls, one cup without the other girl and right into the camera. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my oh, God. There's so many of them. This is fucked. Uh, oh, oh how no. Do you, she must lube her asshole because the shit is flying out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what their diet is. How do they do that important shit? This is a full-time job. Yeah. I mean, she's got a controlled diet, maybe. 
Yeah, Obviously. But what do you How? have to eat to oh, shit out of half sick. a snake? I can't look at this. Oh, the poop. She, I, I think she just eats poop. It's just a <laughs> continuous circle. Oh, that, oh, that's making me nauseous. Just was, Ouroboros uh, eating her own poop. <laughs> I couldn't do that. No, just like my shit. I could never make a Twinkie out of it. Maybe oh. like chocolate filling, but it's just not that solid. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. How how in the, the fuck do people do this? this? Like, uh, let me put it this way: I'm I'm just looking at this website, and I just look at a photo of her doing something, and I'm starting to gag and feel nauseous. She's yeah, full I'm, on I'm, licking I'm, her I'm duty, gagging. like full on she's, tongue on her poop. She's got everything. She's got duty. Did you just get into yeah. it today? <laughs> how are you not desensitized? <laughs> Yeah, I, apparently if you hey, buy her poop, hey, she sends I, you a video of her I, I, pooping I'm the poop I'm desensitized, so. but this shit's still gr I don't know, there's something about, like, eating poop that's just, like, my tummy doesn't like it. Nah, I, I agree with Kaya. I think I'm also desensitized. It's obviously gross, but I'm not over here, like, gagging or shitting my pants. I'm not, honestly, if anything, I'm more impressed. If you guys look in her website and go to Toilet Slavery, she's got, like, a 50-foot-long <laughs> turd falling out of her ass. It's wild. <laughs> She's yeah, putting see, up so big How numbers. do they do that? Do, do they have to prep for it? I have no it? idea. <laughs> Does it She's like making take like a, a jump rope from her asshole. Is it like let when me, uh, let, let, boxers train for a fight where months beforehand they start trading and going on diets? And is that like her title fight when she takes a shit? I have no idea, man. I, I'd be very curious to know how Rachel does it. Let, let me let me uh, quickly read a review from the website to set the scene as to what her audience is. This is on the product shippable by my poop for eighty five dollars. Lewis replies, he's a verified owner, so it's proven that he's actually uh, received her shit. And it says, bought a custom video and a load. All I have to say is, wow, her poop never had a strong smell and it was very sweet, not really bitter. Went down very smooth too. Ate as much as I could and then blew the biggest load ever. I love being her toilet and next time i'll make sure i get every last bit bit of her chocolate in my stomach and i'll lick the <laughs> container clean too so this is the audience jackson i want to i want to counter with this review i i like this one a lot this is by lance who is also a verified owner he gave her three out of five stars and said oh. wasn't much poo but it was good <laughs> <laughs> yeah. must have been a slow you, day in her bowels you think she kind of scams people like cuts her shit with nutella from time to time just oh, to get the most profit. Dude, that'd be a huge bust. Oh, what, what if the yeah. guy who's used to eating shit, he eats the Nutella cupcake and starts vomiting? Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Nutella. Or forever, I don't remember the other one, but it was some other goofy fucking name. Great movie. Edge yeah, of Tomorrow. It was a good movie. No, Great it's movie. fantastic. I love that movie. Well, how about you, Jackson? Um... Yeah, for for me, I, I, this is this is one that I've been trying to bring up for 156 episodes, but I've never really found the way in because it involves. I guess I'll just tell it. So, uh, I went down to the bottom of Australia. This was like last year to a to a wedding, and the person getting married was marrying into an enormous like Jewish family, like this very uh, well off Jewish family. So we went to their estate for the like the dinner before the wedding kind of thing and the person who was marrying into the family the f the friend of ours like the friend of our fa our family they they wanted us to make a really good impression on them obviously so they were just saying like be super safe don't just follow the, the Jewish traditions <laughs> etc cetera, etc cetera. And I, you know me, I'm a super anxious, nervous person. So when I was in there, I just started laying into the alcohol as soon as possible. Um, oh boy, which in Where hindsight was a really bad idea. Yeah. So, started going on and on so about the Zionists. Did, is that where this is going? No, no, probably worse. <laughs> uh, so they, they, they had an open bar. What do you expect? So I, I got Not really drunk and then I got into this kind of... I, I got into this artis artistic debate about literature, about how authors shouldn't be kind of like held up by their work or whatever like even really bad people can make good pieces of work or whatever Marcus and i don't know why yep i don't know why but i brought up hitler <laughs> in my drunken state i brought up how hitler uh was a skilled author 
And as soon as the words Hitler wrote a book came out of my mouth, I kind of just... I kind of just walked off. I just, my my girlfriend looked at me like shocked. I, I don't think, I, I don't, I don't think the Jewish people, the family heard me. Like I was only in a conversation with like three or four people. Uh, I don't think they heard me. So I think I was safe. They did. They didn't. They didn't look shocked or anything. Hitler wrote a book. So I kind of just walked off, and that that was. That was the time I brought up Hitler at a Jewish family event. Oh, man. Jackson, that should be so, the title of your autobiography. Hitler wrote a book. That's such a good way to <laughs> summarize that whole story. Oh, it was the worst <laughs> moment of my life. It was... I just... Were you... It hurt deep inside. Were you aware and embarrassed in the moment? Did you even notice what you had said? Oh, yeah. yeah no, no, I wasn't... I wasn't that drunk. I was just at the... the, the you weren't that drunk. I guess you the meant level it. of. <laughs> so... <laughs> well, this is not a blackout drunk rant, just misunderstanding. You were in control of your thoughts. <laughs> he had a great my, idea. My point, my point was like, awful people can obviously still kind of make culturally significant. Yeah. I, I, books, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so I use that as a really poor example. You did. Not I, the crowd. I don't know, I guess maybe... You picked the wrong book I, I, and the maybe, wrong crowd. <laughs> maybe Hitler was just subconsciously on my mind. Of I don't course. Know. <laughs> when is he going not? to the Jewish wedding? All I could think of was Hitler. <laughs> <and> fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we wrote a nice book. It was probably like... I was probably thinking for like the three hours before that point, don't... Like, don't talk about Hitler. Don't think about Hitler. Well, the weird part <laughs> so is that just, you didn't I couldn't hold it in. Yeah, but you made the point that not only is he an author, which is true, but he's actually a good author whose writing is pretty good. I think that's the awkward part, probably. Yeah, uh, there is no way you could have said that without it sounding like you're endorsing Hitler at a Jewish wedding. Well, I think <laughs> I, I think I'm playing it up right. I think I'm playing it up right now. Like, it probably wasn't as bad as it seemed in the moment. It was just the fact that I said Hitler at all <laughs> is kind of where where I I think I went wrong. Agreed. And I think anyone would think in that situation. That's where I kind of failed. Uh, but yeah, that's my story that I've been wanting to tell for 150 episodes. Andrew, you have to have another story for us right now. Oh, you do. So, and I said that the American government has requested that we we turn you to America, um, but um, we think it would be better if you just leave. And I go, oh, fuck me, yes, thank you, people. All right, so we went immediately to the Dominican Republic. It took four and a half days, and when we pulled into port, we were immediately surrounded by paramilitary troops with, with fully automatic weapons all of them on high alert. Actually, so four days later, we get out of jail in, in the Dominican Republic, um, and they tell us we're sending you back to the U.S. And I go, that's senseless. Why? He says, well, that's the way it has to be. And I go, but we didn't come from the U.S. We came from Cuba. Send us back to Cuba. Um, and the, all the people in the party were not U.S. citizens. And so, yeah, so I knew what was happening. God damn it. Mm. They got here before and so, so anyway, I had hired, after this four days, I had already hired two lawyers. So we were in immigration, Janice and I and my staff, you know, all of which had been arrested. And um, uh, I, my lawyers came in. I said, I want you to, because it was a, a weekday during the day, I want you to file a brief with the court uh, asking that I not be removed from the Dominican Republic until the courts can see what's happening. Now, they couldn't possibly turn that down because it was international news, well, certainly in that part of the world. <laughs> maybe, no, maybe no one else heard about it, but it was all over the Spanish papers. But anyway, um, so they said, well, that'll take two hours. And I said, I'll get it. Now, they're, they're about to immediately ship Janice and I back to America. I said, don't worry about it. I will get your two hours. I went over to Janice. And I said, Janice, don't panic. Everything's cool. I then collapsed on the floor in convulsions. 
That's the second time that's worked for me. Before. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's right. He's got his strategy. <laughs> Play dead. So anyway, they, so it, so long. Make a long story short. They shipped me off to the hospital. Um, it, it took 20 minutes to get there. 15 minutes to get checked in. Another, you know, 45 minutes for the doctors to look at me. And meanwhile, they're all looking at me very skeptically. It's kind of <laughs> hard to fool a group of doctors when you're trying to fake an illness, right? So <laughs> they're all. They are all looking at me very skeptically, and I'm looking at my watch, and Janice is with me now. Uh, they were about to put Janice on the plane, by the way. So Janice is with me, um, and the lawyers come in with a piece of paper, and I go, fuck me. We barely squeaked by. Fifteen minutes later, the world changed. We went from being in a jail with rusty bars, no windows, uh, full of flies, mosquitoes, and filth, uh, oh, but they did have mattresses. God damn it, that's rare in one of those shells. But in any case, um, <laughs> I, I was I was camping for the mattresses. But um, we went from that, that to a, a a limousine to the VIP section of the Santo Domingo Air International Airport, where we were served with by people in fucking tuxedos. All right, so. <laughs> God because if, if this case if this case had gone to the courts, I mean, it would have unraveled the Dominican Republic government and embarrassed the U.S. beyond anything imaginable. Because this was a CIA setup. They had illegally boarded our boat um, before we were even allowed to check into the country. They didn't let us off to customs. Well, I have it right here, but I, I don't know. Do you want to submit a prayer? I don't know. If this lets you talk to uh, Kenneth Copeland directly. Yeah. Are you looking at Kenneth what Copeland if you're... Ministries? That number? Yeah. Yeah, KCM. What if your prayer is to talk to Kenneth Copeland and he has to pick up? <laughs> I mean, that's it right there if you want that. Okay. Hang on. Let me also maybe set it up so... No, actually, I can't do that. Damn it. Yeah, I should have done this before the show. Whatever. He'll only be able to hear me. Or his answering Fine. machine. We can rather. ask questions through you if we want to yeah. ask him something. Okay. Uh, can Much I how numbers? like God speaks to him, we'll be speaking to you. Yeah, we'll, we'll be, be speaking speak through to Kenneth through you. We'll be speaking <laughs> through you, Dan. Yeah. Or English, press one. Is that Kenneth Copeland's voice? Espanol, pressione. <laughs> Hello, this is Kenneth. Mm, oh my God. We really do appreciate your call today, and Gloria and I, along with our KCM staff, love oh. you. We're praying for you, and the blessings of God are hey, oh, I feel me. You have reached the case. Boys, I'm getting a tingle. If you need customer service, please hang up and call 800-600-7395. Please listen closely because our menu offers. For God, press change. one. For today's free broadcast <laughs> offer, press one. For recorded prayers by Kenneth and Gloria, Wait, I'm not hearing press them. Two. Damn it, you guys. Prayer menu. Press three. Uh, I think for Kenneth, menu, Kenneth and his wife, press, press two. <laughs> okay, one, oh, two, shit. or three chats. What? To repeat the yeah, main He sounds menu. angry. Well, press the <laughs> Shut the fuck <laughs> up. He's explaining how to repeat the menu. God loves you. We love you. And Jesus is Lord. Whatever, okay. I'm hitting two. You have reached the case. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's two. For finances, press <laughs> one. Well, that sounds like for him all right. Help and healing. Help and healing. Two. For the blessing, press three. In the name Whoa. of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command you to be healed from the top oh, of your head you. to the soles of that your feet. That was easy. I command your hearts to be healed, your lungs to be healed, your kidneys mm -hmm. to be healed, your bones to be healed, your eyes, your ears. There you go, Andrew. Stomach, every oh, I feel great. and every weakness in your body, Jesus bore it, and I speak healing to you. Be made whole. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now you say, Lord, I How much does this cost? my healing. You release Lord, I receive my healing. Nine dollars a minute. Hallelujah. If this prayer has met you <laughs> <laughs> Are you satisfied with this prayer? <laughs> Please answer the survey. There's a customer the satisfaction menu, survey. To return to the prayer menu, press the start key. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Oh, this is the same. I no, you to cancel. Be it's the Whoa. same thing. To return to the prayer menu, press star. the star key. How do In we talk to an actual person? Oh, jeez, please. 
for finances, press one. Uh, yeah, go to finances. Healing, That's where the real people two. will be. For the blessing, press three. For forgiveness, press four. For freedom from fear, press <laughs> five. For partners, press six. For salvation, press oh, that seven. Good. For God's master plan for you and your family, press oh, master plan. For strength, press for what, nine. Press nine? What if he had what? more than nine options? What would he do? Oh. Father, I pray for every family today. <laughs> what did you Lord, hit? we all agree. Eight. Now, you agree with me. We all agree <laughs> for every family to be complete. I mean by that every member of that family, born again, spirit-filled, turned on to you. Whoa, we thank you for the master plan for every <laughs> father, mother, and child today that they would know exactly Go to finances. You'll talk to Kenneth Copeland directly. Yeah, but that's, that's what I was going to say. Finances is the know. only place that could possibly be a real person. See, see if there's an Literally option to, like, donate to his church over the phone. One. Your plan to me. one. Finances, press one. Let's pray over everybody's finances. Oh. All of hey, us. I don't want everyone's everybody. finances. I'm trying to, to get money to get a Copeland. Who's this? The blessing. Because when the blessing's concerned, it doesn't matter if there's family. This isn't even plans, a prayer. If there's no, no. problems. She's rambling. This, they recorded part of their sermon family. and just put it in there. And That's what it's for. Yeah. Agree with one another for the blessing, not just. Blessing, can you take us back to the go to give them money? Financial. Yeah, can, can you take us back to the main Here. menu? Uh, let me see. Let me hit star a bunch of times. You'll probably have to call them again. Yeah, yeah, go back to the okay. main finances, menu. Press one. No, these are all uh, prayers. Yeah, we want to yeah, talk to but, an actual person. But I, well, I, want, I don't want to talk to an actual person. I want to talk to Kenneth Copeland, an well, angel. Who is an actual what we person. might do, oh, yeah. what we might have to do, is you talk to the operator of that line and ask how we speak to Copeland. <laughs> <laughs> I have too much money. I want to help. Yeah. Okay. No. Listen. Hello, this is Kenneth yes. Copeland. We really do appreciate your call today, and <laughs> Gloria and I, along with our KCM staff, love you. We're praying for you, and the blessings of God. Are for you. <gasps> Me? You have reached the mm -hmm. prayer line. If you need customer service, please hang up and call 800 600 7395. Is that what he said? Yeah, menu options. Yeah, that's for customer service. So free broadcast. I think Kenneth Copeland's going to be in the fucking IT department helping. I. Well, he will I, be. If not, I want them to tell me. No, 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 let's, call, say, yeah, call, let's, say, let's say we're trying to make a donation of like $1 million to the church or something. <laughs> then Kenneth will hop on. Oh, I like that. Yeah, he'll come on panting and sweating. Did you just say $1 million? Hello. We right. need What we need to do, though, is, is at the very least complain to customer support that Kenneth Copeland isn't on his own fucking hotline. Complain that the prayer's not working. <laughs> hey, I still have too much money. I want to help. Hello, this is Kenneth. This is so fucking... We really do the fuck? appreciate you. It's the same today. phone number. <laughs> Gloria and I, along with our KCM staff, love you. No, this is a different number. This one, this one's not, this one's not toll free or something. You. You're actually paying more now. For today's free broadcast offer, press one. For orders and contributions, oh, contributions. That's two, two. For all other service okay. two. items, press three. Or well, three, three two. might get us to a real person as well, press. though. Thank you. Hold on. Someone will be right with you. Yes. I hope it's Kenneth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess they're closed today. It's Sunday. Why are they closed on a Sunday? They just Kenneth's hung out. Good day. The only phone in all of Kenneth's house is busy right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess we're not getting to Kenneth today. They just fucking hung up. The mic. Cool. All right, what else do you have here? Uh, Turkish oil wrestling. No. What? <laughs> no, what is that? What are you reading? <laughs> what? You don't know Turkish oil wrestling? Oh no, no, I don't. Have you I'm not Turkish, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, yeah, do, you, do you know Hakan? I think Hak I Hakan. Hakan, yeah. Was introduced. Hakan, yeah. I think it was um four. Street Fighter three. Four. four. I'm about okay, to learn yeah. about something that I never wanted to know about. Is this gonna be gross? So I, I don't do have you time consider to do this a traditional Can you sport the... among men gross? I mean, typically yes. No, well then, yeah, it's gross. <laughs> what if they oh, were you think almost boxing is naked gay? and oiled Josh, up? Josh, do you think yeah. it's gross? No, that's pretty manly. 
Okay, so it's not so boxing. So take away the gloves, you add oil, and yourself in All right. olive oil, and you stick your hand in the, your opponent's pants. Well, that, now, since you put it that way, it sounds a lot more straight, in my opinion, personally. <laughs> it just sounds like a good time. <laughs> olive oil? Why olive oil of all the oils? Good okay, so I mean. it's tradition, bro. All right, so for those of you who have <laughs> never heard of Turkish oil wrestling, dear audience, type it into Google. And what it is, oh, it's essentially... Make sure safe search is off first. Mm -hmm. it's, <laughs> it's wrestling. On the images, not, not, not pro wrestling. <laughs> it's actual, like, professional wrestling, except the both parties, both fighters, are covered in olive oil to make them, like, slippery pigs to add an element of difficulty. At least that's what they tell us. And they wear nothing but <laughs> these black leather pants. <laughs> and in order to get any leverage on your opponent, because they're covered in olive oil, remember, <laughs> oh you can't God. just grip their arms because they're going to have an easy time wiggling out of your grip. So what you have to do is you have to stick your hand into their leather pants and rummage around for you to find any sort of leverage, something to get a hold of. And then you, um, you get up behind them and you push your pelvis into their buttocks until they submit. And right, it's well, not me gay. In. You convinced me. Promise. That was the best advertisement for Turkish oil wrestling that I've ever heard in my <laughs> life. So it was I also the question. worst one I've ever heard because it's the only one I've ever heard. But you can count me in, man. That sounded like <laughs> a good old time is what that sounded like. Kick back with the boys, crack a brew and do some Turkish oil wrestling. Yeah, I, crack I have a, a question. Crack an oil. Kaya, <laughs> what, so I'm looking at all these promotional pictures of the Turkish oil wrestling. Why is it just conducted out in a random field? <laughs> Somebody posted a picture of it. He's right. It is in a random fucking field. They oh, yeah. No. Um, so they usually that? do it like they're in like an open air stadium and shit. Like imagine if the Americans did this in a football stadium, essentially on the grass. That's all. They do it outside. There's no official oh, okay. ring or anything. They just wrestle. They wrestle out on the grass. And their family. only one, should one man's dick remains untwisted. <laughs> is this where that meme <laughs> twist his dick comes from? Is Turkish oil wrestling? Twist his dick. <laughs> I don't know. I think we just found the origins of a meme, guys. I don't think you could do this there. on anywhere other than grass, though, because your foot would be way too slippery to even stand up on, like, a mat. Mm, true. Right? Yeah, true. So yeah, how do yeah, you you're, win? you're right. How do you win, Kaya? I'm watching it, and I don't see a whole lot of thrusting, just a lot of taint grabbing and ass cheek holding. <laughs> Wait, you try to... <laughs> either, I, as far as I know, you either have to submit the person and they have to tap out, or, or you can also, and I think this is unique in wrestling and, like, Turkish wrestling, you can pick them up your opponent and then you have to carry them for like six paces or some shit and then you win uh, <laughs> so if they can't get down from you you win pretty oh, okay cool. yeah. I, mean, this, I think you're underselling the sport i'm watching it right now it seems like everyone's having a good time until someone comes well that means you win <laughs> what do you mean until that's when the good time starts what do you mean man that's when it goes from spicy. slippery to sticky <laughs> yeah oh, of course they're God. having fun they're getting hand jobs in every fucking round <laughs> I'd be pretty happy with that. It's a sport to see who busts last. What's up with these promo pictures as well? Like of them all in like a lineup with hands down each other's pants. <laughs> it's so They're just demonstrating how the sport works. Camaraderie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just brotherhood, man. That's all. Don't hate. We should have taken photos like that when we worked together. Yeah, we Charlie, do we have an incoming there. video on this phenomenon? Do we have a uh, a moist critical original about? Turkish oil wrestling? I think there's no chance I actually could. That's the <laughs> Not enough footage, huh? I mean, that's the thing. For all the jokes, like, they're clearly gay as fuck. All of them. I'm calling you out. Sorry. But <laughs> they will rip you in half. Like, these motherfuckers are so strong. I don't know if you know. I mean, judging by these, these pictures, photos, they look they like, like they beat like the shit out of me. Yeah. Bears. Most, most of them look ripped. Yeah, that's... Uh... It sounds like a sport that I'd like sign up for because it sounded like a meme and then I see everybody grabbing each other's dicks and I'm like, all right, I tap, I'm out. All right, I tap. You win, I like, lose, I, you're alpha. Like, you wouldn't walk up to these guys and call them gay to their face. No. Nah, In a they very would, they homophobic country. They, they would rape you just to prove they're not gay, which would be ironic, <laughs> but they'd do it. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's how you show alpha, right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they're just showing you. They're, they're, that's how they prove it. I understand, man. Some of these pictures are so romantic as well. Like, they're cuddling <laughs> from behind with his hands on his pants. It's beautiful. Like, if you were slow mo his shoulder. It, you watch yeah. a slow-mo video of it and put a little nice violin music behind it, maybe, you know? It's just, yeah. uh, it's Turkish uh, Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> yeah, yeah it genuinely is, yeah. 
This dude just legit posted a picture of somebody pouring oil in his pants right now. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? that? <laughs> I mean, wow. This you know what the fuck? No that part though, like olive oil is so expensive too. So this is this is costly. This is high class here. Yeah, but I mean, look at the crowd they're drawing, man. I mean, it's a stadium sport, you know. It's yeah, you said, wait, you said it was. You said it was traditional. Is it like endorsed by the government? Um, I mean, it's. I don't know if it's endorsed by the government, but it's definitely one of our traditional sports. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it's kind of like, you know, like in, a, in America, a lot of politicians and stuff remind everybody that they were star quarterbacks and all that. Maybe that's how the politicians there are, you know, like, hey, man, I was the best dick twist uh, oil wrestler <laughs> in the whole territory. I all right? so many balls. Yeah, I've grabbed more balls than all you guys. All right. So I win because in America, people are like, oh, you play football. All right. Hell, I'll vote for him. OK, why not? So, I mean, I can see the parallel here, you know. Yeah, kind of. The chat says they'd be interested in watching it, you know? They're like, hey, I'd buy the tickets. Oh, my God, look at that picture. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're like, like some of these Wait, he's got up. his hand in the back. He's got his hand. He's either going for a reach around or he completely <laughs> misunderstood how to submit your opponent. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly which one he's going so, for here. So wait, wait, wait. For wait, these are the rules, rules, right? Wait, wait. For audio listeners, I should paint the picture here. There's a Turkish man on the ground on all fours with his ass in the air, basically, <laughs> and a strong, another strong Turkish man standing over him with his hand on his neck, pushing his head into the ground, and his other hand is <laughs> going down, down the back yeah. of his pants, yeah. not the front, yeah. the back. Yeah. I was watching some of the videos. The, the pictures don't do it justice. They like rub their hands in their ass crack like they're swiping a credit card. I think that might be another win condition. <laughs> that's, yeah, that, that's one of the automatic submission rules right there. <laughs> so is that is that again, me and Kaya? Huh? Well, it's just uh, no. Sorry, I was reading the chat again. I was just going to ask though if people were going to check out this sport. What do you think they'd listen to it on?